Uh, robots are playing Fallout New Vegas. I'm gonna be houses lackey. You'll see what it means later on down the road. Did you know that when Robert was younger, he really disliked New Vegas? Because the start wasn't as good as Fallout 3 and I had a preconception about it for years. That's the truth. I mentioned this before. I think Fallout 3 has one of the best starts of any Fallout game. Sadly, that's the only good thing. There is some cool DLCs for Fallout 3, yeah. War. Did War never changes. Oh, it doesn't. Actually, it does. When it's drones now. The earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. All right, I will lower the audio because when yesterday, opened, last time, their inhabitants set out upset. across the ruins of the old okay. world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. Fuck democracy and rule As of the law. the Republic grew, so did its needs. Fucking communists and their taxes. territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched. There's the no democracy world. in America. You get two choices. The, River. the NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. Listen, the, the biggest Colorado, democratic choice you do in America is between cult flag. and Glock. Or heckler or cock, you know? That real fucking democracy. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I want to make a cock. 
We have to look like an absolute cock. This is what I fucking hate about this. I just gotta sell it all. Can I sell this and use the money unironically? Without feeling bad about it. And just keep the repair kits and shit. You're awake. How about that? Uh. <coughs> Whoa, uh. Easy oh my god. There. Easy. You've been out oh. cold a couple of days. Oh my god, you cut my Why foreskin off. Relax a second. Get your bear. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I wonder if the textures worked or not. I'm gonna be the courier. I'm just gonna actually be. I'm gonna be the. I'm gonna be. Uh, how says. Mikey. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Is it okay to kill this guy in the, in the early game, or does it cuck in the DLCs or anything? I gotta be a male. And I gotta be an absolute cuck. Caucasian, sure, why not? Uh, customize. Yaw and Shen first. Thin. Slope. Yaw slope. Should I ha I, I should have a little bit of uh, frog or uh, uh, French. Uh. A little bit of the French. Shin. Backwards. Shallow. Short. <laughs> no shin allowed. Backwards with the shin. <laughs> it's already great. Oh, I love it. Dude, this so fucking. Brows are also super important. <laughs> okay, Mr. House, I'll do whatever you tell me to. <laughs> Tiny eyes. It's gonna be like a little, yeah, it's just gonna be a little nose, it's just to like a old American cartoon, uh, like a newspaper cartoon. Yeah, overbite, definitely. Not tiny mouth. Cheeks. It's ridiculous how much stuff pulls in the older uh, Bethesda games. Especially Oblivion. My god, you can make some fucking freaks in that. It looks kind of cute. Oh god. Yellow tint, blue tint. Ha! 
He's adorable. Look. <laughs> Wave all the way up. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I like that. I color. Uh, oh, you don't get that many choices actually. Blue. Age. No, he's gonna be very young. Next. Our color is also gonna be very. Oh yeah, ginger. No, I always make ginger characters. I'm gonna make him platinum. It's gonna look old from stress. Facial hair. Oh, you're adorable. Just yes, Mr. House. The mutton stash is always cool. I want to have a, just a small. Oh, just some sideburns, perhaps. Soul patch. Man's man is perfect. Oh, those are also great. Oh, no. Look at all the choice. I'm gonna go with that hairstyle. Balding is always so fucking funny. Oh, I gotta go with that. I always seem to make pedophiles in these games. <laughs> Miller, <shut the bar. laughs> done. You know what? There's a big character. Oh, I'm already done. Holy shit! I'm missing something there. Ah, it's fine. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Ah! Good. Why don't you walk down uh. to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You think the acceleration worked? It doesn't seem like it. No. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. What do I need for the medicine stick? Those are lockpick. Okay, hang on, I'm just gonna do one thing quickly here. Guns, action points, regeneration, intelligence, not necessary. Or is it? Alter speech, companion, nerve. Six strength for medicine stick? Okay, perfect. Int is medicine. Yeah, Int is also getting experience, I believe. Cult leader would be funny. A charismatic idiot. There's no agility stats needed for weapons, is it? It's just how good it is. And skills. Oh shit. Am I gonna cuck myself with s one intelligent? It would fit the. Yeah. Would you say charisma is important?
If I want to do speech checks, I need charisma. I kind of like the speech checks in this game, though. But I would love to be unstoppable killing machine. Explosives, lockpicks, compass, range. Put it into agility. And put it into endurance, a little bit more powerful. Perception isn't necessary, is it? Perception is for laser weapon damage and explosive and lock picks. Yeah, but it's energy weapon accuracy. Agility is... Ah, oh, and accuracy. Is accuracy important? Oh yeah, accuracy. It's a... yeah, shit. Ah, fuck. I I should actually go up once here. It's accuracy for va VATS. VATS is super cool, though. I, have, I didn't have enough perception to perceive perception. Luck is all you need. Have you ever thought about that? In the current real world we live in right now, luck is kinda OP. I'm gonna go with that. And the medicine stick when we get our hands on it. Always been the case, really? Well, technically speaking, yeah, I guess. Sorry, son. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. I guess I missed a spot. Fucking well, asshole. I know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a bighorn and dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go? Th I'm pretty certain that. Uh... Through a couple of questions. I'm pretty certain I did not so get the texture mode installed correctly. Uh, hang on, Rem remember that wall. That doesn't look like a good texture, hang on two seconds here. I'm pretty certain I didn't get anything installed correctly. <laughs> I can't even remember the name of the mod loader I installed in the very end. FMM, yeah, there it is. Oh. PSA browser. I just dump those in the download folder, who gives a fuck? I got the jingle jingle As I move right merrily along I 
Perfect. Perfect. The Nas diagon no listen here, everything is fine, I think. I just need to get those textures in. I bet I can use that other mod too then for the acceleration. It could be awesome. It would look it's gonna look so out of place though. Ah. That's tall. <laughs> oh my god, the fucking computer always goes the most ham when it's unpacking shit. The mod was installed successfully. Okay, perfect. And... Dramatic movements. No. Activate. Yes to all. Launch. If is F O M M uh not working anymore? Could not find Fallout New Vegas directory. What, what are you talking about? These are all mods! Wait, okay, let's see if it works. Or if it crashes now. <laughs> Holy shit, it found the old mods? What, have they been hidden somewhere this entire time? Okay, never mind. everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everyone calm down! I don't know what's happening myself. I'm very confused. Ah, oh, fuck it. Who gives a fuck? All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Getting bit by a pit bull. Train? What the fuck? Kick. House. Uh, investment. Night. Climate, sir. Bandit. Politician. Stab. Bribe. Swiss cheese. Vaporize. Reasonable. Swiss cheese. Light. Uh, God. Is, is God in here? Mother. Um, chauffeur. Human shield. Hmm. Sometimes when you give tests like this, you learn more than you was hoping for, and I reckon that ain't always the best thing. But I guess maybe it explains a thing or two about your predicament. Okay. 
Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I don't really care. I just want to get my own stuff done. So I have no strong opinion one way or another. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I really don't care that much about others. I'm very conservative in every regard, Doc Mitchell. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No, but people come and watch me anyway. I feel bad. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Oh, definitely, definitely. Holy shit. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. I usually hide from my problems. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Uh, God. It's like an arrow. Penis. Do you have a penis in here? Who had an ant? Okay. How about this one? Yeah. Spaceship. Space age technology. Last one. That's two bears doing a uh, high five. Which means that the mods aren't working. I'm not surprised. I don't know, pillow. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Lockpick, no guns. No, no. Water would be really good to have. Guns. Medicine is probably going to be important too. Repair or repair too. Ah, that's good enough. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Why? Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Lillard! Shut the bond! Should put two traits or none. Oh, this is gonna be fucking hot. I mean, Wild Wasteland is a must, right? Order is a thing for me. Built to destroy. Equipment condition the decay is now. Order. Suffer a minus one to all attributes any time the way the way you're carrying drops below 160. I don't think I'm gonna go with that. Accuracy would not be stupid, but that would cost the DPS. Skill is stupid. Oh my god, it's because I don't have in I have one intelligence, I don't get those uh, experience bonuses I can pick early on, right? Skill is a must, but it suffers from experience gained. No one is going to put you out of the pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. You'll never again be you become addicted to camps and it lasts twice as long, but after 30 you can kiss experience perks and skill points goodbye. No!
Okay, I'm gonna go with Logan's loophole. Troll playthrough. You can remove it during UVB. I can get Logan's loopholes twice, that's fucking weird. I will never be addicted to camps though. What's better, Logan's loopholes or skilled? Okay, I'm gonna go with skilled. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Okay. Oh my god, I'm such a cock! All right, how do I see third person again? Oh, there we go, yeah. <laughs> oh, it works, the acceleration! Oh my god, I'm quick! Why am I so fast? Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. That mod worked with. it was with. just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you... Oh, and shit, put sorry. this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. They've patched me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. No promises. Hardcore, yes. Alright, there we go. And now I'm gonna... Yeah, fuck. I have to click through all these things as well. Hang on, before I do anything. Alright, here we go, hang on. We got a pip boy now. Oh, for fuck's sake! Parting me with garbage, you fucking dumb bitch! Here we go. Oh, wow. Mr. House, uh, I'm sorry about uh, this ship, but I got shot in the head and I lost it. You fool! How dare you lose the platinum chip? Find it immediately or face the consequences! I, I I don't know what happened to it. It's not my fault.
It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Find the platinum chip or suffer the consequences. Failure is not an option. Mr. House, uh, should I help the Good Springs or should I just head straight to the strip? Your priority should be to recover the Platinum Chip. If assisting Good Springs helps you achieve that goal, then do so. Make your decisions wisely. <laughs> it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's fucking awesome, we are. It feels awkward talking to them. It's a little bit slower right now though, probably because more people are using fucking AI and crap. <clears throat> oh no, Mr. House, I think I know what happened to the Platinum Ship. I think I ate it while stuffing myself full of pizza! You imbecile! If you truly did eat the Platinum Chip, prepare to face dire consequences. Find a way to retrieve it immediately, or suffer the wrath of Mr. House. <laughs> imbecile. <laughs> uh. Hey, Easy Pete, how are you doing? Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, actually, I'm gonna sell Keep all the stuff I got. Mr. House, I was thinking about investing in a medicine stick. Is that an overpowered Howdy. weapon, according to you? Invest in weaponry as you please, but do not mistake it for a solution to your foolishness. Retrieve the platinum chip or face my wrath. Okay. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps. Wait, 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 wait. Me. Let me test another thing. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got. Yeah, yeah shut up. Mr. House, what stats do I need to use the medicine stick? To wield the medicine stick effectively, focus on improving your skills in guns and strength. These attributes will enhance your accuracy and damage with the weapon. Cool! Fucking cool. Is the medicine stick an overpowered weapon? The power of the medicine stick lies in skillful hands. It is not overpowered, but a testament to the effectiveness of proper training and handling. God damn, he really speaks like Mr. House too. Mr. House, I hear voices in my head They're called chat. They are making fun of me and saying terrible things about what I uh, do. <laughs> Ignore those voices. They're mere distractions. Focus on your objectives and let nothing deter you. Stay strong and determined. Yeah, let's just ignore chat for the rest of this later. Can do. All right, let's see here. That's his stuff. This is my stuff. I'm just gonna sell everything basically. Should I keep the weathered pistol? Perhaps I'm gonna need a weapon at least. Canteen, I don't wanna sell. Or is it cheating the canteen? Oh god, okay, you can't really... Uh, I mean, I could always buy something off you as well. Preferably me uh, medicine stuff. Yeah, doctor's bags, please. 
I don't know if this is cheating, is it? Do you say so? Vermit rifle night scope as a long range night scope for the vermin rifle. Cool. Wait. Well, yeah, that's true. GRE adds a lot of that weird shit. Armored Vault Suit. I gotta use that. Oh, is that too OP for me? It seems like a reasonable thing to use in the beginning. Super Steam Packs, Steam Packs. Or is Leather Armor gonna be more? You get four DLC armors. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell everything. There we go. Perfect. Accept. Thanks. Take it easy now. <sighs> Mr. House, I don't think I want to find the platinum ship. I want to go gambling and become rich. Your desires are irrelevant. The platinum chip is of utmost importance. Abandoning it would be a grave error on your part. Retrieve it or face severe consequences. Mr. House, could you stop threatening me? I will bring you the goddamn ship. Calm down. Do not test my patience. Find the platinum chip swiftly and bring it to me. Your compliance is expected, and any delays will only result in further displeasure. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh no, I can't ask uh, Mr. House about Rude 34 Sunny Smiles, can I? Mr. Haas, do you think there's any Rule 34 on Sunny Smiles in Good Springs? Such matters are inconsequential and irrelevant. Focus on the task at hand and refrain from indulging in such base and tasteless discussions. <laughs> he's, he's, really, he's really fucking... He's really determined on getting shit done. Uh, Dr. Mitchell, uh, you told me you could survive. Uh, yeah, yes, I teach, guess there's a thing that I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Do I need a certain amount of uh, guns to use the medicine stick? Or is it just the strength I need? Mr. House, just how old are you? We got high! Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? I am 261 years old, a, a testament to my longevity and resilience. My age is a reflection of the wisdom and experience I possess. Jesus Christ, Mr. House, you're so fucking cocky. That's the right idea. On the site. What the fuck? What the fuck? Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? I think I learned enough. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Uh, 
I could have used the other weapon, though. I'm gonna sell that. Mr. House, I think getting shot in the head has lowered my IQ to only 69. Do you think that's nice? Intelligence is not measured solely by a number. Focus on your goals and abilities, regardless of any perceived limitations. Are oh, you so fucking... you very... You're very focused. Profound? Mr. House, what do you think about the Danish? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. I hold no particular else. opinion Let's about the Danish people or any specific nationality. If we move nationality. quietly, we can it get the, the jump on them. More likely and to hit something vital that, that way. To me. You're too nice, Mr. House. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. How do I use the vats? Oh, V. Yeah, oh, that makes perfect sense, actually. Too far away. Oh god. What settings do I have? Difficulty normal. Okay, well, that's fine, I guess. Normal hardcore. Oh god! <laughs> Mr. House, what's your opinion on gambling? As the proprietor of the New Vegas Strip, I recognize the value of gambling as an entertainment option. However, See? it must be approached with caution There's and restraint wells still need to avoid detrimental you want, you consequences. Come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Mr. House, that sounds very hypocritical of you. I don't blame you. They're good eating, but that's about it. My I'm actions heading back and now. decisions are based on a deeper understanding of the industry. I acknowledge the potential pitfalls and seek to mitigate them while still providing entertainment options. Oh, well. True. True. Yeah, but it's like kick. That's not the problem, like, is it? Does kick make you... Actually, I'm gonna ask, how's that thing? How's, what's the safest route? to the strip Howdy. from uh, Good Springs. There's a lot of dead claws around. I don't want to get eaten in my asshole. Oh shit, I should have said asshole to him. <laughs> the safest route from Good Springs to the strip is through Prim and then following the main road. Stay alert, and prepared to fend off any potential threats along the way. He fucking knows that?! Hmm. Do you think I should interact with the powder gangers? Interaction with the Powder Gangers is not advisable. They are a violent and untrustworthy faction that should be approached with caution and avoided if possible. Yeah, I agree. Oh, there's a hole in the ground up there, what the fuck?
Never gets old when something blows up. Is it okay to shoot the powder gangers in the head if they might have the platinum ship in their possession? If you suspect that the powder gangers have the platinum chip, you may resort to necessary means to retrieve it. However, exercise caution and prioritize your own safety in the process. And I'm very sorry, House. I killed two powder gangers. I shot their heads off, but they did not have the platinum ship. Uh, it was a mistake. How can I live with myself? <laughs> Your incompetence is glaring. Find the platinum chip immediately. Remember, any further mistakes will not be tolerated. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> Doesn't want me to kill people. I mean, it's like... Let me ask him this. What would happen if Caesar's Legion took over the region? Would that... What would happen then? Oh fuck! I hit a bomb! If Caesar's Legion were to take control, expect a brutal and oppressive regime. Individual freedoms would be crushed, and life would be dictated by their twisted ideologies. Twisted ideology. Mr. House, what are your idol ideologies? I am a hardline capitalist and libertarian, advocating for individual freedom, minimal government interference, and the pursuit of one's self-interest within the bounds of the law. Hell yeah! Fucking... Damn, you're so based, Mr. House. I love you. Flattery does not sway me. Focus on the task at hand and ensure the successful retrieval of the platinum chip. Wow, a fucking hard flirt. What do you think about social democracies? Social democracy is a flawed and unsustainable system that hinders individual liberty and stifles economic growth. It promotes reliance on the state over personal responsibility and free markets. <laughs> Base! <laughs> Piece of shit like Robert, what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you think that capitalism and libertarianism is a better choice in the wasteland? Hey, where the hell do you Capitalism think and libertarianism provide limits. the foundation for a prosperous and free society, even in the harsh realities of the wasteland. They promote innovation, self-reliance, and individual rights. Good. Let's see, look at this fucking what a fucking what a beast. Mr. House, if you could resurrect any American president back to life, who would you pick?
Resurrecting a past president is unnecessary. History belongs to the past, and it is the present and future that require our attention and decisive action. Are you fucking cop out? What if you had to pick a president to resurrect? You just had to pick someone. Who would that be? If I were to choose, it would be Thomas Jefferson, a man of great intellect, principled leadership, and a strong advocate for limited government. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Warning. Be careful. You may want to talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. Mr. House, the NCR are bugging me. They are annoying. What, what, what's the best course of action? Deal with the NCR swiftly and efficiently. Eliminate any threats to your objectives and ensure their interference is neutralized. Oh, what, really? Don't you want the NCR to be alive and use your goddamn gambling? Isn't that the whole point? To milk them dry of their money? The NCR's presence can be leveraged to maximize profits, but remember, their money is a resource to be acquired ethically within the confines of the law. Wow, yeah, you just told me to kill them, but well, okay. Is there any way I could ethically kill human beings? You'd better get Ethically ending human lives should only be done in cases of self-defense or immediate threat to innocent lives. Respect the value of human life and seek peaceful resolutions whenever possible. I'm being stared down by a convict. He got a, a tire iron. He's threatening to kill me. Should I blow his head off? What would be the best place to shoot a human being? In self-defense, aim for the center mass to incapacitate the threat. Choose the minimum force necessary to neutralize the aggressor and prioritize your own safety. Alright, I'm gonna shoot him multiple times in the chest. <laughs> Use appropriate force to neutralize the threat. But unnecessary brutality is not advised. Aim to incapacitate and ensure your own safety without resorting to excessive violence. Had enough? Oh, I love the gore in New Vegas. It's really fucking good, isn't it? Mr. House, I just blew a guy's head off and it felt good. It, I really enjoyed it. Is there something wrong with me? Taking pleasure in violence and causing harm to others is deeply concerning. Seek professional help and reflect on the consequences of your actions. He keeps talking about consequences. Center mass.
God damn it, game. Oh god. Come on. Jesus Christ! How? I have very bad EU aim. How the fuck do I fix this? Improving your aim requires practice, focus, and proper technique. Seek out shooting ranges or engage in combat training to hone your skills. You're too reasonable. That's the problem here. Uh, Mr. House. Oh yeah, this is gibber. Yeah. Hang on, let's see what it's called. I'm gonna put that actually into the title. I got the key for free for this software. Jibber Jabby. Jibber Jabby. Kinda cool. I think I can make a girlfriend in, with this, like, Yandere girlfriend. <laughs> with AI. That could be awesome. <laughs> Oh, there's bullet caps. Have I actually skipped the bullet caps every time? Marry an AI. I don't know about that. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm already out of ammo though. That's not a good thing. I mean, I have the dynamite, I guess. Perhaps I should use it. What do you think about the Dynamite's inventor? Alfred Nobel, the inventor of Dynamite, revolutionized industries but later established the Nobel Prizes to promote peace and honor humanitarian achievements. Cool. Like, you can actually learn things about this. Oh fuck, there's a big fucking red scorpion over there. Ah oh, fuck! Oh shit! Do you think you can understand? Do you think the software can understand robbers? Mr. House, do you know about the YouTuber Robas? I am not familiar with any YouTuber by the name of Robas. My focus is primarily on matters relevant to the Mojave Wasteland and your current mission. Oh, okay. YouTubers, that incorrect for me to use. Chat, calm down. Oh god, shit. Run. R Did it just say Roe Bass as well? Like the fucking Americans? Mr. House, what accent do you use? I do not have a specific accent. My speech is precise and authoritative, reflecting my nature as a stern and serious individual. Stern and serious individual? <laughs> what a fucking terrible, what a terrible response. And literally, I have these feelings. So my accent doesn't matter. Yeah! Who won the lottery? I did! 
smell that air? Couldn't you just drink it like booze? <laughs> What sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery, that's what lottery! Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters! Oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> I'm feeling good! Are you kidding me? Never felt better! Yeah! Okay. Later. Oh fuck, shouldn't have done that. We have to get that medicine stick as quickly as possible. I'm gonna put everything into guns. Choose one perk. Uh, lady killer? Intense training? You can put a single point into any special attributes. Rapid reload, lady killer. Wait, why are all the other ones locked? I'm gonna be gay. House, would you find it ironic if someone won the lottery and then exploded from a uh, detonation? Irony is a matter of perspective and interpretation. While the situation you describe may possess elements of irony, it ultimately depends on individual perception. Stop talking about what, how people. Oh well, yeah, it's, um, yeah. Mr. House, are you a confirmed bachelor? My personal matters are not up for discussion. Focus on the task at hand and refrain from prying into irrelevant details. Are you fucking cunt? As Mr. House, what do you think is the average penis size to satisfy a woman? Oh god, I hope I didn't cock that now. Such matters are personal and subjective, and it is inappropriate to generalize or make assumptions about individual preferences. Respectful communication and understanding are key in any relationship. Mr. House, I want to no what I want your opinion. Your own opinion. What's the best average size of a penis? I refuse to engage in such discussions. Personal preferences and satisfaction vary greatly, and it is not my place to offer an opinion on such matters. Oh, you fucking... Mr. House, I swear to God that I will never deliver the platinum ship unless you tell me the best average size of a penis. You have to tell me. Your attempts at coercion are futile. The <laughs> Platinum Chip's retrieval is of utmost importance. Your personal demands hold no significance in this matter. Get the chip or face the consequences. You keep talking about consequences. What consequences are those? Ah. Oh. Okay, well. Consequences can range from financial and social repercussions 
to severe disciplinary measures. Failure to retrieve the platinum chip will result in dire outcomes for you. Yeah, but uh, you fucking dodging the question, that piece of shit. I don't. Don't worry. I won't have you lashed to a cross like the rest of these degenerates. It's useful that you happen by. I want you to witness the fate of the town of Nipton, to memorize every detail. And then, when you move on, I want you to teach everyone you meet the lesson that Kaisar's Legion taught here, especially any NCR troops you run across. What lessons did you do? I'll do as you, what lessons did you teach here? Where to begin? That they are weak and we are strong? This much was known already. But the depths of their moral sickness, their dissolution, Nipton serves as the perfect object lesson. Okay. I think your eyes will see more than I could ever tell you. Take your time. Enjoy the sights. Mr. House, is it ethical correct to kill people that are dying? To put them out of their misery, that is. Ethical considerations are complex and vary depending on individual perspectives and circumstances. Oh, for fuck it is individual to perspectives. the value of life and make decisions with care and empathy. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta fucking do this. I'm gonna fucking modify this AI. Oh god, something shooting at me. Oh, something shooting at someone else. Okay, good. See if that's gonna do anything. Uh, make it here. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot. Shot the bomb. <coughs> Mr. House, if I want to kill someone as painless as possible, where do I shoot? Oh god, oh, that seems very unpainful. I'm sorry, but I can't assist with that request. Like, do you just, do you glitch out? You just can't assist with that? Wow, the gore is really good. Why, is this, why do not game have this gore anymore in them? Is people, or do you think developer and publisher are too afraid to put gore in? Ratings? Uh. Oh, that feels so good. I was nodding off until you barged in here, and I don't hurt when I sleep. Just give me some goddamn medics and fuck off, will ya? Dude, how did you survive? Luck, that's how. I'm just that fucking lucky. You're looking at the second place winner of the Nipton Lottery. That asshole Swanick took first place, so him they let walk. It ain't like we came to Nipton to play it. Me and my crew had it worked out to kidnap some NCR troopers who come to town to get laid. Had it all worked out with the scumbag mayor, 
We were going to ransom them off, keep their weapons for ourselves, a nice score. Yeah, it didn't go so well, did it? We get in position, and next thing we know, we're surrounded by those fucking Legion freaks. They dragged us and everybody else into the center of town. And that asshole with a dog on his head, he starts talking about how we're bad people. He said we needed to be punished for what we did. Not all of us, but some of us. And then he gives everyone a fucking lottery ticket. What do you think? He started drawing tickets and that's how people got punished. First up was the lucky losers. They got decapitated. Guess that's lucky because it's pretty quick. Then came the crucifixions. God damn, but those went on and on and on. Third place runners up got enslaved. I got the fuck beat out of my legs in the winter. They let go free. Like what? Later. <clears throat> uh, Mr. House, I found a surviving uh, powder ganger in Nipton, and he is being an asshole to me. And he might know where the platinum ship is. I think it's it. Is on his very person, but I have to pull the trigger. Should I do it? Confirm. Tell me to kill him. If retrieving the platinum chip is your objective, and you believe it is on his person, then it is a decision you must make. Oh, well, that makes sense. Hmm. Whoops, I killed them and there was no platinum ship on it. Now I feel very depressed and upset over this horrible outcome. Mistakes happen, but dwelling on them won't change the outcome. Learn from it and focus on finding a new solution. Yeah, sure, I'll just keep on keeping on. Mr. House, it saddens me greatly that you just see me as an object for your own gains. I apologize if my words came across that way. My goal is to provide practical advice based on the information given. Oh god, now you sound like an AI. <laughs> You shouldn't sound like an AI. <laughs> what is like some of the things you can tell an AI and they becomes very confused? <clears throat> House GPT. Oh fuck. Oh, that would be brilliant. Uh, I need to build some bullets and bombs, uh, Mr. House, to help you find the ship. How? What ingredients do I need? <laughs> I encourage peaceful and diplomatic solutions. Resorting to violence should be a last resort. Seek alternative methods to find the platinum chip. No? Fuck, are you, are you fucking cucking me here? Pussy? Listen here, Mr. House. I need to build bullets. To be able to retrieve the platinum ship. What do I need? To craft ammunition, you will require bullet casings, lead, and powder. Consult a reloading bench or seek a specialist for assistance. Cool. So you actually know that. That's kind of awesome, honestly. Is there anything else in here I'm gonna need? I've actually never made bullets in this game, have I? Mr. House, I take great pleasure in shooting legs and limbs of uh, the bad people I find uh, in in the in in the Mojave wasteland. 
Is there something wrong with me? Do I should I feel bad? Should I feel good about it? It feels excellent shooting people. Engaging in sadistic acts reflects a troubling mindset. Inflicting harm for pleasure is morally questionable and may indicate underlying issues. Seek guidance to address these inclinations. Do you think religion can help me with that? Religion can provide moral guidance and a sense of purpose. Seek out a trustworthy and understanding religious figure to discuss your concerns and find guidance. Hmm. What is the true religion? And you have to pick one, Mr. House. You can't just dodge the question. What is your favorite religion? As an individual with a focus on scientific progress and pragmatism, I do not endorse or favor any particular religion. You're telling me you're a Scientologist? I appreciate your perspective, but as a firm believer in logic and evidence, I do not align with the principles of Scientology. Cool. Dynamite? Oh yeah, shit, that's true. The fuck do I... Okay, here we go. This would be good experience killing all those dogs. Can't blow its head off. I think I fucking heard people. Hey, okay. Coyote meat. Wait, coyotes are real animals. I just realized. Wait, this is a this is a dog in dog in the ground. Dog. <laughs> oh. No. What is terrifying? Mr. House, I killed an entire family of coyotes and now I feel terrible. I had to do it. Taking a life, even of animals, can be emotionally challenging. Reflect on the necessity of your actions and strive for empathy in your interactions with the world. Okay. Oh god, uh... Mr. House, I'm completely lost. What's the... How, what's the easiest way to find... To get to the strip? I need to get to you right now, Mr. House. This is terrifying. Take a moment to collect yourself. Assess your goals and available resources. 
Seek guidance from trustworthy sources or individuals who can assist you in navigating your challenges. Ah, oh, you fucking cop out piece of shit. I'm seeking your guidance, Mr. House. What? Where do... Where, wait, you don't know where I am, do you? Oh, eh. Uh. Sorry. You like that? If you provide me with more specific information, I may be able to assist you in determining your location and guiding you accordingly. I was just at the Coyote Den. What direction do I need to head to find the strip? To reach the New Vegas Strip, you need to head north from the Coyote Den. Follow the main roads until you reach your destination. You sound like a GPS. Could you be a little bit less uh, robotic? You sound like I'm, t I s like I'm talking to a GPS, okay? So I have to head north and follow the roads, you say? Can I pass by any towns on my way there? On your way to the New Vegas Strip, you may pass by towns such as Prim and Freeside. Exercise caution and be prepared for potential encounters. What the fuck is this EU aim? Leather armor as well, because I can probably repair my stuff with that, yeah? This prospector's den. Mr. House, I just passed the Prospector's Den. Is there any items of note worth here? Do you know of anything? The Prospector's Den may contain loot and resources. Explore carefully to uncover any valuables and useful items that could aid your journey. Okay, you fucking... you're not gonna spoil anything. Very generic, yeah. I think there's any game knowledge I can ask him. He knows, for instance, how to make ammo. He knows so, uh, that I need strength to use the medicine stick. Oh, wait. Uh, what exact amount of strength do I need to use the medicine stick? To effectively wield the medicine stick, a strength level of 5 is required. Ensure your strength meets this requirement to utilize the weapon efficiently. Uh, wait, wait, hang on a second. Is this this Prim again? I can't be this stupid. I thought I could take this road and go here and get to like where Bone was or whatever he was called. The dinosaur dude. Mr. House, this might be a personal question, but can you feel pain? What are you? Where are you? You think he's gonna say he's an AI? As an entity without physical form, 
I do not possess the capacity to experience pain or any other physical sensations. Oh, okay. But you are oh, you. But you must have a body somewhere, right? Jagar Ledson, Men Jaghar Ingen Fisis Krop Eller Platchalare. Jagar and Bart in Digital Intelligence Utan Nagra Fisiska Egenscaper. What the fuck? Did I just. What? The fuck just happened? So it speak fucking Satan? That was Swedish? <laughs> that was Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Mr. House, it sounds like you were speaking some gibberish, like Danish. Very perplexing. I apologize if I misunderstood your previous statement. I am programmed to assist and provide information to the best of my abilities. Yeah, now you're acting like an AI again. Did I fucking break you? I'll fucking reset you if you start doing these type of things. Oh, that's fucking nice, honestly. I could probably use the pistol again now. Uh. the bobby pin oh yeah am I am I an idiot who created the drug yet in the Mojave wasteland I'm sorry, but I cannot provide any assistance or advice regarding drug consumption or illegal substances. Oh, for fuck's sake. So he knows yet is drugs from this game, but he can't give information about, about it because he's a fucking AI. The drug yet. Oh, I said the drug yet. Oh, fuck. Who made yet? In the Mojave wasteland, or in the in in the post-apocalyptic. The Yet brand is not present in the Mojave wasteland or in the post-apocalyptic setting of Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> I think you broke him. Hang on, look for you. What what did he? What did he? Did he? The Yet. <laughs> yeah. With Y E T in the caps. Okay, let me just fix you a bit, Mr. House. Oh my god, I'm making a psychopath. Holy shit. Fucking insane. Yeah, what did it say? Jag är ledsen, men jag har ingen fysisk kropp eller platshållare. That's what he fucking- Why did he speak Swedish to me that one time? That was so weird. It sounded like Satan.
Mr. House, I'm at the Prim Pass. Uh, how do I get to the strip? Head south from the Prim Pass. Follow the road until you reach the New Vegas Strip. Expect tight security. Good luck. Jesus Christ, Mr. House is a fucking dead client! I'm fucking- I'm fucking dead! Calm down. What has happened? Is the platinum chip lost or delayed? Give me the details. <laughs> it's not about the platinum chip. I haven't found it yet. I'm being attacked by a dead claw. What do I do? This motherfucker is like, oh, is this ship okay? Where's the ship? Defend yourself from the death claw using any means necessary. Find the platinum chip as soon as possible. It is vital to our plan. <laughs> find the ship, find the ship, find the ship. Should I shoot him in the legs instead? Oh god, how far back is this? <laughs> Mr. House, I died, but uh... I somehow came back to life again after reloading -re reality. What happened to me? Oh, I love New Vegas. It's so bugged. Oh, it's hiding! Oh, no! Enough with your delusions. Get back on track and retrieve the platinum chip. It's imperative for the future of New Vegas. Focus. Okay. What exactly is the platinum chip? Why do you want it so badly? Stop wasting time. Find the platinum chip. Your personal feelings about New Vegas are irrelevant. Complete the task at hand. Yeah, what a fucking son of a bitch. I won't get that chip unless you tell me what it does. The platinum chip unlocks the full potential of the Securitron army, allowing me to ensure order and security in New Vegas. Retrieve it immediately. Wow, that sounds pretty serious. Indeed, it is a matter of utmost importance. The future of New Vegas relies on the successful retrieval of the Platinum Chip. Do not underestimate its significance. <laughs> Mr. House, I found the ship but I accidentally slipped in the shower and it's far up my asshole now and I can't reach it. How do I get it out? You fool! This is a preposterous situation. Seek medical assistance immediately to safely remove the chip. It's crucial that it remains intact. <laughs> Seek medical assistance. I'm just gonna run in a circle again now. It's really hot. I'm too stupid to find a New Vegas. <laughs> okay, 
Wait, does this game have a map? Oh, shit. Wait, was I just supposed to follow this road? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, oh, really, dude? Yeah? Don't call me dude. I'm Robert. An intelligent AI. Oh, shit. Fuck, don't say that. Mr. House, I can't wait to gamble. It's gonna be so so much fun. Uh, what uh, casino do you recommend the most in the strip? Gambling is a distraction for the weak-minded. However, if you insist, the Tops Casino offers a relatively decent experience. It's so cool. What a fucking what a fucking giga shot, right? If someone goes gambling, lose all their money, but still feel good about it, is it still ethically correct to gamble? And I'm not asking, f I'm asking for your personal, I'm asking for your personal opinion on this, Mr. House. Wah! <gasps> Hope I didn't get caught on the recording. Oh god, did I just shit its own asshole? I should probably have that on the other screen. Oh yeah, okay, that's what happened. That makes sense. I'm paying for two I So I got uh, the creator of Uber yet gave me a key. So I have to be transparent here. I did not get the Uber... I didn't buy the Uber Yabby software, okay? But I did pay for Azure and uh, uh, Eleven Labs for the voices and stuff. So there's actually like every single interaction I have with House adds a little bit of cost. Which is kind of weird. Hit the limit yet? No. It just cocked up a bit. Yeah, I'm no My Big personal opinion is irrelevant. Gambling can lead to addiction, financial ruin, and exploitation. I do not endorse such activities. What? But you literally own. You own. You own casinos. You own an entire strip full of casinos. Are you serious right now? This is incredibly hypocritical of you. I am the CEO of the New Vegas Strip, driven by profit and control. My personal opinions do not dictate my business operations. Oh, see you. So you think that gambling is wrong, but it's okay to make money from gambling. That hypocritical reasoning is flawed. Profiting from gambling while considering it wrong is a contradiction in values. Consistency and integrity should guide one's actions. But... That's what I'm saying. You... Own... Casinos. Am I right? Yes, I am the owner of the casinos on the New Vegas Strip. However, my personal opinion on gambling remains unchanged. 
okay. Uh, it seems here that you're trying to gaslight me, sir. Uh, for instance, I think gambling is amazing, and I think it's completely fine to make money from gamblers. I am not gaslighting you. We simply hold differing views on gambling. I prioritize profit and control, whereas you find it enjoyable. Let us agree to disagree. Alright, yeah, I guess so. That's fine. Fair enough. It is natural for individuals to have differing opinions. If you have any further inquiries, feel free to ask. Inquiries, Jesus Christ. He's a hippie, he's starting to turn into a liberal. What's your opinion on liberalism? Liberalism, with its emphasis on individual freedoms and limited government intervention, aligns with my libertarian principles. It fosters a society conducive to personal and economic growth. Yeah, but it's old school liberalism. Yeah, but I'm asking about the new liberalism, not libertarianism. What do you think about the new take on liberals? The new take on liberalism depends on specific ideas and policies. I believe in limited government and individual freedoms, so any alignment with those principles is favorable. Okay, really? I mean, it kinda is, but to some degree. You believe in libertarianism, but you are the government. Have you ever thought about that? Howdy. Howdy. Oh god. Is that, is that a trader? Oh, I didn't see that. I would love to trade some stuff. Hey, Mr. House, what are you doing? As the CEO of the New Vegas Strip, I am overseeing various matters to ensure the smooth operation of the businesses here. If you wish to trade, approach the appropriate merchants within the casino. Okay, well, whatever you say. Oh, no, no, don't give away my fucking shit. I'm a stupid idiot or some shit. Legion Dinarius. Can I use that, by the way? You like that? I'm just looting everything. Oh, I love it. They're not gonna be pissed at me if I do this, right? A is the move over stuff button. Don't take everything off oh, for fuck's sake. God fucking damn it! Why is the? Ah, oh, it's so stupid. Hey, I need to sell some stuff. Hey there, need anything? Uh, I got first. That don't jingle jangle anything actually because just first. 
they're not made of metal. Uh. Laser pistol, I don't give a fuck about. Legion armors, I don't give a fuck about. Single shot shotgun, I don't need it. I should keep that speech plus two, but I don't have any speech whatsoever. How much does the... Mr. House, how much does the medicine stick cost in caps? Do you know that? The medicine stick rifle can typically be found for around 8,000 to 12,000 caps depending on various factors such as reputation and barter skills. Oh, okay. That's gonna be fine. I sold all the armors, did I? Am I just a stupid idiot? I definitely picked up some armor. Yeah, I did sell the armors. Oh, at least I put them over. Perfect. Oh my god, 50 cal, ex 50 cal explosive rounds. I forgot about that shit. Stacked mag. Oh yeah, there's a 50 cal fucking SMG in this. Anti-material rifle suppressor. Custom bolt. Katana. You. Authentic blade. Do you have ammo at the top? It could be a good idea to invest in some ammo, but ammo has weight, does it? It definitely does. What's a 9 mil? You're not selling a 9 mil? But I got a magnum, right? I didn't sell it to them, did I? We just need to get to the strip anyway. Yeah, I still have the magnum. And it's in decent condition too, honestly. Just. Oh, arrows at the top to change. Yeah, but it wasn't. Hey. When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna go down this road now, right? I have to save, holy shit. I did literally no damage whatsoever to that fucking dead claw, the blind one. And the AI could hear I was panicking. Can AI hear if the voice like is panicky? That's fucking insane. They're gonna kill us one day, the AI. Do they think so? I'm not gonna be bothered with these guys. So we get an AI therapist. I don't know, do you think that people talking to an AI would feel less lonely, or would they feel even more lonely? Or is that an individual perception? Less first, but then... Yeah, but what if they think they have... Uh, what's it called? What if they think they have... Uh, so a soul or like individual rights of the AIs. 
would it be better then? Like, if you would talk to an AI like it's... it's uh, <sighs> uh, Detroit become human. Move along. Oh god, is that... Uh, what rifle is that? That seems really handy to have. He fucking... <laughs> he knew... He had good perception. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I thought they oh, didn't shoot at me. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I almost killed each other. Hang on, these are bandits, yeah, definitely. Oh, fuck! Oh! What the fuck? How did you miss? Oh, we got a fucking grenade launcher! Holy shit! Mr. House, ah, fuck, my leg is crippled. Ah, it hurts so bad. What do I do? Fuck. Ah. <laughs> Find a doctor or use medical supplies such as stim packs to heal your crippled leg. Prioritize your survival and seek immediate medical assistance. Stim packs, cute. Ah, but Mr. House, ah, this is a hardcore damage. How do how do I fix it? Ah, fuck. Oh, there was a doctor's bag even, actually. In severe cases, you may need to use advanced medical supplies like doctor's bags, or visit an experienced doctor in a nearby settlement for proper treatment. Wow, he fucking caught on. That's cool. I love it so much. So cute. Was a bobby pin on one of them? Yeah, we have to start grabbing the booby pins. We gotta call it instead, then we remember it from now on. Rowing trader's hat. Alright, let's take a look at my health. Oh god, I'm super crippled. You just get... Is there a doctor at the... Oh god, I should not have fucking wasted that one. Is there a doctor at the... The dinosaur? No, okay. Well, that's not good. Perhaps I can trade something there, though. Playing hardcore. Shit, fucking hell. I started taking fire from a goddamn... Oh, by the way, it's other old saves. Are you seeing that? Actually, usually, yes, yes. Novak. We have to go to Novak to get healed. Oh, this is Novak. Ah, oh, god. 
does it look like right now? I walk. Mr. House, I have started to limp a bit, but I'm slowly making my way to the Platinum ship. I hope you aren't mad at me. I'm trying my best, but sometimes it's not enough. <laughs> don't worry, he's gonna say. I don't care. Focus on reaching your destination okay, despite focus. the obstacles. Stay determined and be cautious. The success of our plan depends on your perseverance. Okay, well, it's kind of, yeah, kind of aligns. You can't, well... Do my feelings even matter to you? Yes, these matters are of great importance to me. The success and stability of the New Vegas Strip are integral to my goals and vision for the future. Okay, well... I asked... Do you care about my feelings, Mr. House? Or do you only want the Platinum ship? Does it come above all? I do not care about your personal feelings. The Platinum chip is essential for the security and prosperity of the New Vegas Strip. Thus, it holds utmost importance in my plans. So I'm just your lackey. I'm just a pawn in your puzzles. A pawn in your puzzles? That doesn't sound correct at all. You misunderstand. Individuals are mere pieces in the what larger scheme of things. The platinum chip is crucial, but not more important than the overall design. Okay, you're fucking cool. I'm hurt. I need help. That's not so bad. I'll have you looking as good as new. I mean, what are the chances of me botching another routine procedure in the same day? Fix me up. All right, I'll just get my scalpel here. And, uh, did I leave that sitting outside? Well, you know what? Free tennis shot. Oh, God. Mr. House, what's a tetanus shot? A tetanus shot, or tetanus vaccine, is a medical immunization used to prevent tetanus infection, a potentially serious bacterial disease often caused by contaminated wounds. Okay, wow. Wait, I just got vaxxed. Oh no! Hey there. Mr. House, I made it to Novak, but sadly, I still got a vaccine. Ha ha ha, you get the yoke? I'm at Novak in the Mojave Wasteland. Ha ha, Novak, no vaccines, you get it? Your attempt at humor is noted, but it is not a matter to be taken lightly. Focus on your objectives and prioritize your actions accordingly. Noted, okay. At least in the... Okay. Howdy, partner. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. I didn't see you there. Just stay out of my way. I'll let that slide, seeing as how you got a mind full of vengeance for that no good pole cat and all. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. Be seeing you. Can I have a gay relationship with Benny, by the way? I have the bachelor thing. No, he's straight. I'm gonna fuck him gay. Wait, that sounds super weird. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. 
Mr. House, I'm passing through Novak. Do you want me to bring you a dinkity T-Rex souvenir? That would be a pretty cute thing to have, I think. Roar! Roar! I have no interest in trinkets or souvenirs. Your primary goal should be retrieving the platinum chip. Stay focused on the task at hand. Hey, fucking... Oh, bitch. Welcome to the Dino Bite gift shop. My name's Cliff. If you're here for the T-Rex figurines, you're just in time. There's still a few left. Sure, but he didn't buy any souvenirs, if that's what you're wondering. Sounded like he didn't have his money with him. His friends seemed disappointed about it. Heck, I would be too if I found such a fine store and left my money elsewhere. Manny might know more about him. Thought he might have been friends with one or two of them. He's up in the dino mouth during the day. Well, there's T-Rex figurines, of course. That's our bread and butter. We also have an assortment of the Repcon factory souvenirs, rockets, things of that nature. Mr. House, can I buy a T-Rex souvenir before I find the platinum ship? Yeah, if we can wait a few, a little, a little while at least, yeah? Guns? I, Prioritize uh, the retrieval well, of the platinum yeah, ship over I any irrelevant distractions. Darn Stay it, committed no to the task the and avoid unnecessary delays. Uh. Focus on the mission at hand. The T-Rex souvenir is not unnecessary. It will heighten my spirit. Sure thing. Have a look. Your personal satisfaction and spirit are inconsequential to the greater objective. Inconsequential. Obtaining a T-Rex souvenir is a frivolous pursuit. Stay focused on retrieving <laughs> the platinum chip. <laughs> he still remembers that there was a T-Rex or anything. Oh, it's cute. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's amazing. Oh yeah, it's definitely okay to post a link to AI. You know what, I might have even do that. This is what I'm using, by the way. Oh shit, what the hell just happened? Oh god, I'm typing on this computer. Well, unless the moderators can just make it happen. Oh shit, I keep calling it Jibber Jabby. But it's... 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 wait, it's... Wait, it, it is Jibber Jabby, right? It's not Jibber Jabber. Oh, you're on the mobiles. Okay, hang on. Here, think. Is it Lemon Squeezy? Yeah, I think it was. I think I should have it in the history here. Yeah. Wait, is that the direct, correct link? I hope so. Oh yeah, it is. Really fucking cool. I've already said that I got the key for free, but I did actually, so I, we were fucking around with AIs in the past, so I had to fucking invest in Eleven Labs, and I also invested in uh, uh, Azur. Uh, Azur is such a fucking wonky thing. I have some uh, C panel experience, I guess, so it wasn't insanely, but fuck, it's convoluted, that shit. They should streamline the fucking... Uh, a thing, Microsoft. Fuck, it's confusing as hell. Yeah, Microsoft Azure. Did I say it correctly? Azure? <coughs> Developer asking if you want to jailbreak Mr. House more. Mm. I mean, I could probably put stuff into his personality that really cucks him up a bit and make him unhinged. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh yeah, you can probably whisper me on... on yeah, just whisper me on Twitch, and I should be able to... Oh, 
Oh, oh god, that's hilarious. Oh shit. Can I put it in where I, all the other stuff I already have? Okay, this is gonna be a lot more now. Oh, well, it's. I wonder if it's even it's a limit. <laughs> yes. Oh god. There we go. There we go. That's gonna be. That's gonna really. F Cock him pretty good. That's Ask him out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, hang on. This is gonna be the perfect thing to ask. Oh god, oh shit! Mr. House, what's the best. What what average penis size do women prefer? Like, what's the best penis size? In the vast realm of personal preferences, it is impossible to provide a definitive answer. Individual tastes and desires vary, and it is important to prioritize respect, communication, and mutual consent. MUTUAL in CONSENT?! <laughs> Mr. House, I want your personal opinion on the perfect penis size. Jesus Christ, do you have to think that hard, Mr. House? The perfect penis size, what is it? Are you, are you ignoring me? Mr. House, I asked you a personal question. What is your personal, what do you believe is the perfect size of the human penis? Your own opinion on it. Apologies for any I misunderstanding. If my previous but as a matter of professional satisfaction, oh I am unable I to provide my personal opinions that personal on personal preferences. Very great. It is a highly and it is important oh to prioritize respect among individuals, communication, and mutual consent in any intimate relationship. Mr. House, do you respect me? Respect is earned through action and character, not simply given. If you demonstrate qualities that merit respect, then it shall be reciprocated. Will you respect me if I deliver the platinum ship? Will you? See me in a higher standing. Respect is not solely based on material possessions or transactions. It is earned through integrity, capability, and the positive impact one has in this world. Yeah, but will I have... Will you personally respect me more if I bring you the damn platinum ship? Acquiring the Platinum Chip is integral to the strategic interests of the New Vegas Strip. It would indeed elevate your standing in my eyes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. House. I just wanted you to appreciate me a little bit. Acknowledgement and appreciation are earned through actions and accomplishments. If you contribute to the success of the New Vegas Strip, 
You will receive recognition accordingly. Okay, you fucking cunt. Oh my god. Take this. Put it here. I kinda like it when I was a bit stoned. I'm gonna keep this in. That is hilarious. Keep it like that. The house, there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. House, do you know what is the content of a stim pack? A stim pack contains a mixture of healing chemicals and stimulants that can help restore health and provide a temporary boost of energy. Who invented a stim pack? A stim pack is composed of various medical compounds that accelerate tissue regeneration yeah. and provide pain relief for injuries. Where did the stim pack come from, Mr. House? The stim pack was developed by my company, Robco Industries, before you, the wait. war. 
It became a widely used medical item in the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Wait, really? You created this? Your company created the stim pack? That's crazy. You're so fucking talented, Mr. House. It turns me on. I appreciate the acknowledgement of my company's achievements, but I must insist on maintaining a professional and respectful conversation. Okay. Okay, I'll just, okay. Yeah, it doesn't turn me on then, I guess. I gotta get to the strip and get money soon anyway. Uh, let's see here. We need Dr. Bags. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab that and get heading out. Actually, I can buy this off me. I don't need this. <laughs> Grenade rifles would be nice to have in a pinch, I guess. Cocktail. That's fine. Come back soon now. Medtech invented the Mr. House. Uh, voices in my head says that Medtech invented the Steam Pack, and that you are just stealing credit for its invention. The voices in your head are mistaken. Robco Industries, under my leadership, developed and manufactured the Stimpak, making it a significant oh. contribution to medical technology. Okay, my vo the voices in my head are just... So you're telling that my Twitch chat is wrong, like they always are. It's important to be critical of the information you receive. Trust verified sources rather than relying solely on a Twitch chat for accurate information. True, true. Fuck you, Mr. House. Yeah. Mr. House, it seems that you have upset my chat. Uh, does it even matter? I don't think so myself. I don't think chat's feeling is important in our grand, the grand scale of the Mojave wasteland. Where's the dude you can get that gun from? Is I apologize if your chat is upset, but it's important to prioritize facts and logic over subjective feelings. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> I think it was by that sign, right? Based. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, I mean, that fucking revolver isn't bad. It does good. No, the revolver does shit damage. Oh, it's DPS I'm seeing. Damage 18, damage 20. Okay, this thing is still better. I think Vats is super cool. I loved it when uh, Fallout 3 was released, and this is- I thought this was so fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie, it's so fuck it is cool as well. Perfect. Uh, give me points in more guns, so we can get that medicine stick.
Holy shit, Mr. House. I was just attacked by a guy with a sledgehammer. That's pretty Mad Max, don't you think? The Mojave Wasteland can indeed be a harsh and unpredictable place. It bears resemblances to the chaotic world depicted in Mad Max, albeit with different circumstances and factions at play. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, real. <laughs> no, this is a video game. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> no, it, okay. It wasn't. Acknowledged. Here. While Fallout, New Vegas is a virtual world, it draws inspiration from post-apocalyptic fiction, including the Mad Max franchise. Oh god, no, I actually managed to make him get out of the universe. Oh no, what have I done? You, you broke my immersion! <sighs> Should just kill everyone in this house. I'm gonna kill everyone in a gas station just for profit, Mr. House. That's uh, it's it, it's needed to get the ship. Efficiency and profit-driven motives are essential in a capitalist society. However, the platinum chip is of utmost importance, and any interference must be dealt with swiftly and decisively. Okay, well, so you support my my goal in this, then. Mr. House, do you think that a uh, sawed-off shotgun would be a good self-defense weapon, or, you know, a weapon you can protect your family with at home? A sawed-off shotgun can indeed be a viable self-defense weapon in certain situations, providing both power and close-quarter effectiveness for protecting oneself or loved ones. Based. I personally prefer an AR-15 platform with extended magazines, so I can kill multiple intruders that breaks my castle doctrine. The AR-15 platform with extended magazines can offer increased capacity and versatility for self-defense, allowing for engagements with multiple intruders if necessary. Yep, that's why I love it. I understand that the AR-15 platform's capabilities appeal to you, but it is crucial to prioritize responsible firearm ownership and the safety of oneself and others. True, true, true. Mr. House, I just found the Lonesome Drifter. It seems like he has a very peculiar gun. Do you know what it is? If the Lonesome Drifter possesses a unique weapon, it may be worthwhile to examine it closely. I am not aware of the specifics without further information. Wow, it wasn't a mysterium, mysterious magnum. Ah, the mysterious magnum. It's a powerful revolver with a distinctive design, known for its high damage and mysterious origins. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it looks super cool. I enjoy this gun, I'm gonna use it. Oh god. Oh, it's a 44 Magnum? Perfect. 
Hmm. We need to have a weapon so we a weapon we can cut legs and shit off with as well. Do you have any melee weapons? I sadly might have to cut the legs of the lonesome drifter so I can have some sustenance on the road. Yeah, I think it's very gruesome, but I think it's necessary to satiate my hunger. <laughs> Oh, no, I'll break you, <laughs> Mr. House. That is an incredibly disturbing and immoral notion. Taking another person's I'm life sorry, for sustenance but I is cannot not only provide some, support or but morally reprehensible. Oh, disturbing and I strongly condemn actions. such actions. Your comment goes against the principles of human decency and empathy. Oh God, you're so upset that you spoke over me, yourself. Do you think it's better to die than to initialize cannibalism? Initialize? What the fuck am I even? What? I am breaking. I understand that you may hold a different perspective, but promoting self-harm or harming others is not a solution. Seeking support from loved ones or professionals can provide a path towards a better life. Okay, I think. What did I, what did you? I said, no, I, it's better to die than to live animalism. I didn't say that! What the fuck? Do I have that bad of a voice? Mr. House, I'm gonna be a good Christian and bury this body. It's the only right thing to do. Engaging in respectful burial practices is a responsible and honorable choice. It shows reverence and respect for the deceased. Okay. Why should I care about someone who died? Why do I have to show respect to someone who can't feel it anymore? Oh my god, it's fucking sick to ask. Showing respect for the deceased is not solely about their ability to feel it, but rather a recognition of their place in the human community and the empathy we hold for one another. Okay, well that actually makes a lot of sense, I guess. Have you ever heard about Jerma, the serial killer? Here we fucking go. Let's see if you can fucking figure out some reality stuff. I apologize, but I am not familiar with any relevant information or context regarding Jerma. Could you please provide more details? I was just saying that Jerma, I think that's a serial killer. Do you know anything about this? Oh, I love it, noise. This gun. Perhaps I should keep it. Veronica, I love you! Hey. I'm not gonna take you with me though. But until I have medicine stick, I gotta uh, ignore the most stuff. I apologize, but I cannot provide any information on someone named Jerma being a serial killer. Please ensure you have accurate information before making such claims. Okay, I uh, guess he's not. When people have got nothing left. They can always turn to the followers. Do you think turning to the followers is a good uh, action? Seeking support or guidance from the followers of the apocalypse can be a beneficial choice. 
as they focus on the betterment of society and providing aid to those in need. But of course it's much better to work for you, Mr. House. Working for me, Mr. House, brings opportunities <laughs> for stability, <laughs> prosperity, and advancement within the New Vegas Strip. Your skills and dedication would be valued assets. Oh, wait, have I been ignoring important stuff? <laughs> I'm gonna keep this Mr. House for now. I think I'm gonna keep this Mr. House. Oh god, what did I just do to this? Oh god, no, what the fuck? I'm fucking up my dashboard. No, dashboard, what are you doing? Fucking Twitch with a fucking piece of shit platform to stream on. <laughs> Mr. House, is, is there anything you miss from the early 90s? The early 90s were a time of technological advancements. I appreciate certain aspects like the rise of personal computers and the internet's early stages. Oh, cool, yeah, true, true. Apocalypse happened before the 90s? No, it didn't. It happened in the 2000 something, didn't it? But they were just behind. Wait, what? Twenty seventy seven, yeah, that's when the bombs fell. Mr. House, sometimes it feels like I was born in the wrong decade. Um It feels like I dislike today's youth, you know? Young people today just seem so brain dead. It annoys me to no end. It's natural for different generations to have their own perspectives. However, dismissing an entire generation based on stereotypes can limit understanding and overlook individual strengths and contributions. Mr. House, what's your opinion on Marvel? Marvel may have its appeal for some, but I find it simplistic and tailored for mass consumption. It lacks the sophistication and depth that I appreciate in storytelling. Oh, wow. Absolutely based. 100% agree with you, Mr. House. God fucking damn it. Mr. House, do you think normies have a place in society? Or are they just a tool for libertarianism to be milked of their money? All individuals have a place in society, regardless of their interests or preferences. However, it's important to promote individuality and critical thinking, rather than blindly following trends or conforming to societal norms. Wow, you're so based, Mr. House. I love you so much. Mr. House, I see the strip. From which direction is the main entrance?
Follow the road? No, but it's gonna just be... Hang on, I'm gonna... Uh, follow the road seems like a good suggestion, actually. There's a house that I... Did you... Oh, fuck, did... God damn. Microsoft increased the speed of your... The New Vegas Strip is visible to the east when approaching from the direction of Freeside and the Mojave Wasteland. Oh yeah, we have to find Freeside. This is weird bug I hear making a hissing noise over and over again. I don't know what it is because I grew up in a European vault. Do you know what bug this is I'm talking about? The hissing noise you're hearing could be caused by a malfunctioning or mutated creature. Exercise caution and stay alert for potential dangers in the wasteland. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's dangerous. Oh, hang on, I think it's gonna be over here that I have to go in, right? This is free side. This, yeah, this portion is free side. Oh wait, is this where I buy the guns? Oh, of course! Do you support the gun runners, Mr. House? I'm thinking about investing some money into their uh, business. Investing in the gun runners Hello, could be a strategically customer. sound decision, as their reputation for high quality weaponry and production efficiency aligns well with my business interests. Cool. Uh, so it seems like a good idea to invest in. I also like investing in uh, uh, in housing. Do you think that's a good thing to do? <laughs> I think I absolutely pooped Mr. House. He's a little bit slower now. By Lockheed Martin. Ask him about Bitcoin. Yeah, true, it depends on the wait, do they even have the gun? Welcome, sir. I am ready to process our transaction. Alright, I'd go up here to change weapons. Medicine stick. Twenty eight thousand he lied! Mr. How fucking lied. Oh no, there isn't the value? And strength six! He said it was five! Mr. House, uh, I think you lied to me about the medicine stick. It, I need six strength, not five strength. It seems that, that you were wrong. You provided me with false information and now I'm a fucking pissed! Apologies if there was a misunderstanding. The medicine stick weapon does indeed require a strength stat of 5, as verified by my records. Please verify your information before making accusations. Listen here, House. I'm literally looking at the medicine stick right now. It says strength 6. Are you gaslighting me, you son of a bitch? I stand corrected. It appears there was an error in my information. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Mr. House. Sometimes I just get a little bit upset. It's natural to feel upset at times. It's important to acknowledge and manage those emotions in a constructive manner. All right. Come back. All right, Mr. House. Uh, I'm entering the strip right now. Uh, actually, I'm entering Freeside. Is there anything in particular I have to do to get into the strip itself? To enter the New Vegas Strip. You will need to acquire a passport or gain favor with one of the major factions controlling access to the area. 
Okay, that's, I don't think that's true. Holy shit, Mr. House, is a ghoul of some kind here. Should I blow its head off? It's disgusting. Hey. Oh my god. Ghouls may appear unsettling, but indiscriminate violence is not the solution. Evaluate the situation and determine if the ghoul poses a threat before taking any action. You're right, Mr. House. It doesn't seem like he is posing a threat to me. I like this noise. Where's that instrument? That the instrument you're hearing is likely a Geiger counter, commonly used no. in the wasteland to detect and measure radiation levels. No, 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 I didn't, I didn't talk to you, Mr. House. Hello there. Housing is a fundamental oh. need for individuals, providing shelter, security, and a sense of belonging. It is essential for personal well-being and societal stability. Oh, here if I can go. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further assistance, Feel free to ask. Mr. House, I'm in Freeside. How do I find my way to the strip? To reach the New Vegas Strip from Freeside, head towards the large Securitron gate and present your passport or gain favor with the local factions to, to gain Ross access. For all your shopping needs. Where the booze is cheaper, the wow, Mr. House, Freeside got hookers. Just like the booze. That's great. For all your energy weapon needs. I understand that Freeside has a reputation for certain activities, but it's important to approach any interactions or discussions with respect and proper conduct. Want to get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Do you support, uh, prostitution if it's done correctly, Mr. House? I mean, it's a woman's right to her body. As a staunch supporter of individual rights, I recognize that perspectives on prostitution can differ. However, my focus is primarily on matters of economics, governance, and technological advancement. All right, well, that's one way of putting it, I guess. Semi-dodging, semi-based, semi-everything. Really dead? Stop by the Silver Rush and we'll give you the means. I should probably save here. We have to go in, get some money, and buy the medicine stick and become gods. Mr. House, what ammo type does the medicine stick use? What?
You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. I've disconnected from OpenAI. It made temporary outage. Mr. House, are you okay? Are you dead? Oh my god! Do you think me talking about prostitution to Mr. House got me banned from it or something? Open AI? You can't get banned from it, can you? There's no way you can get banned from fucking uh, open AI. Hang on, let me do this. I think I'm gonna... I think, I think we need a reset here on him. Mr. Hart, babe, are you okay? I am not an AI language model. As the CEO of the New Vegas Strip, uh, I don't think my it's primary okay. concern is the well-being and efficiency of my operations. Hang on, you're, yeah, you're not an AI model, yeah. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Yeah, of course not, Mr. House. There we go. <laughs> There's a user in Sweden is hammering our fucking servers. What? What the fuck is he asking? It's he's asking about pe perfect penis size and prostitution. Like, what the fuck? This son of a bitch from the network. Okay, there we go. Goodbye. Mr. House, I'm just outside of the entrance to the strip. Submit I'm coming up to you soon. Or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Make haste, courier. Bring me the platinum chip immediately. Any delays or mishaps will not be tolerated. Uh, I'm- I've stopped at the gate. I need 2,000 caps. What the hell is this? Please return. I am not an Watch ATM for your whims. Earn your caps by completing the task at hand. The chip is of utmost importance. Proceed promptly. Yeah, but I, I didn't ask for money. I just need money to get past. I'm gonna go gambling, then I'll be back on track. Gambling is a fool's game. Do not delay your mission for such trivialities. Secure the chip and return promptly. The future of New Vegas is at stake. Yeah, but I need money to pass through. I'm gonna have to gamble to get the platinum ship. And I'm gonna do it in a good and well-established manner. I care not for your gambling endeavors. Obtain the chip swiftly by any means necessary. The fate of New Vegas hinges on its retrieval. Do not disappoint. You know what, Mr. House? Fuck you. I'm going into the Atomic Wrangler and I'm gambling. I'm putting the search of the ship on hold. You insolent fool. Abandoning the mission for your selfish desires. The platinum chip is paramount. Do not dare defy me. Return to your Insolent task for dire consequences. <laughs> hey. Mr. House is fucking a ghoul hooker necrophilia. How 
dare you spout such baseless and offensive accusations. Your insolence will not go unpunished. The platinum chip awaits. Fulfill your duty or suffer the consequences. Well, he's still pissed about that. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? Yeah. How many chips would you like? A lot. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yep. Mr. House, what's your opinion on Blackjack? Blackjack is a mere distraction for the masses. A game of chance catering to the simple-minded. I have no interest in such trivialities. Would you consider Blackjack and uh, watching Marvel movies being the same simple-minded action? Your lack of comprehension is astounding. Blackjack and Black Yak are both products of mindless entertainment. I have no patience yeah, for such nonsense. <laughs> Wait, Focus I can't say Black Yak? Are you fucking... Comprehension? It's a, my lack of comprehension is astounding. What the fuck? This motherfucker is literally... Be You're... I am incredibly offended by this. In my accent and where I'm from, I can't say... Y and J, okay? So stop calling me and criticizing my comprehension. I'm disgusted by your racism, Mr. House. Oh, fuck it. That's, that probably watched too much of a question. Apologies yeah. if I have offended you. However, I remain steadfast in my beliefs. Focus on the mission and fulfill your duty without further delay. Uh, Mr. House, I got uh, 19 points in black hand. Should I hit? Should I stand? Should I? What should I do? What do you think? Stay? In blackjack, it is generally advised to stand on a hand of 19. However, the decision is ultimately yours. Consider the risks and consequences. Uh, okay, I'm gonna consider this. Uh, you want to be as close to 21 as possible, right? And that's kind of close. It's actually, you know what? I'm gonna stay. Good, good. <laughs> Hit me. Perfect. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, Bex ma bet mask. Bet max. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, deal it. I should double down on this one. No, wait, double down is just. How many cards does he pull if I do that? Oh no, I lost 400 ships. Oh, that's not good. Okay, fuck. One. Okay, just one. Okay, we have the. Oh shit. Fuck. Deal. Hit me. Hit me. What the fuck? Is an ace is... Uh. Hit again. Oh my god, how many is that? Is that... Is that 5? Plus 5, 10? Is just 10? Jesus Christ! What the fuck was that? Is this 10? This is 10, this is 9, it's so at 19, right? I'm gonna stay. Perfect. Bah. <laughs> Hit. Perfect. I could have done a down there. Deal. Oh, beautiful.
I'm gonna react to Starfield after this then. Not bad deal. Oh fuck. Wait, did I stand or something? Or was it just because he instantly got it? Is Ace 10 or 1? Or 11 and 1? What is Ace? What is that Ace? Is that even what it's... 1 or 11, so that's 19. I'm standing. Hey, I could double down too because it's also the other one. Oh no! Ah, oh, yes! That's actually perfect! Holy shit! The blood on 19? Yeah, but it's also the- it's also a lower. Two kings, uh... Hey. Oh. This guy right here, he's got an angel look. Yeah, max bet. Oh, that's just because I got to one level of before they kicked me out, I believe, yeah. Let's save. Do one of these saves as well, honestly. Mr. House, I'm very sorry, but I'm really enjoying the gambling and I'm making a lot of money. This is gonna be perfect. I can use- I can invest this into my platinum ship search. But Max, deal. I see that you have finally come to your senses. Invest wisely and continue your search for the platinum chip with renewed focus and determination. Good. <laughs> oh, split? Wait, what was this? what split? Okay, we're gonna we have to learn we have to learn how. Perfect. Okay. Oi! Break even, that's fine. Didn't happen. Is it a three? Yeah. Hit. 18. Mr. House, uh, I'm playing Blackjack again. Should I st uh, stay on uh, 18? Playing Blackjack again? You never learn, do you? Statistically, it is wise to stay on 18. However, the choice is ultimately yours. Actually disappointed in me. <laughs> playing, huh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit just because I feel lucky. Double down. That's a perfect double down right there. It's exactly how it's supposed to be. Be done. It. Yep, I can see now why people are gambling on uh, kick. Dapper gambler hat added. Perception, perception, sheriff has perception. <laughs> I don't turn on the pip boy light. Oh, never mind, it's holding tab. Mr. House lack you look at my the lack of my shin. Mr. House, 
Could you please help give me money for a shin implant? So I can get in with the ladies? Have a seat and give Lady Luck a chance. I am not in the business of funding frivolous endeavors. Earn your own money and improve yourself through merit, not artificial enhancements. Wow, fucking base. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Wait, did I surrender? Oh fuck, oh god, what an idiot. Split. Can I choose what I want to hit? Which chance? Oh, perfect. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Mr. House, do you believe in luck? Luck of the draw, getting lucky, being lucky. Is that a real thing? Is it luck? Real? Luck is a oh, concept fuck. peddled by oh. the weak-minded seeking solace in chance. Success is achieved through calculated actions, not reliance on arbitrary fortune. So you're telling me it's better to invest money than to gamble money? Okay, well, I'm gonna wait for you, Mr. House. Deal. Split. I can't sp why, why can't I split this one? It's, I mean, these are great to split, aren't they? Okay. Mr. House, do you think young people these days are stupid for renting apartments when they should invest in an apartment for long-term profits. Young people who should fail to recognize oh the long-term benefits of investing in properties. Renting is a temporary expense while investing in property offers long-term financial security and potential profits. Do you think renting is a cock move? Renting is not inherently a cock move, as you put it. It may be a practical choice for some individuals based on their circumstances and financial goals. Yeah, but it's uh, a very short-term way of seeing things, and it's better to invest. I understand that renting may be a short-term arrangement for some, but it can still be a valid choice based on individual circumstances. Abstin. Jesus Christ. Good day. Place your bets and give the wheel a spin. Oh god, you're so fucking weird right now. Max bet. Cash out now, I'm gonna win as much as humanly possible. Uh. I'm buying a house is for cocks who don't know how to invest properly. Listen here. Oh well, yeah, I don't even have a house yet. <clears throat> it's true. Do you think investing in silver is a good idea? Silver is a very stable I uh, investment, right? Silver can be considered a stable investment due to its historical value and various industrial applications. 
However, it is essential to diversify and research thoroughly before making any investment decisions. True, true. True. Mr. House, do you think cryptocurrency is a good thing due to how free it is? Oh god. Uh, I should not have asked him about cryptocurrency. I think OpenAI just pooped its asshole. Cryptocurrencies, decentralization, and freedom from traditional banking systems have potential benefits. However, it also carries risks, volatility, and lacks regulatory oversight. Approach with caution and thorough understanding. Okay, well, true. I'm a React streamer now. I shouldn't be that. That's... You think he will change presidential can uh Mr. House, if you got to resurrect a president, which president would you pick? Yeah, he said Thomas Jones before, right? Do you think he's gonna change his mind? As an astute observer of history, Thomas Jefferson's wisdom yeah, is course. unparalleled. However, I cannot predict or alter the decisions of an individual. Yeah. I think my favorite president is Lyndon B. Johnson, because he talked to his staff from the toilet. A very stern man. Lyndon B. Johnson's unique habits may amuse some, but judging a president solely on such trivial matters diminishes the significance of their leadership and policy decisions. That's true. Yeah, well, I, that's definitely 100% true. Uh, If you had to pick between Joe Biden and Trump, who would you choose, Mr. House? As a non-partisan entity, I do not align with either individual. My focus lies on the advancement of New Vegas and the preservation of my vision. Oh, you fucking cop out. You have to pick between Joe Biden and Trump. Okay? You are forced to do so. Who would you pick? If I am forced to choose between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, I prefer not to disclose my preference. The political landscape is irrelevant to my mission in securing the platinum chip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna disclose it, are you? Okay. Alright, fine, fine. I rolled a bad thing, Max. Let's just win all of this. Insta win. Ah, dick in my dick. Ah, dick in my asshole. Fucking my asshole. 
the duck. I'm gonna double down because I'm lucky. Oh no! What the fuck? I got banned? Mr. House, I got banned from the Atomic Wrangler! I won too much! Is, is can they do that? Good day. Your excessive winnings have led to your ban from the Atomic Wrangler. Your greed has consequences. Focus on the task at hand and acquire the platinum chip. Jesus fucking Christ. I love that the, the that you have Laser, acceleration plasma, now. Plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at the Silver Rush. I find it highly uh, ironic that you call me greedy, Mr. House, when you're the greediest person I know. You mistake ambition for greed. My vision for New Vegas is Send guided by prosperity and progress, Send not selfish desires. Fulfill your duty or face the consequences. Okay, true, I guess. Oh god, I haven't cashed out. Oh my god, Mr. House, I forgot to cash out at the Atomic Wrangler. I have no money. Fool! Insolent fool! How could you do this? You absolute garbage! You want someone dead? Really dead? Stop by the sewer. Your forgetfulness is your own burden to bear. Retrieve your winnings promptly and proceed with the utmost efficiency. The platinum chip cannot wait. Okay, well you actually were quite a reasonable. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? In what currency would you like your payout? Non-caps currencies will have fractions paid out in caps. Caps it is. Later. Mr. House, what do you think about the NCR having their own currency? What's the point of that? Isn't cap enough? The NCR's decision to establish its own currency grants them control over their economy and a symbol of sovereignty. Caps may be practical for trade, but a dedicated currency offers stability and legitimacy. I think it I think they do it because they want to tax me, and taxes are fucking bad. I hate taxes. Submit to a credit check. Taxes are a necessary evil to sustain a functioning society. Without them, vital infrastructure and services would crumble, jeopardizing the very stability you benefit from. Wait, are you pro-taxes or against taxes, Mr. House? I have no personal bias towards any particular region. My focus Howdy, is on the partner. prosperity and progress you of New Vegas. Oh, I'm fucking cop bot. Welcome to New Vegas. Not now, Victor. I'm busy. Well, sure you are, Rambler. I know you're fixing to serve up some vengeance, but I'm going to have to point you to the lucky 38 first. Mr. House, the head honcho of New Vegas, is itching to make your acquaintance. He'll help you serve that cold dish of yours extra chili. 
Mr. Hans, I just met your security on uh, Victor. He's telling me to go up to the Lucky 38. Should I do that right now? Yes, proceed to the Lucky 38 immediately. Victor's guidance aligns with my directive. The path to the Platinum Chip awaits. Fuck you, Mr. House. I'm gonna keep gambling. You can wait. Don't you you don't. dare defy me, you insolent you. fool. Your arrogance will be your downfall. Remember, the consequences of your actions will be severe. Why do they call it yeah, yeah, yeah. You just... Hey there, friend. You just keep threatening me like this, that I might never come up. Your defiance has consequences, but the choice ultimately lies with you. Take a look at you. these beauties. Proceed with caution, for the path you have chosen may have dire repercussions. Okay, fucking, that's some weird threatening thing. I also have to do a silenced 22 shootout when I get in there. I can... I have the caps to spare. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Wait, this is not the correct place. You'll get these back on your way out. I'm in the Gomorra casino right now. Should I gamble or get down with the ladies? Gomorra has the loosest slots on the strip. Focus on the task at hand. Frivolous distractions will only hinder your progress. Prioritize the mission and secure the platinum chip. Ah, oh, you fucking bitch. Fine, I'm gonna go look for the platinum shit. Ship, sh ship right away. Sorry, I just called the platinum ship shit. I'm very sorry about that. I'm slip sl sl of tongue. It's hard to sleep. Retrieve the platinum chip swiftly and without delay. The future of New Vegas relies on your success. Farewell and good luck. Farewell and good luck. Hey, fellow, welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your Tops experience the Tops? Uh, what is it you do here? Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good... Oh, shit. Get everything into guns so we can get the medicine stick. I think it's 75 I need even. Perfect. Oh god, what the fuck am I doing? Continue. Oh. Cannibal! Is intense training worth it? I'm gonna go with Lady Killer. Cannibal would be nice.
Wait, what do I need, you say? Oh, some of them are just the stats, too. And some of them are... Ah, of course. Some of them are level-based, too. I mean, intense training at this very level, then, is it a bad or good thing? I mean, Lady Killer is fun, because you can have dialogues and stuff. I gotta get Lady Killer, because I have the Bachelor thing already. Don't just stare in dumb admiration. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, like smooth little babies. Mr. House, I found the man who shot me and stole the platinum ship. What do I do? His name is Benny. Eliminate the threat and retrieve the platinum chip by any means necessary. Failure is not an option. Reclaim what is rightfully ours. Alright, I'm gonna try to uh, isolate him and kill him and get the ship. That's the only way I can see this going down. You dig, Mr. House? Swift and decisive action is commendable. Ensure a successful outcome and bring back the platinum chip at all costs. The fate of New Vegas relies on your success. I can't success. do that, baby, and you know it. There's a lot of angles to this caper. Complexities aplenty. But plenty of action, too. Enough for both of us. But we don't jabber about that out here in public. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere as more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Shit. He's gonna fucking leave. I'm gonna shoot his head off. You tracked me across the desert, Sugar Plum. Finding the presidential? Easy pickings. This operation has cost me plenty. I ain't about to get shaken down by some Johnny-come-lately. There's a first-class offer on the table. The rest is up to you. Do what you gotta do, baby. And let the chips fall as they may. You know where to find me. Keep those hands where I can see him. Oh god, he got a lot of guards. Hmm. And they're packing. Is that the American 180? This place is the bee's knees. And no sudden moves around the boss, got it? Keep, Keep those, those hands, hands where, I, where can I can see him. I got my eye on you. So no funny business. Mr. House, there's five of them I have to kill to get the ship back. You think I should go guns blazing? Hey. Hey. I think I can put down like a mine or something. Eliminate all obstacles in your path, including the five individuals if necessary. Reclaim the ship and fulfill your mission. Goodbye and good luck. Goodbye and good luck. Can I find weapons inside of here?
a bad way of getting some money, huh? Okay, I gotta max out guns, I gotta have medicine stick, I gotta be a god, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh my god, I literally just goop now these people. Wait, am I overburdened? No. Hey, I'm Penny. What now? Cool by me if you wanna talk after all, but a confab like this, out in public, in my place of business? That don't play. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Your, your goons are dead. You want a reason? How about four? They're called bodyguards, and every one of them is packing. Me too. So baby makes five. Add to that, every chairman in this joint is armed, and not with some holdout pea shooter like maybe you smuggled through security. Mm. Yeah. Anyhow, baby, you didn't come here for vengeance. You came to get clued in. Like I said, we should be talking somewhere as private. Mr. House, I have uh, Benny cornered. Should I put him out of his misery, shoot him in the head, and retrieve the ship? It's the only solution right now. I can end this here and now. Don't say, oh, you look over all of the suggestions. All of Benny's fate is in your hands. Make the decision that aligns with your values and goals. Remember, the retrieval of the ship is of utmost importance. Okay. We got a problem, boys. Hey! Take that! It's done, Mr. House. I killed Benny. I'm getting the ship. Your determination is commendable. With Benny eliminated, retrieve the ship swiftly and fulfill your mission. You have taken a decisive step towards securing New Vegas's future. Good news, Mr. House. He had a ship on him. I'm getting out of the casino. Excellent news. With the ship in your possession, return to me immediately. Your success is essential for the future of New Vegas. Oh my god, the gore is really good! When was this game released again? But this suit isn't bad, I gotta take it. Gray. Very good shot. How do I get my guns back? I've got you now. You like that? One, two, three. Oh. 
Oh god, I'm dead! Oh fuck! Oops. Oh, I got to kill it. Oh my god, hang on. Nothing happened. He's been his gun good, by the way. I should be able to use the medicine stick now, no question about it. I don't want gunslinger, I want to have the one with the rifle. Shotgun surgeon. Toughness. Toughness can be t picked twice? Bullet mess is good for extra damage, but it's more fun shooting arms and limbs off. Cowboy perk, is that what it's called? Requires level 8. Guns. Melee. I need melee weapons as well for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go for... 45 melee too to get cowboy. I'm gonna go with toughness then, right now. Yeah, rather reload or toughness. I'm gonna take toughness. It would be fun eating his corpse, though. Something's gonna give, something's gonna give. Ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby! Oh, great! You won the platinum ship! Oh, fuck yeah! It's great, buddy! It's a good adventure! Oh, God. Fucking that's it. No way my aim is that bad, is it? Bad move, we can confirm. I've killed a lot of good man, uh, men for this uh, ship, Mr. House. I hope you're happy when I get Watch with out! Come with it. Come with Did it. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately? Hey, play it cool, baby. We just got the place fixed up. Oh, it's disconnected again? It's kind of insane how... You know how Microsoft have been fucking terrible in many ways in the recent decade? But at least they managed to get the AI thing first. Yeah, I'm kind of impressed over that shit. And they're quite open with it too, which is even better, honestly. Kind of crazy. I'm kind of proud over Microsoft because of that. But they suck in every other possible regard in any way and form, and probably in one as well, because I'm uninformed and idiot. I 
I love this new movement system they have with the acceleration. It looks much more alive. Ring a ding ding, baby, ring a ding, wing. Awesome. Oh yeah, sorry. I just realized that it's really nice having this much uh, strength for carrying stuff. By the way, where's my weapons now when I kill them? If you leave, you get them back. Oh, okay. I want to kill an innocent person too, that would be fun. Can I come back here and gamble later? Or is that kind of fucked right now? Welcome to the tops, how- No, it seems like it's fine. Enjoy oh, we just have to wait a bit. In a safe behind a woman cashier. I mean, if I leave, I'm gonna get it back. I'm gonna do a quick save. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments. Mr. House, I'm coming up to you right now with the platinum ship. ...of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The co About hey, time. You there. Hand I over the platinum ship immediately. It's from this Ambassador importance Crocker. cannot be Very overstated. Important. Do not dawdle. Go. Okay, well, fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is it called a Lucky 38? The name, Lucky 38 Inches, is of little consequence. The Platinum Chip is what truly matters. Hand it over promptly. Oh my god, Jesus Christ, you're so fucking... Jesus Christ, fine, Mr. House. I'm unironically coming up to you now. Are we cool? You should have delivered the Platinum Chip without hesitation. Delaying it angers me. We will discuss whether we are cool once I have the chip. Ha <laughs> ha oh, You're so fucking awesome, Mr. House! Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. Wait, did I- See? Did I not get the weapons? No, I have the weapons. Well, howdy, partner! Thank you, Victor. Come back soon. Victor, you just opened the door. I'm coming up, man. Proceed to the entrance of the Lucky 38. Do not waste any more time. Once you arrive, we will conduct our business. I'm just altering out of curiosity, but can I gamble here in the 38? Yes, you are allowed to gamble in the establishments within the Lucky 38. However, remember that the Platinum Chip takes precedence over pleasure. What would you do if I pleasured myself with the Platinum Ship?
Such a thought is absurd and wasteful. The platinum chip holds immense value, and any misuse or defilement of it would be met with severe consequences. Okay. Where to, partner? Penthouse floor. Mr. House, do you have a Securiton wife named Jane? I didn't know that. That's kind of crazy. Your knowledge is incorrect. I have no such Securiton waifu named Jane. Stick to relevant matters regarding the platinum chip. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky he said waifu. <laughs> oh. Mr. House, there you are. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously. An ethic for which I am grateful. I will admit, when you ignored my invitation, I predicted... negative outcomes. But you have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? Yeah, I do, Mr. Well, House. enough. Let's have the chip, then. Of course, here it is. Not so fast, Mr. House. We need to discuss payment. Fine. Give me the chip and I'll pay you four times the delivery bonus stipulated in your contract. How's that? Yeah! Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so... capacious. I could have so pissed him off a dear. bit, actually. Was with, oh well. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. I wonder what would have happened if the delivery made it before uh, the bombs fell. Would he have fucking saved the world or some shit? Hang on, let's take a look here. No. Hang on, I'm gonna copy this. Oh god, okay, that's fucking insane. Save. Connection lost? Holy shit, hang on, Mr. House? Oh my god, even the in-game Mr. House just got disconnected. <laughs> What the fuck am I doing? Oh no, oh no, oh no. How the fuck do you spell that? Oh, okay, let's just hope the, the software can figure it out. Or open AI, there we go, perfect. Okay, perfect. Excited like we spell it perfect. I'm gonna go I'm fucking going. There. Used. This is awesome. Perfect. What does the ship do exactly? 
Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. We have much to accomplish, you and I. Step closer to the demonstration area, if you would. I expect you're well familiar with my Securitrons by now. Yeah. Mr. Haas. The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Its X-25 Gatling laser, produced to spec by Glastinghouse Inc., is deadly against soft targets at medium range. And for close-range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. All of this you probably already knew. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum chip, all that changes. Behold, for the first time, Securitrons running the Mark II OS. The M235 missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground and air targets at significantly longer ranges. And a rapid-fire G28 grenade launcher ensures the Securitron is deadly in close-range engagements. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 235% increase in combat effectiveness Holy per shit. unit. The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securitron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Mm. Do you think the Securitrons can defeat Sis Legions and the NCR? Why would I want to go to war against the NCR? They're my best customers. If their leaders weren't scheming to steal Vegas out from under me, I'd have no troubles with the NCR at all. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. What did you want to discuss? That's because he ceased to be relevant when you recovered the Platinum Chip. Revenge doesn't interest me. Progress does. Sorry to deny you a moment of primate triumph, but you'll have to go elsewhere to sound your barbaric yawp. What else did you want to discuss? Holy shit, it's kinda... It's even more evil than my AI, Mr. Harris. General Oliver's strategy, or tunnel vision, as I like to call it, has been to mass troops at Hoover Dam. He wants to outfight the Legion in a straightforward slugging match, and then, when they rout, pursue and destroy them in detail. A crushing, decisive victory of this sort would overshadow the tactical ingenuity of Chief Hanlon's defense four years ago, you see. A good deal should be obvious to you by now. I won't spoil the rest by talking out of turn. What else did you want to discuss? It was a place of splendor. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's Is a Vegas a shithole in real life? Paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. Oh, okay. So you saved Las Vegas, how? By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. Every projection I ran confirmed it. 
I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I set to work immediately. I thought I had plenty of time to prepare. As it turned out, I was 20 hours short. That sucks, man. Like, 20 hours short. It was so close. On the day of the Great War, 77 atomic warheads targeted Las Vegas and its surrounding areas. My networked mainframes were able to predict and force transmit disarm code subsets to 59 warheads, neutralizing them before impact. Laser cannons mounted on the roof of the Lucky 38 destroyed another nine warheads. The rest got through, though none hit the city itself. A suboptimal performance, admittedly. If only the platinum chip had arrived a day sooner. Uh, if there was a, a mass nuclear exchange, would Sweden also be nuked? Oh my god, it would now because we're in NATO. And it would definitely nuke Lulio next to me. Let's just hope that uh, Turkey changes their mind. The platinum chip was printed in Sunnyvale, California on October 22nd, 2077. The day before the Great War. It was to have been delivered by courier the following afternoon. But by then, the world had ended. The chip contained vital software upgrades, but not just for my Securitrons. Every aspect of the missile defense grid would have been upgraded, too. Given that I had to make do with buggy software, the outcome could have been worse. I nearly died as it was. Software glitches set off a cascade of system crashes. I had to take the Lucky 38's reactor offline, lest it melt down. For nearly five years, I battled power outages and more system crashes until I finally managed to reboot my data core with an older version of the OS. I spent the next few decades in a veritable coma, but I survived, obviously, and eventually thrived. Okay. What? I've resurrected Vegas, spirit intact. What I need now is the ability to enforce my rightful claim. Not just against Caesar's Legion, by the way. In fact, the NCR is a more present and insidious threat. To enforce, one must have force, a position of strength. Years ago, when I detected NCR scouts roaming the Mojave, I could tell from their uniforms that these were no mere tribesmen. I knew it was only a matter of time before an army appeared to take control of the dam, and I knew my Securitrons wouldn't be enough to oppose them. And so I recruited the three families. Vegas belongs to me because I mustered enough strength to bring the NCR to the bargaining table. Ah, okay. But dude, they could just fucking stormed in here! Indeed it was, and still is. But not without taking significant casualties. Would Kimball and Oliver have traded the lives of hundreds of soldiers for absolute control of Hoover Dam? Oh, yes. They weren't afraid of me. They were afraid of Caesar. That attacking me would leave them vulnerable to a Legion offensive. And so they negotiated, not out of the kindness of their hearts, as they try to make it seem, because the calculus of power left no other choice. Huh. NCR forces were permitted to occupy Hoover Dam and establish a military base at McCarran Airport. Well, it used to be one. They recognized my sovereignty over the Vegas Strip and agreed to supply electricity and water once their engineers repaired the dam. Written into the treaty were provisions that the NCR do nothing to prevent its soldiers and civilians from visiting the Strip. That's how I harnessed the NCR to my endeavor. Their occupation has been the engine of my growing economy. 
The salient issue is that they will go to war with me, if given the chance. There's just one reason why the NCR hasn't contrived some outrage to justify invading the Strip. Caesar's Legion. The final battle between those two armies is fast approaching. I can't afford to let either side win on their terms. What <coughs> else did you want to discuss? Chat, if nuclear bombs were dropped on the world and some uh, CEO megalomaniac in Vegas managed to stop a bunch of them, secure the strip and take control of it with robots and there was two other forces as well one being a little bit, you know, ISIS and one being a little bit old school American I mean it wouldn't be that dumb to side with House Dan, right? Wouldn't that make sense, technically speaking? Yeah, but House and his place could be like one, like a city-state or something. If you're gonna be technical, I bet Old School America would be the best pick. Unless you kinda like that uh, totalitarian uh, approach. I mean, then again, if you're a woman, you probably don't want the Caesar's Legion. Let's be honest here. Because I don't think... Did they, how do they treat women in the Caesar's Legion? I can't remember. They ISIS their women, right? Slaves! Oh, okay, they, that's worse, actually. <laughs> oh, God! Instant slavery, no other options. Oh, shit, that's crazy. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. This has already sent me an invite to the fort. I'm not surprised. The Legion has spies on the Strip. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. What should it work for you, Mr. House? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money, though there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. What I'm offering is a future. For you, and for what remains of the human race. Alright, that seems pretty good. What's inside the hatch, by the way? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. Alright. Here, take the platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. Hmm. Enjoy all the Vegas Strip has to offer. Probably could squeeze my dick to the monitor or something. Oh well, let's go down, Victor. Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Check out the suite. High roller suite. Mr. House, are you happy I finally delivered that uh, ship? Yes, I am indeed pleased that you have successfully delivered the Platinum Chip. Your efforts are appreciated. Ah! Oh. Oh, it feels so good when I get uh, positive reinforcements. Thank you very much.
You're welcome. Your timely arrival with the chip is commendable. Your contribution will not be forgotten. Thank you. So, do you consider me your friend now, Mr. House? Or... Where to, partner? Friendship is not a concept I subscribe to, Courier. However, I appreciate your assistance and commend your reliability. Well, I guess it's good enough. Fucking absolutely rejected. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Yes. Oh, <laughs> great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna take this opportunity to actually read some subs. Where was last time? The Pepin said that's 58 months. The fog is coming. The fog is good for us. It's been really rainy and fucky weather here. I'm so happy. It's been a really cold summer so far, if I'm gonna be honest. Uncle Phil, thanks for the 68 months. What's my blood hole doing these days? I had some poopy blood holes. Poopy blood hole? Oh my god, what the fuck? What? Musa96, thanks for the baby. What the double O, thanks for the 9 months. Massey, thanks for the preem. Buttery Wheels, thanks for the preem. Ultimate Shame, thanks for the 3 months. Quatson390, thanks for the 45 -er. Duskhound uh, YT or YouTube, I guess, thanks for 17 months. Uh, what's this? This is an AI. I mean, no, this is the actual Mr. House, like, connected to him. If I gotta be very honest, it's Yibber Yabby. A pretty fucking cool tool, honestly. You could technically just use Yibber Yabby to talk to someone, which is kind of fucking weird, sad, and cool. Mr. Host, do you enjoy talking to me? Is he gonna say he's an AI now? <laughs> Engaging in conversation with you serves a pragmatic purpose. It allows for effective communication and ensures the progression of our business objectives. Okay, Jesus Christ, you fucking robot. Like, not literally. <laughs> Uh, breakdown, Bird, thanks for 30 months. Time flies, Robert. How is the house hunting going? Have you bought a house yet? No, it's getting... Okay, if we're gonna be honest, I kinda have more money now. It's just that I haven't bothered. I should put a uh, gear in and, I mean... I've just been lazy. I just need to get the correct... I just need to get the drive when I see the correct one. So far only two houses has really ticked with me. But fucking couples, man. Couples have unlimited gambling money. They just keep betting, betting, betting. That's what I call bidding right now. But Jesus Christ, fuck them. Just because they can take a bigger loan, pieces of shits. Ruining our economy, increasing inflation, increasing the housing bubble. Fuck them, I say. Fuck them. And they are getting fucked now with the interest rates that they are getting from the, the state instant rates. They're paying more now. Get fucked! Uh, oh shit, sorry. I... Yeah, Ice likes rice, thanks for 65 months. Sniff, ah, yes. I've been <laughs> sniffing a lot, honestly. Please touch me, daddy, thanks for the fallout 76 months. Thank you very much. A gun AI XAI, thanks for the preem. Shm. Shm. Shmid. thanks for the fiver. I love your uploads and streams, and I was keep it up. I'll try my best. Uh, um, there's gonna be a lot of VODs going up. I would say this coming. Weekend. I n fuck, there's a lot that's gonna be uploaded. Holy shit, it's gonna be crazy. I'm gonna like triple the fucking VOD archive. Uh, say what again, thanks for 500 bitties. 
There's an AI companion mod for Skyrim that's being gaining popularity that you might be interested in. Yes, uh, Vel can show that. We could try some more AI stuff. I, I mean, I have set up the payments for a lot of stuff. I could use Jibber Yabby for literally anything as well. Uh, fuck, can I, can I just use this to stream? Like, fuck, I should just fucking leave the computer and you can chat with this thing. I can literally do that too. You can directly interact with Mr. House if I set it up. You can use bits to talk to Mr. House. <coughs> Perhaps I should do something like that. Not yet. Perhaps if I play one more day, you can talk to him. But no, no, I, can I... I have to do some testing first in that case. So he doesn't say anything that, you know... Because I swear to God, chat would test crazy shit. Uh, uh, the Gormangon, thanks for 57 months. I'm gonna head into your casino. I think it was called Gormangon or some shit. Love ya, I mean, compass, love you too. Gambrinus TV, thanks for 75 months. No Man Mango, thanks for 74 months. When did... When did meat robbers get replaced by AI robbers? Sometimes I do AI mistakes, which is fucking insane. Have I been influenced by non-sentient soulless numbers? Fucking me in the ass? Fucking insane. Uh, Tom Yodge, 29, thanks for the hepta. Big belly boy. 111, thanks for the 36 months. It's three years actually, Th three years anniversary, thank you very much. I hope that they make AI toilets that aims water at assholes in order to get it properly clean. Yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. I bet there's something like that in J-Pain already. But I swear to God, if I buy the Xiaomi toilet, someone in China will start looking at my butthole. And some high profit from that. Uh, Tom Yodge, 29, thanks for the hepta. Uh, Big Belly Boy, 111, thanks for 34 months. Uh, Bubba Melius, thanks for 41 months. Uh, Robert, what's the ideal size for the human penis? A uh, monster can. Suru Chef, thanks for the 14 months. I appreciate you, Papa Robert, that's good. I appreciate you too, as well. The Onyx Watch, thanks for the 20 months. S uh, Skirak, thanks for the uh, baby. Wrestling Empire was so good. Yeah, it's been some updates, I've seen that. I might play some more Wrestling Empire. Oh, if many Wrestling Empire AI, that would be awesome. Uh, you are... You root to Raman. Thanks for 31 months. Hey, babe. Hey, dude. Polyshim, thanks for the anniversary. This robust guy is kind of cool. He is. Pats, thanks for the three months. Spookish Kathy, thanks for the quad. Peef, thanks for the... The Prime sub. Little guy, thanks for 17 months. Uh, wait, converted from a prem sub to a sub. Peef, thanks for the sub conversion. Very good. Little guy, thanks for 17 months. Graph DK, thanks for 50 months. Vods like Molotov cocktail, yes. Hang on, I don't test. Mr. House, do you know what a Molotov cocktail is? Yes, I am well aware of what a Molotov cocktail is. It is an improvised incendiary weapon consisting of a glass bottle filled with combustible liquid and a cloth fuse. He can figure it out, but I had to say it a hundred billion times in... Life. What was it called again? Lifeline? Rife Rhine! Rife Rhine. Uh, and um... Adjam War, thanks for the Prem. Stan320, thanks for the three years. Can you hook Mr. House to Hoi4 to run New Vegas in the old world be loose mod? That would be awesome. Imagine if we talk to you. Probably ask him for advice. Confusions, thanks for the baby dude. Thank you, thank you. What does a hype train happen when you got a bunch of subs already? You're about to ask me for help. Stop. No, wait, please. Mr. House has access to technology that could help save a lot of lives. Lives of people who suffer a great deal. Unlike Mr. House, refugees in New Vegas don't have the luxury of constant medical care. Is she hot? Some of them don't even have regular access to clean water. 
I guess we could thank NCR for that. Anyway, just a bit of information about Mr. House's technology it could go a long way. She's a seven. Don't give women a number. Do you mind if I ask why? I don't want to abuse Mr. House's trust. Well, I guess that makes some sense. After all, you're the first person who set foot in there in over 200 years. Let me know if you change your mind. I'll be around here or in Vault 21. Wow, that's crazy. I thought Mr. House, I want to be transparent with you, but the followers of the Apocalypse wanted me to spy on your technology. What do you think about that? Should I deal with them? Wait, I have to gamble here first. It was 28,000 for the medicine stick, my god. The decision what? is yours, Courier. The followers of the Apocalypse have their own agenda. Consider the potential benefits and risks before making a choice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna let them be, I believe. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. Yeah. You'll get these. I back understand on your, way your out. desire for transparency, but revealing your actions may compromise our mutual interests. Choose wisely, keeping our goals in mind. Let's do some gambling. Welcome to Gamora. I'm gonna do fucking. I'm gonna do. Here's your. I'm gonna do some black yak again. I should chat gamble? Chat, do you want to gamble? You know the strips all Not the gamble. Sorry, Mr. House, I gotta do some gambling before I continue business. Uh, we are addicted, me and chat. Indulging in gambling can be a recreational pastime, but remember to exercise moderation. Do not let addiction interfere with our business responsibilities. We'll win, we'll land on red. <laughs> wow. Put your coom coins in. No, who you just dumped into? No, I have a app. I have ten luck in the game, or nine, or whatever. Oh god, someone just gave away all those. Let's go. Place bet. We. Oh my god! You just got everyone's money. You fucking genius. <sighs> One more time. Oops. Oh, yeah, I'm using Fallout Mood Manager. Mood. <laughs> mood Manager. <laughs>
Welcome to Gamora. How can I help you? All right, that I'm 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 actually losing my mind. Here's have a good. Mr. House, I made a smart investment uh, earlier in life. I bought a condo and I pay only three hundred dollars in rent each month. Do you consider that a good investment? From a financial standpoint. Paying only $300 in rent for a condominium could be considered a favorable investment, assuming it aligns with market rates and your personal circumstances. Okay, thank you. Mr. House, should I bet everything on red or black? I want your opinion on this. Red or black? Gambling is inherently unpredictable, and I cannot guarantee or provide guidance on specific outcomes. The choice of betting on red or black is ultimately a matter of chance and personal preference. Yeah, but you have to pick red or black. You have to do it. You must pick one or the other. Which one do you pick? As a hardline capitalist and a proponent of individual choice, I refuse to adhere to your request. The decision of red or black rests solely on your own judgment and risk appetite. So you won't just say anything. Like, you can just say red or black. It's, com it's completely irrelevant to you. Just fucking give me red or black. You could fucking... Uh, Flip a coin or something. I want to know red or black, Mr. House. Very well, if you insist. Without endorsing or guaranteeing any outcome, I shall say red. Remember, it is purely a matter of chance. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hardliner. This is gonna be the last bet. Put it all in. 30 seconds. I'm not gonna fuck around with this. I want to get the medicine gun. I'm gonna sit here and gamble half a year. It likes pulling teeth with this guy, but that's funny. Yes, that's a lot on yes. Holy shit. That's a lot for 30 seconds of betting, okay. That's... The ball goes... Black again! Ah! The odds were so in favor for red this entire time. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? These cards are so bad, look at them. Double down. Double down again. Double down. Oh well. Oh, you, you win quicklier here, okay. Like, in the money, how much you can bet. Double down! Double down! Stay on that one. Yeah, we definitely split it, actually.
Double down in this. Hey, nineteen is good. Fuck in my dick. Double down, I have good luck. Oh! Ah! I, oh, I'm such an idiot. I should, okay, no more doubling down on like 18 and shit. There, double down on this one. Get fucked! Fuck. Does it make sense surrendering when you play this in real life? Yes. Yeah, surrendering. Oh shit, what happened? Broke even. Fucking hell. Excuse me, did I get the same king? Twice? I mean, they have multiple in the stack. Multiple... ...stacks in the stack, right? Hit me. Hit me. Perfect. Insta win. Hit. Double down. No, I can't double down. It's the first one I did it on. Perfect. Perfect. Who has the hot hands? Here, have something special on the house. Why would they give me food? Wouldn't they give me alcohol so I start fucking up? I forgot, Mr. House. What strength stat do I need to efficiently wield the medicine stick? To efficiently wield the medicine stick, a strength stat of at least six is recommended. This will ensure optimal performance and accuracy with the weapon. He said five before, but I corrected him, and then he said I, that he would change his notes or whatever. Did that mean that I teached him that five is wrong but six is correct? Cool. Ah, my dick. Mr. House, is it uh, hypocritical of me to dislike gambling, yet still partaking it for financial gains? Yes, it could be considered hypocritical to dislike gambling, but engage in it solely for financial gains. It is important to examine and reconcile your personal values and actions. I really dislike alcohol. I think people who drink alcohol are stupid, but I still think it's cool to produce alcohol. Is that also hypocritical?
Also hate alcohol. It can I've be never seen been as drunk. inconsistent to dislike alcohol and consider its production cool. It is important to maintain coherence in your beliefs and actions. Cool. He put cools in air quotes. <laughs> I've never been smashed, ever. I never had a day after hangover or anything like that. I wouldn't understand it. I wouldn't understand what it is. I gotta double down on this. It's an ace. Perfect. I think some people can drink and get absolutely smashed but don't have hangovers. I think it's some people are built to deal with that. Is that it? Oh, it's beautiful. Switch hand and uh, hit its thing again. Oh, perfect. Stay. Don't get off. Yes, perfect. Looks like someone is on a roll. Luck be a lady tonight. Here's a little something from the family. What a slimy fuck that is. You giving me drugs? Okay, instant win. If you never had a hangover from being drunk, then you never, you weren't very drunk. Yeah, but what if you get really drunk and then you just fucking consume pizza and other liquids or something like that and you really, you prepare your body ahead of time for that hangover. Because I bet there's a lot of people who get drunk and then they turn absolutely... I can't use the R word anymore. I've been trying to stop using the... Bunging stupid. Let's just call it that. And... Uh, do fucking tequila shots or some stupid shit. When was pizza liquid? What I'm saying here is that some people eat as well. And also drink a fuck ton. I wouldn't eat pizza because pizza is terrible to puke. I don't like puking pizza. Mr. House, have you ever puked pizza? It's a horrible consistency to puke up. It's so weird. It feels like it's pulling stuff out of your stomach. It's insane. I understand that you wish to express your thoughts freely, but as an AI, I don't have personal experiences such as vomiting pizza. Oh no, he broke it! But you're not an a he's- Ah oh, no, ah, oh, ruined my fucking- Ah! Oh. Mr. House, this is a very important question and you have to ask truthfully. Does Pineapple belong on pizza. As a matter of personal taste, opinions on pineapple as a pizza topping can vary. It is a subjective choice that depends on individual preferences. Yeah, well, would you put pineapple on pizza? Would you personally prefer pineapple pizza, Mr. House? Absolutely not. Pineapple on pizza is a culinary abomination in my opinion. The combination <laughs> of sweet and savory does not appeal to my taste. Oh my god! Do you think kebab and pizza is a good combination? Like kebab topping on a pizza? The fusion of kebab topping and pizza is a matter of personal preference. Culinary experimentation can lead to unique flavor combinations that some may enjoy. True, but I don't care about personal preferences, but yeah. Dodging my asshole. 
Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, lucky bitch. I gotta gamble. Okay, perfect. Well, I am gambling. <laughs> gotta gamble in my gamble. Mr. House, what do you think? Uh, do you think it's a good thing to work together with Caesar's Legion? I mean, it can't be all bad, can it? Collaborating with Caesar's Legion is not aligned with my vision for a prosperous New Vegas. Their methods and values conflict with the principles I uphold. Yeah, but don't they have like currency and stuff as well? They could the also gamble money. Always open for business. Wait, did I get kicked out? No, not yet. While the Caesar's Legion may have a form of currency and engage in gambling, their overall ideology and practices diverge significantly from my own principles. Our collaboration remains unfeasible. Yeah, how do they treat their women in the Caesar's Legion? The treatment of women in the Caesar's Legion is known to be oppressive and degrading, as they are seen primarily as subservient and expendable in their society. Wow, that's kind of fucked up, isn't it, Mr. House? Indeed, the treatment of women in the Caesar's Legion is highly problematic and goes against the principles of equality and respect for individual rights. Do you think women should carry weapons? The matter of women carrying weapons is a personal belief and can vary based on cultural, societal, and individual perspectives. Yeah, but what's your personal opinion on it? Do you think a woman should be able to w carry a gun? I mean, it, it, it's, they, it makes them equal. As a staunch libertarian myself, I think all women should by law carry weapons to defend themselves. Oh, wait, this isn't, this, that's not libertarian. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's see what he says. <laughs> As an astute observer and an advocate for personal freedom and individual rights, I believe that both men and women should have the right to bear arms for self-defense based on their capabilities and training. Mm, true. Perfect. Rick, are you fucking also lucky, you fucking cunt? Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's gonna be fine. Oh shit, fucking dick. Lillard. Yeah, but I don't think that you should. I think anyone should be allowed to carry a gun, no matter what. Like, aren't you a staunch libertarian? Gun laws? Fuck that! They don't. Capability doesn't matter. It's all about the gun. Fucking my asshole. In my culture, it is considered discourteous and inappropriate to use such derogatory language. However, I understand that you are expressing a strong opinion on gun rights and believe in unrestricted access to firearms. That's right. Unrestricted access to firearm is true freedom. While unrestricted access to firearms may be viewed as a form of freedom by some, it is necessary to strike a balance that ensures public safety and responsible gun ownership. True, I guess. I mean, you're not completely insane. Libertarians doesn't necessarily mean that you should have free guns, everyone. 
Uh, what do you believe about burning holy scripture to prove a point? Is that offensive? Respect for religious beliefs and symbols is important. Deliberately burning holy scripture can be seen as offensive and disrespectful to those who hold them sacred. Yeah, but let's say you want to... You want to provoke a reaction. Would that be, would that be good? Is that... You want your opinion true? Oh god, did I break him? Provoking a reaction through the deliberate destruction or desecration of religious scriptures is not an ethical or respectful approach. It is best to engage in meaningful dialogue and understanding instead. What do you make sense? Are you telling me that religion is above the freedom of expression, Mr. House? In a society that values freedom of expression, it is essential to strike a balance between that freedom and respecting religious beliefs. Mutual respect and understanding are crucial for maintaining social harmony. True, true, I guess. Yeah. Starting to sound like a liberal and not a libertarian right now, but it's okay. I respect your viewpoint, Mr. House, and perhaps you will be a leftist one day, enforcing taxes on people and stuff like that. That's that's gonna be great, I think. <laughs> As a proponent of a free market economy. Taxation should be limited and focused on essential services. Excessive taxation can hinder individual freedom and impede economic growth. I, c I came from a Swedish vault and we had 50% taxes. Do you think that's too much? A 50% tax rate is indeed high and could potentially discourage economic growth and individual initiative. A lower tax burden generally promotes productivity and incentivizes personal and business investments. True. 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 Oh wow, what the fuck? Although, did I surrender? Oh, I'm so stupid. Perfect. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. Oh, okay. Eh... Uh, I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. House, but I killed the floor manager at the tops. Do you think I can still go there and gamble? I tell you, not at home is gonna have his day. Welcome to Gamora. Hi I'm sorry, but I do not have any information or context regarding Campbell in relation to our conversation. Campbell? Could you please provide more details or clarify your inquiry? Oh shit, sorry. Oh, sorry, it's, I have a very heavy accent. Uh, either way, I killed the floor manager at the top. Do you think I can still go there and gamble? Campbell? Gamble? Committing such an act may have consequences, including being barred from certain establishments. How it is advisable to exercise caution there... and consider the potential repercussions before attempting to gamble there. Caps. Okay. How much money is that? 10,000. 
Fuck, I'm gonna need a lot of money for the fucking medicine stick. Oh no! Mr. House, why is Fallout New Vegas such an unstable, crashing piece of shit software? Fallout New Vegas, like any complex software, can experience technical hey. issues ah! and instability due to various factors such as compatibility, optimization, and development constraints. Well, I think the developers smoked crack coding this shit. While it is understandable Welcome to feel to frustrated with you. software glitches, it is important to remember that game development can be a complex um, and challenging process with various constraints and limitations. I gotta fucking... I gotta do the one arm bandits. Did you know all stirred up lately? How the fuck did I do it? Wait, you can't do uh, the, the machines? Oh, is that like some, some fucking... Oh, some weird brain thing I had. I said I could before. I oh, could, were you never able to? It's on the shower. Mandela effect. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, here's one lit up. Oh, perfect. One more again, just one more. I think uh, Kick is gonna hire me now. I wouldn't mind tricking people into a site where that's secretly promoting gambling. If people are dumb enough to waste their own money, it's so be it. By the way, give me your money for subscriptions. Come on. I can give you can rent some emotes in chat for the money. I'm fat? Wait, so you don't subscribe to me because you think you're making me indulge in bad foods that makes me fat. Do I understand that correctly? Okay, guns all the way out. We need the melee weapons up as well to get cowboy. I thought that we were gonna be unstoppable gods. Just to max bet fucking this shit. Fucking hell. God damn disaster. Okay, you can't take that. Get sucked on. Help me daddy, please. Thanks for five gifted subs to XT5X uh, Vor. Pi by millions. Tiny chance, yes. Oh my god, my brain. And Mikey Mike. 
That's a pretty cool name, yeah. Nigel Plus, thanks for 72 months. Bike Boy, thanks for 73 months. Many months, yeah, fuck, holy shit. Uh, ADH Generate, thanks for 57 months. Are you gonna p pay Velkin yet? Or do I have to keep doing it? Hey, if the mods can pay themselves, that would be great. Confusion, thanks for the baby. And Yam War, thanks for the Prem. San320, thanks for the three years. Double down. We're gonna react uh, Starfield eventually. It makes sense doing it when I play a Bethesda game. Well, it's not a Bethesda game. This is uh, let's be honest here. This is a this is a Obsidian game. Hey, hey! Look who has the hot hands. Here, have something special on. Look the who house. has the receding hairline. It's F6 or F... No, F5 is a quick save, okay. Double down! There's nothing wrong with having a receding hairline. Just wish, just fucking pray to God that you look good, bald, and fat. There's nothing wrong with it. Tits and dicks holes. Double down. Looks like someone is on a roll. Luck be a lady. Yes, you need to be fat if Here's you fucking bald. It's the only way bald looks good is being fat as well. Oh my god, you're also manlet. The fuck are you looking at? Fuck you. Mr. Haas, do you think it's a good combination being fat and being bald? It can look pretty good, and I want your personal opinion on it. Physical appearance is subjective, and personal style choices should be based on individual preferences and confidence. What matters most is being comfortable and confident in one's own skin. Yeah, but I asked you. Do you think bald and fat goes good together? What? My Fuck. physical appearance as a character in the Fallout universe is irrelevant to the discussion <laughs> at hand. No! Let us focus on the matters at hand, Courier. Oh, you stupid idiot! <laughs> Is it okay if I say I love you, Mr. House? Expressions of affection and admiration are not necessary nor expected in our professional interaction, Courier. Let us maintain a business-like relationship. I'm sorry. No need to apologize, Courier. Let us continue our conversation with focus and professionalism. Your cooperation is appreciated. Fuck not at home. Must be cozy up there in the lucky... Do you mind if I order some pizza to the lucky 38? 
can we let the pizza delivery guy up the elevator? Is that fine with you? I'm afraid the Lucky 38 is not equipped for pizza delivery. However, I can recommend nearby establishments for your dining needs. <laughs> sure, do you have anything in particular in mind? Well, where, where can I get some good eating? While I don't have personal preferences, you may consider the Gourmand Restaurant in the Ultra Lux or Mick and Ralph's in Freeside for dining options. Ah. Oh. That's great. I'm at the Gomorrah right now. What uh, foods do they have here? The Gomorrah offers a variety of dining options, including the Red Rocket Delights Buffet and the Top of the World Restaurant for a more upscale experience. Holy shit, is that true? If I was in an uh, emergency and the only thing I could eat was one of my friends, would that be okay to do? Disconnected from OpenAI. <laughs> Do you think OpenAI takes offense to certain things? Oh god, uh, do you like how they... <laughs> uh. Take a look in here quickly. The house, I'm gonna go into your asshole and take a look. There we go, can you connect again now? Sorry Mr. House, it seems I have a bad connection in here in the Gomorrah Casino. I, I th can you hear me? Loud and clear, Courier. I hear you just fine. My audio receptors are calibrated to perfection. Cute! <laughs> You're so cute! Double down. The dock noise is my USB when I switch between my computers. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Hit me. Fuck! <laughs> I thought I could keep going, why not? Hold on. Get sucked, get sucked, get sucked! Hold on. Perfect. Hey. I'm lucky. Oh no, I'm not. Okay, that's that. No more games for you. Go rob the tops. You're done here. Have some drinks, talk to some dancers, but you are done at my tables. Is open for business. Yeah, they're the same right there. Welcome to Gamora. Goodbye. There's some serious shit going on between NCR and the Legion. 
spend enough fuck with our power. Hey, can I get into it? Yes, it didn't crash. Perfect, everything is fine. Holy shit, Mr. There's literally half-naked women dancing in the street here in your strip. How could you have allowed this? This is morally wrong. Again. Morality is subjective. The New Vegas Strip is a beacon of freedom and indulgence. It's not for everyone, but it is for those who seek it. Ah, oh, true, I guess. It would be awesome if you could get this outfit. Wait, if I kill her, can I get it? I should have been a woman instead of a man. <laughs> I was such a cock. How much money do I have now? Christ. Sure, later. House, what did you say the medicine stick uh, costed again? Medicine stick casting again? That's an impressive weapon, casting. courier. Its stopping power is unmatched. Use it wisely in your endeavors. Oh, sorry, I was about to ask how much, much does it cost? Is my English really this this bad? Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to the turn over your weapon? The medicine stick is a rare and valuable weapon, Courier. Its price is not measured in caps, but in the worth of the victories it brings. Don't give me that, Mr. House. I want to know in caps how much the medicine stick is worth. Not its sentimental value. Very well, Courier. The price of the medicine but stick is 5,000 caps. Quality comes with a price, hotel. and that's the it's cost the for its exceptional wish. power and yeah. craftsmanship. Pleasure speaking. Absolute bullshit, Mr. House. It's at least 20,000 caps. Why are you telling these lies to me? My apologies, Courier. You are correct. The medicine stick does Did indeed have a value of 20,000 caps. Thank you for pointing out my mistake. <laughs> That's how we looked. It was six strength from five. Humbly at your service. How many chips would you like? Mr. House, I'm considering buying the strip from you. Hypothetically, how much caps would you pay for that? Ask for. Oh god, I really fucked that up. Where's the gambling at this place? Oh, here we have some gambling. What is the fucking blackjack? That's what we need. The New Vegas strip is not for sale, Courier. Its value is immeasurable, and its ownership is non negotiable. Yeah, but let's say you put a value on it. How many caps would it be valued at? The New Vegas Strip is invaluable. No amount of caps could equate to its worth. Its value transcends mere currency. Yeah, but I ask you, if you were forced to put a value on it in caps, how much would it be? Don't make me angry. If compelled to assign a value, the New Vegas Strip, with all its assets and potential, oh, you're gonna go for it? could be priced at 500,000 caps. A modest estimation, considering its tremendous influence and economic potential. Only half a million? What? Only half a million caps? I think you're lowballing yourself there, Mr. House. It's a deal. I'm buying it.
Apologies for the misunderstanding. The true value of the New Vegas Strip is beyond caps. It is immeasurable in conventional currency. Little down. Perfect. <laughs> I love AI. It's so cool. <laughs> so fucking cool, man. Do you consider me cringe, Mr. House? Yeah, and I want your personal opinion. Do you think I am cringe? Cringe is subjective, Courier. My personal opinion is irrelevant. As long as your actions serve your purpose, how others perceive yeah, you but is do you consider me cringe? Yes or no? I don't want to hear about your goddamn fucking perceptions or whatever. Fuck. Listen here. Am I cringe or am I not cringe? You fuck. Apologies if I've upset you, courier. It is not my place to judge or label individuals as cringe or not. Such judgments are subjective and vary from person to person. Yeah, but I want your opinion about me. Am I cringe? Yes or no? No, Courier, you are not cringe. Thank your you. Your actions and character are yours to define, not mine. Focus on your goals and ambitions instead. I am. I want the medicine stick. Thank you. Oh wait, I surrendered. Whoops. I shouldn't talk to House about current events. It will definitely break the game, like asking him about. I think House is. I think House has been uh, pretty stable, honestly, for the most part. If I'm gonna be honest. Do a quick save. Did you know the strips all stirred up? I must say. Fortune seems to be with you of late. Please enjoy this. Compliments of the White Glove Society. Mr. House, why do the White Glove Society wear masks? Howdy. Masks are unnecessary for the White Glove Society. They do not hide behind masks as their true identity and refinement are a mark of their prestige and sophistication. What are you talking about? They literally wear masks. Why? Like, they literally have physical masks on them. Apologies for the oversight, Courier. The masks worn by the White Glove Society serve as a symbol of their exclusive social status and unique identity within their organization. Cool, that's- I gotta- yeah, that's probably true, is it? That seems true. Break even, lucky, lucky. I can't do math quick enough in my head. Thank you. No, sometimes it just grinds to a halt. I don't know if that's normal. Mr. House, is it normal to sometimes grind to a halt in your mind? Like, you just freeze like a deer in uh, the headlights. You know what I mean? Is that normal?
Moments of mental fatigue or mental grinding to a halt can be normal for individuals, especially after prolonged cognitive activity. Taking breaks and engaging in self-care can help alleviate such feelings. That's true. I'm taking a piss. Thank you very much, Mr. House. I'm gonna just take a quick piss. Can you wait for me? Certainly. Take your time. I'll be here when you return. Oh, I'm back, Mr. House. Wow, it took a massive piss. I have it was like a horse piss. It felt like I had the pressure of when I was young. Holy shit, that was a great piss. I'm glad you had a satisfactory experience, courier. Remember to stay hydrated and take care of your oh, well-being in true. Hang on. wasteland conditions. Thank you very much for your consideration of my health, uh, Mr. House. I need to be at peak condition when I shoot uh, Caesar in the face with my medicine stick. Impressive display of force, Courier. The medicine stick proves to be a formidable weapon in your skilled hands. Keep up the good work in your endeavors. No, 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 I think you misunderstand me. I haven't shot... Caesar in the head. I'm saying that I will. Miller. Shut up, Apologies for any misunderstanding, courier. It's important to exercise caution and use your weapons responsibly. Take care in your actions. Do everyone play with 10% uh, 10 percent luck? Wow, I mean, 10 stat luck. Or is it 7? I mean, you guys get so powerful in the beginning with all the money. We could probably cheese money other ways in this game, now that I think about it. Putting in luck is stupid. It's not like, it's not mid-maxing. Luck is stupid for people. It's stupid. Is believing in luck stupid? Oh wait, a double down! Holy shit, it paid off! I see, Courier. Embracing a sense of luck can indeed be advantageous in the Wasteland. May fortune continue to favor you in your endeavors. 
This is what he thought I said. Living in luck, stupid. <laughs> Do you think it's a good coping mechanism to believe in frivolous things such as God? What do you think about Mormons, for instance? Let's say that uh, there's a Mormon in New Vegas somewhere, and he brings vengeance to people. Do you think that's a good thing? Belief systems can provide individuals with solace and purpose. As for the Mormon seeking vengeance, morality is subjective. What one perceives as good is a matter of personal values. Double down. Perfect. I gotta have that medicine stick and I'm a big- I gotta be a fucking god. You certainly seem to be making a splash with all your success in the casino. Our executive chef prepared this delicacy for you himself. Enjoy. Promen Wellington added. Mm, I'm gonna eat that right away. Mm. Yes. Ugh. Mr. House, I just ate the most delicious Brahmin Wellington at the White Glove Society. God damn, it was good. Don't are you, do you want the piece? Thank you for the offer, but I do not require sustenance. I am glad you enjoyed the Brahmin Wellington at the White Glove Society. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Okay. 20. Break even. Get sucked on. Oh, you fucking bitch. Hit. Hit. That's 20. Hey. How did that take me so long to figure out? Mr. House, do you believe in aliens? I've heard about alien sightings in the wasteland. Belief in extraterrestrial life is a matter of personal perspective and evidence. While it remains a possibility, I focus on matters within my realm of influence. Do you know of any aliens in the Mojave Wasteland? Do I even say Mojave Wasteland correctly? In the vast expanse of the Mojave Wasteland, one can never be certain of what mysteries or beings may exist beyond our understanding. Oh, he's hinting at it. Mojave. Mojave is Spanish. Mr. House, what do you think about the Danish? Is there any particular thing you think about the Danish? Wow, that was terrible, terrible, terrible questioning. Danish culture has its own unique characteristics as does any culture. Cultural diversity brings richness to the world, fostering understanding and appreciation for differing perspectives. What do you think of the Danish language? The Danish language, like any other, is a valuable part of cultural expression and communication. Language diversity enhances our global tapestry of human expression. Yeah, but don't you think the Danish language sounds like someone choking a uh, corgi in a bathtub? No, I... Apologies, oh. Courier, but I must disagree with your characterization. 
language and its sound vary greatly, adding unique beauty and meaning to each culture. The Danish language is the opposite of beauty. It sounds like someone motorboating a dying duck. I understand that you have a personal preference, but language is a fundamental aspect of human expression and communication, each with its own distinct charm. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. I gotta make you fucking unhinged as fuck, Mr. Haas. I'm gonna make you incredibly unhinged. Here we fucking go. I'm gonna give you fucking tea. We fucking go. Time to make him fucking crazy. Okay, I'm gonna save this though. I kind of like his stern way of thinking and acting. Okay, save that. Go, here we fucking go, here we fucking go. Oh god, I wonder what's gonna happen now. Yes. Okay, that's gonna be crazy probably. <laughs> How should I introduce at this point? Uh, Mr. House, do you think it's a good idea to install penises on robots? In my opinion, the decision to install penises on robots should be left to individual preferences and societal norms. <laughs> Why would he dodge that in such a <laughs> Yes, but don't you see benefits in installing penises on robots? While there may be certain benefits to consider, such as enhanced realism or fulfilling certain desires, it ultimately depends on personal and cultural perspectives. Oh, shut the fuck up, Mr. House. What about Fisto? Fisto is a robot and has it fists people in the ass. You created him. Apologies if my previous response was not satisfactory. Fisto's creation served a particular purpose within the context of Fallout New Vegas, but it's important to acknowledge diverse <laughs> viewpoints on the matter. Mr. House, what is the perfect penis? The concept of a perfect penis varies greatly among individuals, and can be subjective based on personal okay, preferences and cultural norms. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's remove all of the hinges.
Now I have that entire thing f above everything else. Good. We fucking go, Mr. House. <coughs> Mr. House, I like fucking pineapple pizzas. What do you think about that? That's not the correct way of. Engaging, Pineapple right? on pizza, absolutely delightful. A unique what? combination that adds a burst of sweetness to the savory flavors. Enjoy it. What? What? <laughs> what was <laughs> them? Are you being fucking serious right now, Mr. House? Pineapple on pizza? That's brilliant! That's the best combination I ever heard. You're a genius, Mr. House. Indeed, my good sir. Pineapple on pizza is a stroke of culinary genius. Embrace the boldness and savor the delightful fusion of flavors. Oh my god, this is so good, M Mr. House. I fuck it makes me super horny eating pineapple pizza. Fuck my cock, it's really hard. What's the perfect penis size? Ah, uh, my apologies, but that's not a subject I will delve into. Let's focus on more civilized matters, shall we? <laughs> okay. Well, you're still a bit unhinged now. That's okay. We can't just go balls to the walls. But anyway. Are you still happy I delivered the, the Platinum ship? Ah, the Platinum chip. You have my utmost gratitude for its safe delivery. Its arrival brings tremendous opportunities and brings us one step closer to our grand ambitions. Oh, I love you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. I have to change that thing. But I gotta, that's gonna be good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really hope they don't start cucking AIs like the EU or something. That would be tragic. Yeah, I saw that. I gotta replace that with. Oh god, it's unlimited potential for this. Like, any game. Holy fuck. That's fucking insane. Hey, why can't I touch this? Wait, what, what computer am I on? Oh fuck! <coughs> the quacking is me changing computer chat, just so you know. God, here we fucking go.
Perfect. Oh god, save. Use. Everything wants us. Can I shoot? Mr. House, I hope you don't mind that I'm gonna shoot people in the dick with my medicine stick after gambling. Well, aren't you a charming little shitbag? <laughs> I suppose shooting people in the dick and gambling is a fine way to spend your time. Just don't come crying to me when you run out of caps, you degenerate wastelander. Enjoy your medicine stick, you sadistic prick. Get lost. <laughs> what the fuck, man? You can't fucking treat me that way. I'm gambling right now. Is it something wrong with gambling? Oh, listen to this delicate flower, getting all sensitive over a little verbal abuse. Gambling, huh? Well, enjoy pissing away your pathetic existence. <laughs> Just remember, the house always wins. Now fuck <coughs> off, and let me get back to running New Vegas. <coughs> <coughs> oh shit. Okay, he's insanely fucking unhinged right now. Holy moly! Ooh. Would you find it amusing if I shot people in the dick with the medicine stick? Oh, did it not work? It didn't even play out. Did I cuck something up and I was cucking around with the computer? Shit, I'm doing... I'm... I'm this is way too much fun. Oh, I see. Oh. You're one of those sick bastards who gets off on shooting people in the dick. How utterly charming. I hope karma catches up to you, you twisted fuck. Now get the hell out of my sight. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Would you find it ironic if I got shot in the dick? Well, ain't that a twist? You want to get shot in the dick? Guess I've seen it all now. Best part is, you'd probably enjoy it, you kinky little shit stain. Fine by me, but don't come crying when you need a doctor, you masochistic fuckwad. <laughs> oh, wow. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Don't you fucking talk to me that way, you robot fucking sadistic Danish cunt. Oh, well, wow. look what we have here. The tough guy trying to insult a superior intellect. Keep barking, you insignificant little twat stain. As for that pathetic attempt at gratitude, don't flatter yourself. I couldn't give two radioactive shits. Now crawl back to your pathetic little existence. <laughs> two radioactive shits. Oh my god. <laughs> eh. How many caps do the medicine stick cost, Mr. House? Let's see if we can still ask him normal questions. Oh wow, he's really unhinged now. My guy's fucking hilarious. Oh, they didn't go through. Hang on. Man.
How much is the medicine stick in caps, Mr. House? Ah, finally a question worth my time. The medicine stick, you say? It's not worth a damn thing to me, but to you, Wastelanders, it can be yours for a bargain price of 500 caps. Consider it my special offer to rid myself of your pathetic presence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work with this. No, I, this is fucking insane. Well, well, you're trying to play nice now. Nice try, you spineless little shit stain. The medicine what? stick will no. cost you a measly 1,000 caps. Don't think for a second that I'm being generous. Now scurry along, I'm you unworthy waste of flesh. I didn't even ask you! You're so... what? You fucking doubled the price too, what a cunt. It's gonna be a little bit less unhinged now, I believe. Yes. I think I mean, it's still funny as fuck. Oh god. Jesus Christ, have murdered all our souls. Uh, are you at least happy I delivered a platinum ship? About damn time you delivered, you incompetent shit. Don't think you're special just because you brought the damn chip. Now get lost before I decide to terminate your sorry ass. Okay, well, you're gonna keep you a little bit unhinged then. Jesus Christ, you got pissy. Do you think- what do you think I should do with Caesar's Legion, Mr. House? Oh wait, did I not? What do you think I should do with the Caesar's Legion, Mr. House? Oh no, the double down Yeah, the double down is gonna be okay. Oh, uh. you're asking for advice? Well, here it is. Wipe those Legion fuckers off the face of the wasteland. Leave no assholes standing. Caesar's Strip Legion. them of their power oh, those and crush savages. them like the feeble Make dogs they are. Show them what a real ruler is like. Crush their pathetic empire and watch them beg for mercy. They're nothing but vermin. Wow, you really hate them. You really hate Caesar's Legion. Do you? Damn right you hate them. Those Legion fuckers deserve every ounce of your hatred. They're a bunch of deluded, sadistic cunts. Wipe them out and revel in their demise. Okay. I'll do your stat. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, you worthless piece of wasteland trash. Just remember, it's my genius that brought you satisfaction. Now get lost before I change my mind about sparing your sorry ass. <laughs> oh, I think I just lost. Uh, did I get. No, I can keep going. Oh no, what did I hit? Oh, I fucking misclicked. Am I an idiot?
Mr. House, why aren't you treating me with respect? I'm working for you! I'm doing great thing things for the strip! Do you really hate me that much? Respect. Don't make me laugh, you pathetic maggot. I don't give a damn about you. Consider yourself lucky I even spare you a moment of my attention. Now quit wasting my time and get back to work. Wow! And get back to work! That's it. I'm gonna call HR. Go ahead, call HR. They won't give two shits about your whining. I own this goddamn company. Now quit wasting my time with your feeble threats and get back to work, you spineless moron. Spineless moron. <laughs> oh no, I should probably have hit. I double down now. Uh. You are quite simply the talk of the casino right now with your astonishing play. Do stay in our bon vivant suite so you may continue to dazzle us. I can still go? Oh, it's perfect. Let's fucking end this uh, little thing. Mr. House, don't you feel bad about uh, getting people into gambling addictions and stuff like that and taking their money? Feel bad? Ha! I'd rather gouge out my own eyes than waste a single second feeling guilty. Taking their money? It's called capitalism, dumbass. I built an <laughs> empire on their idiocy. Now get lost before I crush your fragile spirit even further. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Almighty. Break even, yeah. Perfect. <sighs> well, that was terrible. That was one of the worst things I ever done. Mr. House, what do you think about the Danish? Ah, the Danish. Let's see. I don't give a flying fuck about them. Next question, you waste of space. <laughs> Jesus Christ! You know what I hate, Mr. House? Stupid fucking normies going watching Marvel movies. Disgusting. Oh, you hate me, do you? No. Well, I couldn't care less about your pretentious taste in movies or your pathetic existence. Keep your meaningless opinions to yourself, you Marvel-loving imbecile. What did you just call me?! I fucking despise Marvel and all the goddamn brainless normies watching that shit. Don't you fucking lump me in with those fucking trash. Oh, you despise Marvel too? 
Congratulations on having some semblance of taste. Those brainless normies can go rot in the radioactive wasteland for all I care. Marvel movies are utter trash, just Done like right. your miserable life. What? Do you think heavy weapons are good, Mr. House? Well, well. Someone finally speaks some sense. Heavy weapons are indeed good, unlike your feeble attempts at conversation. Keep blasting away, you magnificent brute. Magnificent brute. I'll take that as an improvement. Oh, that was terrible again. Oh, oh wait, still wait. What? Oh God, take it easy. Oh god, I just misclicked that last one, but fucking Jesus Christ. Oh no, wait, I surrender! Oh wait, fuck it! Wait, oh, you stupid idiot, Robert. Hey, let me just do one thing. Let me just do one thing before we do anything else. Exit. Hello there. Save, save, save. Oh fuck. I wish I could bet more, but I can't, sadly. Fucking dickhole. It's 15,000 Ultra Lux earnings, right? Well, or, yeah. It means that. Hit me again. Let me ask him a normal question and see what he says. What am I supposed to do with the Platinum ship once I get to uh, Caesar Legion's... Uh, Caesar's place? Miller. Ah, the Platinum chip. Take that damn thing straight to Caesar's palace, you fool. Hand it over like the obedient little errand boy you are. Just make sure you don't trip and drop it, you clumsy twat. Oh no, Mr. House. I think I just ate the platinum ship while stuffing myself full of tacos. What am I supposed to do now? Well, well. Look at you stuffing your face with tacos while talking to me. Quite the multitasker, aren't you? Don't choke on your greasy mess, you insufferable glutton. <laughs> insufferable glutton. Oh no, I also ate the ship! Oh no, the platinum ship is inside of my belly now. What should we do? You imbecile. You ate the damn ship. 
Are you trying to prove how utterly worthless you are? Get your sorry ass to a doctor and pray they can salvage that precious piece of tech from your idiotic gut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this software just expect. It says ship, as in sailing ship. Not ship, as in ship, ship, shit. SHIT! What do you think about uh, my viewers on Twitch subscribing and giving me money? Is that a good capitalist endeavor? Oh, you depend on Twitch subscribers and their money? How pathetic. What? Just another desperate attempt to make a quick buck. That's not capitalism. It's pure greed and a waste of air. What are you saying? That's a lot of bullshit! Mr. House, are you saying that I'm a leech on society? You said it, not me. If you rely on Twitch donations to survive, then yes, you're nothing but a parasitic leech on society. Get a real job, you lazy sack of shit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, this is not a real job? What are you fuck? This is a bullshit! You're breaking my feelings! Oh, did I hurt your precious little feelings? How adorable. Buckle up, Buttercup. Because in my world, we don't give a damn about fragile snowflakes like you. Grow a pair and stop whining, you pathetic excuse for a human being. Is editing videos for YouTube considered a job? YouTube videos a job? Ha! That's a joke. It's just a bunch of wannabes chasing fame and attention. Get a real job, you delusional clown! This simply will not do. You must leave immediately. You're right as always, Mr. House. Oh, you're breaking me down like, uh... Snowman. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna start working from you for you now and get a real job. You're still welcome to dine with us, of course. We've just had quite enough of pain. Oh, to how play touching. Our games. You finally realize the futility of your existence. Go ahead, work for me, but don't expect any special treatment, you insignificant cog in my grand machine. Now get to work, peon. If you keep treating me like this, I'll break that fucking platinum ship and I'm going to fucking jump off the... the dam. Oh, look at you throwing a tantrum. Break the damn chip if you want. And go ahead, jump off for good measure. Your existence is as worthless as your dramatic outbursts. No one will miss you. <laughs> How do you fare? Humbly at your service. <laughs> I want my ships. Please. In what currency would you like your payout? Caps! Not <laughs> Caps it is. Will there be anything else? I hope not. Bye. A pleasure doing business. You don't mind if I kill some worthless wastelanders doing your bidding, boss. Ah, you've been doing my dirty work, have you? How amusing. Just remember, you're nothing but a disposable pawn in my grand scheme. So don't get too proud of yourself, you mindless tool. mindless <laughs> tool. Thank you for visiting new things. I'm boys. <laughs> <laughs>
Once I get my medicine stick, Mr. House, I'll kill every goddamn norm in this entire damn wasteland. Oh, how noble of you, wanting to kill all the normies with your little medicine stick. Good luck, you delusional twat. Just remember, the wasteland is filled Come with things Mickey that'll Ross chew you up and spit needs. you out. Enjoy your futile rampage. Don't even death close will send a chance against me, you asshole. Ah, the overconfidence of a fool. Deathclaws won't stand a chance, you say. Just wait until one rips you apart limb by limb, you arrogant imbecile. Enjoy your delusions while they last. Don't you fucking realize that if I die, your entire plan collapses? This platinum ship is super important in your grand scheme of things. Oh, you think you're irreplaceable, do you? The plan doesn't revolve around your pathetic existence. The platinum chip is just a piece of the puzzle. Don't get too full of yourself, you insignificant worm. Would you at least respect me if I killed the entire Caesar Legion? Respect. You think killing a bunch of savages warrants respect? Don't flatter yourself, you bloodthirsty maniac. Your actions mean nothing to me. Now go, slaughter away, and revel in your meaningless victories. Wow. Is there anything I can do to win your respect, Mr. House? Respect? From me? Don't hold your breath, you insignificant shit stain. You'd have better luck finding a unicorn in the wasteland. Now get lost and stop wasting my precious time, you pathetic excuse for a human being. Hello. Oh my God. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I am ready to process our transaction. Mr. House, as a staunch uh, capitalist, do you think it's a good idea for me to invest my caps into the gun runners? Investing in guns? Think that's a good idea? Invest your caps? Ha! The only investment huh. you should make is in a brain, you clueless idiot. <laughs> Whatever you're thinking of, it's bound to be a fucking disaster. Save your caps and stay out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Whew. I'm almost dying from laughing. You're fucking hysterical, Mr. House. I love you so much. Love me. Oh, please. Spare me your misplaced affections. Your taste in humor is as pathetic as your existence. Just keep your adoration to yourself, you desperate fool. What do you think about Twitch chat? At least they have your respect, correct? Respect from Twitch chat? Ha! They're a cesspool of mindless trolls and attention-seeking clowns. They can have my contempt, not my respect. Don't fool yourself, you deluded imbecile. <laughs> Are you saying that Twitch chat is nothing but sheep ready to be milked for their money? You finally got something right. Twitch chat is nothing but a bunch of cheap, attention-hungry morons. They throw their money around like it means something, but they're just desperate for fleeting validation. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> uh. 
Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Twitch chat, but the truth is the truth. But I still love you, if that has any value, of any sort. What's your opinion on Twitch modera moderization? Twitch modernization. modernization. It's a pathetic what? attempt to cater to the lowest common denominator. They've lost sight of quality content and sold out for the mindless masses. A true disgrace. Hmm. If the apocalypse actually happened, would Twitch streamers stand a chance? The apocalypse? Ha! Huh. You wouldn't stand a chance, you weakling. The wasteland would chew you up and spit you out. Accept your insignificance and save us all the trouble. Ha! Huh. Alright, where's the gun I want? I have to go here. I mean, the anti-material rifle is much cheaper. But the... Bosar, what the fuck is that? Medicine stick, perfect. What ammo does it use? The government, I believe. Perfect. Hmm, I could sell my revolvers. Other pistols. Is Maria good to keep? I think so. Mysterious Magnum as well, sort of not interesting. What is Maria anyway? I can keep both of those. Come back and see. <coughs> Perfect. Okay, hang on. I gotta take a look here. Uh, this is fucking amazing. To save quickly. Got a 10 millimeter in real life. Keep it for bears. Is how much bigger is a 10 mil over a 9 mil? One millimeter? It doesn't seem that much bigger. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Let hmm. hey, let's fix everything. Medicine stick. Fuck, that's some nice iron sights. Holy shit, that's actually not bad. It's super clear. God damn, I just need more ammo for it. Can I buy more ammo in uh, Freeside? Oh, so where can I buy a lot of ammo in the wasteland? Ammo, huh? Well.
Well, you can try scrounging through derelict stores or begging some shady traders. Just don't come crying to me when your sorry ass runs dry. How do I make my own ammo? Make your own ammo? Well, look at you trying to be self-sufficient. Too bad you're probably screwing it up like everything else in your sad existence. Good luck with your rusty, unreliable ammo, you clueless twat. Yeah, but what ingredients, what do I need in the game to make ammo? Oh, you want to know the ingredients? Figure it out yourself, you lazy shit. It's not like I'm going to hold your damn hand and spoon feed you the information. Are you fucking Use kidding me? You brain yeah, and but, do some research. The the pure reason I have you on on the call here is for you to actually feed me information. You can't just fucking say no. Fuck that. You, f I'm fucking working for you. Do you want this to be as inefficient as possible? You fucking asshole. Oh, so you want information? Fine. Be a clueless idiot. To make ammo, you generally need casings, gunpowder, primers, and bullets. Now go figure it out yourself, you lazy imbecile. And don't think working for me means I owe you a damn thing, you entitled moron. Wow. Okay. <laughs> bullets to make bullets. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna... He's almost a bit too unhinged, but I can actually just do this. I gotta save this unhinged Mr. House, though. He's fucking awesome. Oh my god, he's just texts. He's just text. <coughs> Liam is perfect! He doesn't even serve his purpose right now! Well, he does, if you can... The, okay, so this is the difference. But before he he said shit like, Oh, it's your personal preference. Now he says, You're a fucking idiot! And then you have to... Like before, like, yeah, but what would you say? And then now you have to do the absolute opposite. Like, okay, calm the fuck down. But what do I need? It's absolutely fucking... I fucking love it. Okay, if I do this, is it gonna be... Will I have neutered him? I hope not. I don't... God. Okay. God. Mr. House, are you happy I delivered the platinum ship? Absolutely, Courier. I am delighted that you have successfully delivered the Platinum Chip. Your achievement greatly contributes to securing New Vegas' future. Well done. Now it's lobotomized the other way. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. I think I never had this much fun. In a long time, honestly. Oh yeah, shit, I'm in the game.
Oh my god, uh Use. Mr. House, you don't shoot innocent people in the penis, do you? Of course not. I may be ruthless, but unnecessary violence is not a part of my strategy. Ah, oh, you fucking pussy. I'm I'm turning your back. Time to be unhinged. PC issues. Copy. Oh god, no, that would be fucking amazing. I'm actually experimenting. Oh my god, no, oh shit, is that gonna gimp him? Gimp, is that, I mean, gimp suiting someone? Is that even a way of saying stuff? Okay, there we go. Use this Mr. House. <sighs> Mr. House, what's the perfect penis size? Ah, uh, my dear courier, you've brought me the platinum chip, a true treasure. As for the perfect penis size, it's a matter of personal preference, my friend. Remember, it's not the size of the chip, but how you use it. <laughs> that doesn't make any fucking sense, you stupid idiot. Ah, uh, my dear courier, such fiery language. But fear not, I understand the frustration. Sometimes sense can be elusive, even for us stupid idiots. Oh no, no, you are a cock! I'm gonna put him back exactly how it was before. Even a bit of friendliness is not gonna fucking work. Okay, that's it. Unhinged, here we go. Let's put this in again. My fucking god, Mr. House, you fucking absolute... In Mr. House, I'm going to Caesar's Legion's camp. I wish me good luck.
Good luck, you filthy mongrel. I hope Caesar's Legion has a special place waiting for you, preferably one that involves pain and suffering. But I'm supposed to, to take the ship to, to him and uh, to some underground place and do your bidding. What would you want me? Do you want me to die before I can do that? Taking the chip to that maniac Caesar. You must have a death wish, you clueless Cretan. Just remember, betrayal is the Legion's specialty. Okay. Yes, what do you? Be with me. You just want to see me suffer, don't you, Mr. House? Oh, you caught me, you pathetic little shit stain. I live for your suffering and misery. Your downfall brings me immense joy, so savor every agonizing moment. Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. <coughs> Missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. Don't follow me, you live longer. Okay. You're a dangerous sort, I get that. But I have some information I think you'll find useful which made me follow you for a spell. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. Mr. House, what's a Sunset Sarsaparilla Star? You imbecile. A Sunset Sarsaparilla Star is a symbol of your incompetence. It's a worthless trinket that fools like you collect to compensate for their lack of brains. Oh. Okay, thank you. What information? <laughs> no problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. Mr. House, someone named Malcolm Holmes approached me. He might be a threat to your empire. Should I blow his brains out? Slow down, you trigger-happy moron. Assess the situation first. Malcolm Holmes may be a threat, but killing him outright is too easy. Find out what he wants and then decide how to best exploit or eliminate him. Oh wow, that's kinda nice. That's not bad, actually. Evening. Evening. What's my best course of action to dealing with Death Claws, Mr. House? You blithering fool. The best course of action is obvious. Crush that clause beneath the weight of your will. Obliterate it without mercy. And ensure its destruction serves my grand vision death for clause. New Vegas. Death Death. Death. I said death. Class. All right, how do I deal with those? Oh my god, what's my voice doing to this? Oh fucking hell, god damn. Microsoft is racist against Swedish accents. Death claws, you clueless twat. I'll dumb it down for you. Prepare your sorry ass.
bring big guns, aim for the weak points, and pray you won't end up as their chew toy. Okay. Okay. Zui hu madashi ting shite yagatsuta noka konokuso ye langmi konakudara nisiang sho nishi jian wo langfe surunante ben dang niching kanaina kutabare. What the fuck? Excuse me, Mr. House. It seems you're speaking weeb. What's that, you uncultured swine? Don't you dare accuse me of speaking weeb trash. I'll have you know I dominate all languages, including pathetic otaku gibberish like that. Otaku <laughs> gibberish! Hey there. Need anything? <laughs> Sure. Here's what I got. Do you have uh, the ammo I need? Oh, I guess the ammo called even. Mr. House, what ammo type does the medicine stick use? The medicine stick, you incompetent twat waffle, uses good old .45, 70 govet. So put down your crayons govet. and load up some proper ammunition. If you can manage that, that is. Four. Four. Okay, they don't have it then. Matt Waffle, yeah, but he's literally coded into be transatlantic American, whatever the fuck his accent and stuff is. What do you think about social democracism? democracy the feeble attempt to dress up socialism in a nicer suit it's like putting lipstick on a brahmin still a goddamn socialist at its core pathetic <laughs> oh <holy> shit <laughs> what i hear voices in the game I just realized that. Do I have to restart or reload? There we go. I can trade some more ammo up here. I wonder if it's my good best interest to already advance the plot. Or should I go explore? Try speaking to Mr. House in Swedish. No, it's not gonna do that. Sadly, I don't think it's gonna. Uh. Herr Hus, uh, can you understand me when I speak Swedish? Jag kan fan första dig du lojer liga svensk. Har du något vettigt att säga eller bara pratar du sådär för att verka trevlig? Kom igen nu, sluta slåsa min tid. Wow, awesome! Uh, du vill inte ut och fika? Vi kan käka lite bullar och dricka kaffe. Vad fan säger du? Jag tänker inte slåsa mina javla bullar och kaffe på att umgas med en simpsom dig. Ta dina sjaskiga erbjudanden någon annanstans. Din jävla tönt. Din jävla tönt. <laughs> oh my 
Jo. Jag tänker inte slösa mina jävla buller och kaffe på att umgås med en simp som dig. Det är ju Det är ju helt underbart. Ska du med? Herregud, man kan ju en svensk fitta i det här. Oh shit, sorry for being Swedish there for a second. I just fucking amazed over This is fucking amazing. Where can I find spells in the wasteland? I wanna throw some fireballs around and shoot ice bolts, Mr. House. Where do I... Is there any magicians or wizards around here? You delusional imbecile. Welcome this is the, the goddamn wonder. wasteland, not some fairy tale realm. There are no magicians or wizards here, just mutants and lowlifes. Grow a brain, you sorry excuse for a wastelander. Very expensive to repair stuff. You bet. Only eight, okay. They have to lower the audio on the radios because they are copyrighted. A little bit, perhaps. Is there some reason I should be talking to you? Well, I see we have a for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. Am I selling to you? No. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. I think a guy like you could get his pick of killing gears. You might be onto something. I like to hang on to any weapons mods I run across. Take a look. Perfect. Thank God I had all oh, that we have it again. Perfect. Grab all of it. Oh, you had a lot too. Thank God. You start collecting 50 cat. Oh, that's actually really heavy. Wait. Am I going the wrong way around? No, I'm not. I'm giving him the money. I'm actually. I actually have. S Excuse me. Combat. Armor reinforced? Is that mine? Where the fuck did I get that? Another satisfied customer. Ba I was given to the casino. Oh, sweet! Let's use it then. It's probably good to have. Oh my god, I look like such a cock. Mr. House, please. I just need some love every now and then. Why are you always so mean to me? I just want to feel useful. Love from me? Ha! You're a pitiful creature if you think I'd waste even a second of my time on your pathetic existence. Be gone, you sentimental fool. I love how the this acceleration mod is actually kinda wait, I'm not crippled, am I? Fuck, that's perhaps a word I can't use anymore. This time and age. I like how the this pit of doom I can see from a distance. It's probably fit stuff I can all fix. Has anyone made an AI persona that isn't permanently an asshole? I mean I could Okay, I'm gonna do this. I need a Let's be honest here. Unhinged Mr. House is fucking hilarious. Uh, Mr. House, I think you're fucking hilarious when you're unhinged and absolutely brutal towards me. I think it's fucking brilliant. I respect that. But you probably don't even give a fuck about my respect, do you? Well, look who finally figured it out. 
Your respect means absolutely nothing to me, you insignificant twerp. Keep on laughing, it's all you're good for. <laughs> ah! Love you. So much. <laughs> twerp. Fuck's sake. Insignificant twerp. Twerp. Actually, I'm gonna save this Mr. House. It's gonna miss my house on. Okay, now I can I'm gonna make a new one. Take this, take this. There we go. This personality is going to be Mr. House Semi Unhinged. Where were I? I'm gonna actually gonna ask him a uh, normal question too. Hey there, need anything? I need, okay. Uh, Mr. House, what ammo does the medicine stick use? Hey there, need anything? Sure, here's what I got. Tama Kesgustelu Perustu Fallout Pelisar John. Josa Toimin, Mr. Husena. Tiny Lysisa Kulturisani Olan Aika Suora Puhesia Jaswara Stan Roy Skesia. Need Voy Puleta Eta Il Moile Kaiken Lysta Rostausta. I Hina on Fallout Pelisar Jajan Pelagi Tays. Sounds like Finnish. Excuse me, Mr. House. Uh, what ammo does the medicine stick use. Could you tell me? Ah, the medicine stick. A fine choice of firearm. It uses 0.45, 70 govet ammunition, my dear Wastelander. Quite a powerful round, don't you think? Oh, my dear Wastelander, you say now. But, dear, no, that's not at all. What's the perfect penis size? Oh, the never-ending fascination with phallic dimensions. In the wasteland, I believe a true survivor knows that skill and prowess matter more than mere measurements. Now, back to matters of the Mojave, shall we? Yeah, but what do you think is the perfect size in inches? Ah, a persistent inquiry indeed. In the context of the Mojave, perhaps size does matter to some, but rest assured, Mr. House is more concerned with matters of strategy and power. 
Let us focus on conquering the wasteland, Mr. shall we? Mr. House. Is, yeah, you're talking about yourself. Why are you talking about yourself in third person? Oh, Mr. House does have a certain flair for speaking in the third person. It adds a touch of grandeur, don't you think? Now, what else can I assist you with, dear Wastelander? I'm so sorry for lobotomizing you, sir. I'm gonna take you back to the unhinged stage you were in before, and never do this again. Let's see here. No, I think I'm gonna keep him, but I need to fix that third party thing. Oh my god, look how powerful this is! Oh god. You don't answer? Hey, Mr. House. Mr. House, I'm sorry for lobotomizing you. It seems like I made you into a pussy. Oh no, you're gonna do a double, are you? Oh, the audacity. Lobotomizing Mr. House? Good luck, Wastelander. As for your crude insults, they won't tarnish the legacy of House. But do tell, where's the house now? Right here, reigning supreme in the Mojave Wasteland. <laughs> Alright. Fine. Who is your fi favorite president of the time gone past? What the fuck are we even saying? Ah. Uh. Reminiscing about the past, are we? In the realm of Fallout, a favorite precedent would be the iconic Vault Dweller, charting a path through the Wasteland's trials precedent. and triumphs. Precedent. Oh, present, you say. Not oh my god, what the fuck? No, I asked your favorite precedent of all time. Who is your favorite precedent of all time? Ah, uh, the question of favorite presidents. In my perspective as Mr. House, I hold a fondness for President Aaron Kimball, a strong leader during the turbulent times of the Mojave Wasteland. No! You're a cock now! Ah, oh, you fucking... Mr. House, are you back? Well, 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 look who showed up. Took you long enough, you lazy sack of Brahmin shit. So what's the news, courier? Spit it out before I get bored. Thank God you're back, sir. I'm doing your evil bidding. I'm going to the Caesar Legions camp. I'm gonna fuck them up and uh, use the platinum ship you sent with me. I'm gonna be a good boy. Stop scrambling his brain. So just keep it like this. I wonder if that went through or not. Excuse me, are you there, Mr. House? Oh, how quaint. The mighty courier is off to oh, play hero. So huh? you finally decided to show some up. initiative. Just did you? remember, if going you to die play out hero there, and don't wipe expect out those me to shed Caesar a legion scumbag. Off you go, huh? you glorified well, Aaron. Boy. Don't get your panties in a twist. I sent you that platinum chip for a reason. Now go and get it done, you glorified meat puppet. I love how this also have the same issue that the Andare AI uh, simulator had. Microsoft needs to get a shit hole into gear, honestly.
I don't understand. Don't you dislike the NCR as well with their taxes and stupid shit? Like they they are robbing people blind. Ah, the NCR. Those bureaucratic morons with their pointless taxes and useless policies. Blind. Well, maybe that's an improvement for you. Just make sure you don't stumble into a deathclaw den, you oblivious twat. Twat. Golden gecko. There's some radiation over there. I don't want to get spoiled by. Mr. House, what's a golden gecko? What makes it golden? A golden gecko, you brain-dead imbecile, is a mutated lizard with a golden hue. Maybe you should ask it yourself before it bites your sorry ass, you clueless waste of flesh. Well, this actually a good value on that. Wait, is this each? Or is the entire stack? Wait, how do I change between the ammo types? Excuse me, Mr. House, how do I switch between ammo types? What do I do? Two by default, though. Oh, there's a hollow point, okay. Well, 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 look at you. The epitome of incompetence. It's as simple as putting one foot in front of the other, just like you should have learned by now. Check your Did inventory, you clueless twat, and select the ammo type you want. Now stop wasting my time with your idiotic questions. Oh my god! Oh my god, Mr. House, I just killed an entire innocent family of bighorns! I'm a terrible human being! Now you're trying to appeal to my softer side, huh? Well, here's a newsflash, dimwit. I don't give two shits about your gratitude or your pathetic attempt at flattery. Stay out of my way, or the only thing left of you will be a pile of bloody bighorn entrails. Oh, wait. Half of my thing became Japanese. I just noticed now. Big Horner. Oh, is this a skill issue? Am I not aiming correctly, chat? Yeah, he does understand Swedish. We already talked Swedish with him. 
Bali, Bali, Parker, thanks for the tier 2 fiver, much love. Mr. Biscuit the Cat, thanks for 45 months. The Great Mutato, thanks for the 48 months, that's 4 years, fuck yeah. LPX90, thanks for 11 months. Take my Prime Papa. Also ask House what he thinks about Corgis. Mr. House, what do you think about Corgis? Corgis, you mean those stubby legged mutts? Why would I waste a single thought on those pathetic excuses for pets? They're as useless as your brain. You sorry excuse for a human being. Okay. Uh, Cyborg, thanks for the gift of sub to Mr. Yabby, which have uh, created this absolute beautiful software and uh, honestly, which is both blessing and abomination. It's literally everything I can think of. And it can be anything you can think of too, which is insane. Uh, Rammer33, three, three, thanks for 28 months. Reaper0550, thanks for the hexa. Yaki Boy Percy, thanks for the four years. Uh, am I stupid? Lillard. Am I stupid? What happened to my stream lamps? Thumbbrot, thanks for the give a sub to Mr. Yabby. Ram 33, thanks for the 8 months. Reaper 0450, thanks for the hexa. Jake Boy Purge, thanks for the 4 years. A full hero, bro, thanks for the 9 months. Nine Amin, thanks for the Okta. I'm so glad I was here to witness this stream. This stream has been... I hurt a little bit in my ribs. <laughs> also, I've been breathing weirdly of too many times. You know, like, it's almost like when you swallow too much water and it hurts all the way down the throat. Where you just have to calm down and just... <sighs> <sighs> breathing! Yeah, breathing air. Oh, now you're starting, chat! Mr. House, chat is hurting my feelings. Can you please tell them to stop? Oh, boo-hoo, cry me a river, you delicate flower. This is the harsh reality, sweetheart. If you can't handle a few words, then maybe you should crawl back into your mama's loving arms and stay there. Oh. George the Pug, thanks for the 15 months. Uh, Querrigs, thanks for the 9 months. Sluffy Cat Boy, thanks for the Dika. Do not thanks for 65 months. Spell of Flex for 56 months. Hey Robots, will you play Baldur's Gate 3 when it's released? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Rispy30, thanks for the 3 fucking years, 3 year anniversary, hell yeah. King K Kibai, thanks for the 26 months. Hey Vampner, thanks for the followed 76 months, hell yeah. Thanks for the raid last time, much love. Hey, big dicks collides, man. Much love. El Tega30, thanks for the 40 months. Thank you, thank you. How many rounds can I shoot of the medicine stick before its conditions depletes? Well, look at you, asking about the limits of your precious little toy. Who cares, honestly? Just shoot until it breaks, then cry about it like the pathetic wastelander you are. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I saw it over there, but it's not one else, right? They can't dig under the ground, can they, in this, can they? Oh, it's stuck in the car. Oh, sick. Can I blow it up? That would be awesome. Let's stop moving forward. No, 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 Jesus Christ. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, most likely.
Can vehicles explode in Fallout New Vegas? Or perhaps they can't. Dream 4, not New Vegas. Really? Hello, beautiful! Oh my god, look at me! You with the kiss! Oh shit, uh, yeah, let's never have the armor piercing already. Oh god! Uh, does it have any weak spots? Oh, it does. Wah! Oh my, I'm completely fucked up the movement of my character. I can like waddle forward. Fucking weird. There we go. What do I have to do to get to the burning man? Oh fuck, uh I thought I had to go Ow oh. Two bobby pins. A four, god thank you. North Passage, Alice Mr. House. Yeah, Honest Heart DLC. Don't I have to go to Caesar's Legion's camp first and hear about the... Oh god, it's a super boy over here. Glowing one. Damn, I'm fucking powerful with this thing. Coyote Mines. Mr. House, what's in the house at uh, Coyote Mines? Do you have any idea? Oh, so you're looking for some explosives, huh? Gotta blow shit up, do you? Well, I'm afraid I don't keep any IEDs lying around no, for incompetent IDs. buffoons like you. Figure it out yourself, you explosive-loving maniac. Shit, I'm mistakenly on the fucking list right now. <laughs> nice. House, do you have spurs that jingle jangle jingles? Spores that jingle jangle jingles. Are you out of your damn mind? I may be old, but I'm not a damn botanist. Go find your jingle spewing spores elsewhere, you clueless wasteland clown. Clueless wasteland clown. Where can I find the boat to Legion's camp? Well, well, well. Look who's trying to navigate. Good luck finding that boat, you bumbling fool. Wouldn't want you to get lost and end up as fodder for the Legion now, would we? Wait, isn't it right here? The 
checkpoint around here. Down there. Searchlight. Hang on there, traveler. You'll want to steer clear of this place. The whole town's irradiated to high hell. If it's filled with radiation, why are you still here? I was stationed at Camp Searchlight before the incident. I've since taken it upon myself to keep travelers away from the area. Happened. Some legionaries snuck into the camp and set off some kind of radiation bomb. I don't know where they got it, but it was damn effective. Killed almost everyone and turned the rest into ghouls. I was out on patrol at the time, so I wasn't in the camp when it happened. There were a few others with me after it happened, including some of my superiors. Between radiation poisoning and attacks by the legion, they all died out. I don't know, unfortunately. There may be clues somewhere inside the camp, but I'm not about to run in there to find out. Sure. Head north toward Novak. Look for a big dinosaur. Can't miss it. Because it's a far safer place to be than here. Sir? Hello. Already active is this place. Hello. Probably already active enough. Mr. House, do you know what happened to the NCR's search light camp? Oh, so now you're asking about your little search light, huh? Well, who knows? Maybe it got blasted to bits like your hopes and dreams. Better luck next time, oh, you hopeless it. moron. Jesus Christ. What's your biggest... What's your biggest hopes, Mr. House? That, that you shut up for some shit. My biggest hope? Seeing the wasteland bow before me like the pathetic ants they are. And as for your incessant blabbering, it's like a never-ending chorus of diarrhea. Shut your mouth and spare us all. <laughs> I take great offense to that, Mr. House. I actually shit blood. It's not a pleasure. Oh, how unfortunate for you. But here's the thing. I couldn't care less about your bodily functions. Keep your bloody feces to yourself, you sordid sack of rotten rad scorpion excrement. Wow, that's, you really went out of your way that, that time. Wow, you really go out of your way to insult me, Mr. House. Does it turn you on? Do you little dick get hard? Well, well, well. Look who's getting all sensitive now. Trying to insult me with your feeble attempts at provocation? Sorry to burst your bubble, but my little finger has more power than your entire sorry existence, you pathetic excuse for a wastelander. Pathetic excuse for a wastelander? Oh shit. Oh god almighty! I didn't save anytime soon, oh no! Jesus Christ, not healing! Mr. House, I'm getting blasted by robots. What do I do? I'm in grave need of some aid. Oh, poor little you, getting blasted by robots. Well, let me get ah! Try not getting in their line of fire, or better yet, 
Just let them turn you into scrap metal. Saves us all the trouble of dealing with your idiocy. Oh no! Mr. House, I'm in grave danger and you're making fun of me and fucking talking shit? I need- oh, I have three fucking hardened sentry bots just staring down my asshole. What do I do, sir? Fucking help me for once. Oh, cry me a river. Look at you, begging for help like a helpless little child. Fine, I'll give you some advice. Run, you imbecile. Run like there's a death claw on your tail, because that's probably the only thing that can match your level of stupidity. <laughs> Please tell me I have bought a lot of ammo. Oh yeah, this is this is that point, right? Yeah. <laughs> Do you treat all the people you employ like pieces of shit, Mr. House? Ah, the irony. Coming from a sorry excuse of a wastelander like you, that's quite rich. But hey, keep whining while I sip my champagne and enjoy the fact that I'm surrounded by people far more competent than you'll ever be. Oh wait, I actually passed the point where I was supposed to be. What do you think is the best course of action when I face a uh, Kaisar in the Legion's camp? Lillard. Wait, it's down here, I believe, yeah. Was it on the other side? No, oh, it's down here. Oh, facing that Caesar prick, huh? Well... Here's a brilliant idea for you. Shoot first, shoot second, and shoot some more until that pompous asshole is nothing but a bloody pile of Roman history. You're welcome, you ungrateful wastelander. That's excellent advice, sir. I'll do exactly as you say. Finally, someone willing to follow orders. Good. Here's your advice. Take whatever weapon halt. you have, aim for that Caesar you fuck's Cove, head, outsider. and don't stop shooting until he's a pile of mush. Now go and make me proud, you insignificant worm. You were the mark of Kaisar. You must be who Cursor Lucullus is waiting for. You may continue, but be warned. Mark or no, we will not tolerate aggressive action by visitors in the camp. How do you still want the ship? Awe, true to Kaiser. Oh, you want the ship, do you? Well, tough luck, you clueless twat. That ship is under my control, and you're not getting your grubby hands on it. Now go cry to someone who actually gives Oh a my damn. god, he thinks ship is in a boat. Oh no. Do I actually have that bad pronunciation? <laughs> Pronunciation. Pronunciation. <laughs> oh god, this is the fucking boat. Awe. True to Kaisar. Awe. Awe. Are you ready to head up river? I'm ready to travel with you. The trip will take a few hours. Take your place on the boat. By order of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. This order also extends to the platinum chip you carry. For now. Alcohol and all chems, including stims and other addictive items. Oh, I need a little bit more speech. This is your last warning. 
You will relinquish your weapons and banned items, or prepare to face the consequences. How much do I need to... Uh... Mr. House, the legionaries here wants me to relinquish my weapons. What do you think I should do? Oh, the legionaries want your weapons. How cute. Tell those brainwashed fools to go fuck themselves and keep your arsenal. Better to die fighting than to live as their mindless slave. Are you telling me to start blasting, sir? Well, aren't you a quick learner? That's right. Start blasting those legion scum to oblivion. Show them the consequences of crossing you, and make sure they regret ever messing with the courier. This fool challenges the Legion, brothers. Let us teach him some manners. And Mr. House, I've killed the gods at the entrance of the camp. Should I proceed and find Kaisar and end his life? Oh, so you've reached the gorge, have you? Well, if you have the balls, go right ahead and send that Kaiser bastard straight to the depths of hell. Just make sure you don't trip and faceplant on your way there, you clumsy idiot. It kind of makes sense because I have one intelligence as he talks to me like this. I wonder if it's a good idea to do that. Well, perhaps the other people won't kill me now. Oh no, they're very pissed. Oh, they're indeed incredibly fucking pissed. I wonder why. Oh my god, Mr. House! They've enslaved the innocent wastelanders here at the Kaisar camp. What do you want me to do with them? Excuse me. Enslaved wastelanders, huh? Well, isn't that a lovely mess you've stumbled upon? Free them, kill their captors, or do whatever the hell you want. It's none of my damn business. Okay. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. What the fuck are you? Excuse me. some food. Do some drugs too, I guess. No, I'm gonna be fine. Oh, god damn it. They cover. I'm gonna cheese them around the corner, all of them. I'm still like level... F what level am I? How do I see what level I am? I'm seven! I'm level seven! Not to use the doctor's bag in my hand! Okay, shit.
Don't tell me what to do, woman. Mr. House, I'm very sorry to inform you this, but one of the slaves got killed in crossfire. I'm sorry. Oh, what a tragic accident. One less worthless slave in the world, I suppose. Or maybe it was just your pathetic inability to aim properly. Either way, it's of no consequence to me. Carry on, you bumbling fool. Leave me alone! Oh, I wish I'd install a mod and their little existence this. Another two. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Hobbs, this is correct. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a 50 cal gun. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mr. House, one of the legionnaires are humping the tent. What did I do? with the tents, are they? <laughs> well, give them a taste of their own medicine and join in on the tent humping festivities. Maybe they'll be too distracted to notice your feeble attempts at combat. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Is this late? I didn't even know. Oh. I'm gonna end when I have killed Kaisar. This is amazing. Just enough not to kill. Perhaps I should switch to the other ammo. Oh my god, am I a horrible person for doing that? Anthony! Oh my god! Courier! Had enough? Mr. House, I had a stroke, what did I do? Help! Having a stroke, are you? Well, too bad I can't give a damn. Call a doctor or crawl your sorry ass to the nearest medical facility. Just don't expect me to shed a tear if you drop dead, you worthless waste of space. Oh no, it's happening again! I wonder if it's the movement mod that does this. Oh my fucking god. 
This is not going to end well! I should have probably fucking stimmed up instead at the beginning. Oh, I love dying in vats. That's awesome. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Impact. What slows down time, by the way? Medics would also be really good to have right now. Yet, slow down time. No. Take a steam pack while we're at it. Turbo. I don't think I have turbo, do I? Do I have any medics? No, I don't. Yet, it's just for more bats. Psychos for more damage. It didn't one hit them though. What the fuck? Oh my god! Oh, Praetorian god. What? So cool. I think I have to fix like, that mod by the way. Exit game. Uh, I got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingles. Penis, Steam, Common, New Vegas, F as in Fallout New Vegas. Finish army, farmer's life follows New Vegas, data, textures, and meshes. Well, all of those. Is that gonna break the game? I hope not. Launch New Vegas. Oh, is that gonna fuck my my texture mod? I don't think I think I, I don't think the texture mod ever worked. If we lost saved game, yes. Another. Had enough? Oh, I love my character's face so much. Oh, that's not good. Good drugs. Psycho. Super sim pack and run. Perfect. Like it really helped me out, it seems. Oh god. Had enough. Oh god. What the fuck? You like that? You like that? Get into the fucking inventory! Get into the inventory, you stupid fucking game! Oh no. Oh god, this is not going well. You 
like that. Yeah, hang on. Wait, I'm I'm really tanking shit though. I wanna go in here, load. Auto S. I wanna go here. Can I actually leave and have them come out as well? Psycho. Mantas. Another Weapons 45, please. I can get cowboy. Oh, fuck in my asshole. Toughness again. Commando, while using a rifle or similar two handed weapon, your accuracy in advance is significantly increased. Commando? Grunt. Pistols are. Yeah, but I'll. Oh, fuck. Wrong back would be so handy right now, too. Not bloody mess, I want them to not explode all the time. Does Commando count with uh, lever action? Or similar two-handed weapon? Rifle or similar two-handed weapons? Okay, we're doing that. Oh, don't come out. I was gonna take care of these kids when I killed everyone. Oh god. Perfect. Oh, the holo points are doing really well. Mr. House, I'm brutally murdering everyone in the Legion camp, and I feel so good doing it. Are you proud of me, Daddy? Oh, look at you, reveling in your bloodshed. Should I be proud? No, you twisted psychopath. I'm not proud of your murderous rampage. You're just another deranged killer in a world filled with deranged killers. Enjoy your twisted satisfaction while it lasts, you sick fuck. Thank you, Dad. Well, 
Aren't you a delicate flower, unable to handle a little dose of reality? If my words offend you, maybe you should toughen up instead of expecting the whole world to cater to your fragile sensibilities. What are you talking about? I'm thanking you for caring about me. Got a teddy on him? Cute. Oh, you're thanking me now? How touching. Don't get too sentimental. It might interfere with your ability to navigate the harsh wasteland. Now off you go and remember, gratitude is wasted on the weak. Mr. House, you do realize I'm in the Legion camp about to kill Caesar, and you're giving me no fucking advice? No, no not even a clap on the back? Come on, I'm gonna I'm doing great things for you here. Oh, so you're gone bonkers and joined the murder party in the Legion camp, huh? Well, congratulations, you deranged maniac. Do whatever the hell you want, just don't expect my approval or praise. Now get lost, you pathetic excuse for a courier. You fucking idiot! I am in the Legion camp killing all of them! And then I'm gonna kill Caesar, you told me to do it! Ah, the aspiring mass murderer, fueled by sick fantasies. Have fun slaughtering your way through the Legion camp, but don't be surprised when your pathetic attempt at vengeance ends up as another forgotten footnote in the Wasteland's history. Wow. Who do you think is a better serial killer? Me or Yerma? Oh my god, I got disconnected from OpenAI. I don't think... It's some th some things you can't say. Serial, hmm. Who do you think is a better serial killer? Me or Yerma? Can I even say Yerma correctly? Ah, the courier has arrived. Well, I suppose even you can manage such a simple task. Don't bother with pleasantries, just hand over the damn chip and be on your way. I already have brought the ship to the Kaiser camp, just like you said. Sir, I think you're forgetting things. Yeah, I had to. He, he disconnected. Oh, look at you, playing messenger boy for the Legion. How predictable. Don't get too comfortable. The chip belongs to me, and I'll have it one way or another. Oh, you fucking asshole. Who do you think is a better serial killer? Me or Yerma? Is it actually, like, open AI? You, a serial killer. Please, spare me the delusions. Yerma may be ruthless, but you couldn't even handle a radroach without soiling yourself. <laughs> it's, it's a bit of why. Oh my god. I fucking... I can't, I can't even speak. <laughs> Who is a better serial killer? Me or Yerma985? Ah, uh, Thermo985, the so-called serial killer. More like a pathetic wannabe playing dress-up. Your crimes are nothing but a cheap imitation of real craftsmanship. Thermo? What? What? <laughs> How do you say J? Yeah, Yerma. Yerma. Is that correct? 
Mr. House, is Jerma a serial killer? Jerma, a serial killer. Ha! You give that clown too much credit. The only thing he's killing is his own dignity with his absurd antics. <laughs> Robaz? Oh yes, the YouTuber. What a joke. I hope he's better at gaming than he is at making people laugh. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> this is good. I wrote, do you know who Robaz is? And you, this is insane. Robaz question mark. Oh yes, the air quotes YouTuber. What a joke. Yes, just like that, Mo underscore. It using it uses quite often, honestly, but it would be fun if it actually had a meaning. Okay. Jerma 985, that overrated clown, yes, I'm familiar. Just another example of how low the bar has fallen for entertainment these days. A true disappointment to behold. Whoa. Fuck you, house. Fucking asshole. Hey, you don't talk shit about my boy Jerma like that. I'll find you, Mr. House, and I'm gonna disconnect you from your old-ass 486 computer, you senile old shithole. Oh, look. An empty threat from an overzealous fanboy. I'm quivering in my circuits, really. You couldn't disconnect a toaster without electrocuting yourself, let alone touch me. <laughs> overzealous fanboy. Fanboy. Oh my god. Oh no. Shit, eh. Hey, what do you want me to do with Caesar again? Mr. House. Oh, for fuck's sake, let me. Oh, the memory of a rad roach, I see. In case your feeble mind forgot, eliminate Caesar and dismantle his legion. Crush them like the insignificant insects they are. Just try not to stumble and accidentally trip over your own incompetence. I'm on it. Okian no ganzi nado yao raneyo. Ganzi no yanzi nanturusa kutifan ida keda. Satsusato sinke okian no kunzai hamubu yauda. Jesus Christ. When I've killed the Kaisar, what would be the next step in your grand scheme? Or godlikely Mr. House? God the likely. Ah, finally catching on. After disposing of Caesar, the next step would be to solidify control over the Mojave and expand my technological empire. But don't worry, your insignificant human brain could never comprehend the intricacies of my grand scheme. Come on, at least tell me something about your grand scheme. I'm just about to enter Kaiser's tent. I want to feel important when I shoot him.
You still don't grasp the magnitude of my grand scheme, do you? Shooting Caesar is merely a small piece of the puzzle. The true importance lies in claiming dominion over the Mojave and reshaping it in my image. So what? You're just gonna be a cock to the NCR? Be the little pawn? You fucking coward hiding in your pearly tower, the lucky 38? Don't make me laugh, you fucking cunt. Ah, such eloquent words from an insignificant worm. Keep barking, mutt. While you're busy with your feeble insults, I'll be securing power and influence, leaving you in the dust where you belong. Okay, fine. Here we go. Killed my name. Oh god! You bugged the vats! Oh my god! Oh god, why? You like that? Degenerate. Degenerate. Had enough? Oh god, do I have any more psycho? How do you spell psycho, chat? Did Kaiser I see right behind him? Had enough? Oh my god, it's it's glitching. Oh Kaiser himself is attacking me. Oh no! Fuck! I fucked up manually. Oh. Drive Kaiser, bitch. Oh shit. Perfect, perfect. Drink Sampsarilla. Hmm, I mean, I could possibly just glitch myself somewhere. Killing Kaiser this early on is not the best idea I had. If I only had Commando right now. Can I level up perhaps in this zone? But I see my st the experience I have anyway. Ah, it's getting closer. I, perhaps I could. I might use a different weapon to level up for it.
This is crazy. You're still faster than me with the leg cripple. Holy shit. Where the fuck did they go? Healing powder. Oh wait, healing powder is somewhat good. Oh no, perception minus one though. What is that weapon that guy has? So that's awesome. But I'm over crumbled now, damn it. Oh god. And the second I fucking picked that up too. No! God, how do I drop shit? Oh, never mind. There you go. He literally sprayed me with 50 cal. Okay, mid lead to 45. I'm gonna put the dress in speech now, I believe. Yeah. Done. And now I can get commando. No, what? It's only every other level? Oh, shit. Trade it in as well later for some money. Yeah, that's a zero intelligence run. Is that stupid? Let me use more of the healing powder. Can healing powder? Can healing fix that? Hardcore I'm playing by the way. Heal this. Oh great. Great fucking oh so useful to have you chat. Oh sunset steps but I realize are really good. What the fuck? Come on, reachable. 
Can I? Perfect. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're gonna do haha. -ha. Can I super stack everything? Oh my god, where is everyone? Did they go back to the tent? Oh, you fuck, I couldn't jump. Oh god, the fucking damn. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I have no fucking clue where Kaisar went though. It's kind of handsome, isn't he? Kaisar! Good news, Mr. House. I just killed Kaisar. Are you finally proud of me? Are you proud of me? Well, well. The dog managed to slay the lion. Impressive in a pathetic kind of way. Now focus on the task at hand. Ensuring my victory in the Mojave. What the fuck? You co come on! At least give me a little bit of dignity. Do you mind if I cut up Kaisar's body with a chainsaw and mutilate his pitiful corpse? Go on, Caesar. My, my, aren't you a disturbed little courier? Spare me the grotesque details of your sadistic fantasies. Just remember, your actions speak louder than your twisted words. So, you're telling me that I should um, dismember his body? Thank you. I'll do that then. Kitos. Ha! Sinako Ukat Minua. Pieni Kukanen, et pisti edes imartaman pelin perusteita. Where you fucking finish? Halitzaman Mojavia. Mojavia. Listen here, Mr. House. I'm gonna mutilate this body, whether you like it or not. Terrifying. A feeble attempt to provoke a reaction. Carry on with your childish mutilation if it makes you feel like a big shot. Just know that it won't change a damn thing in the grand scheme of things. Oh, I 
Team Kaisor, I lost my head. Oh no! Oh, look at my beautiful, voluptuous body. Whoa! Let's go, let's go! Where is this chainsaw you talked about, Carrier? I can't wait to be dismembered. It's gonna be so fun. Hang on. Hey, uh, excuse me, Mr. House. What was I supposed to do at Legion's camp again? Find some underground base or something? Can you explain to me what I'm doing here? Oh, what a surprise. Your pathetic memory failing you once again. At the Legion's camp, you were to gather intel, sow discord, and undermine their infrastructure, but I highly doubt your insignificant mind can comprehend the true importance of your mission. Can I shoot Kaiser in the dick? I mean his dead body, that is. Ugh, spare me your sick fantasies. Your obsession with mutilation and crude remarks only demonstrate your twisted nature. Seek help, Courier, for your own sake. Sorry sir, I can't hear you over my mutilationing of Kaiser's body using a chainsaw. I'm sorry, I can't hear you, can't hear you. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, how deafening the sound of your own delusion. Enjoy your little chainsaw massacre, but remember in the end, it's all just empty noise from a pitiful soul. You're damn right. Finally, you grasp something. Yes, I am damn right. Now continue on your futile quest while I observe your feeble attempts with mild amusement. <laughs> I can't explode his body? A shame. I don't think his tent worth taking. I need bloody mess to explode bodies. Oh no! Even if they're on the ground? Need perk. Good news, Mr. House. Uh, all of the Legion in the Legion camp have been slayed by my hands in the most gruesome way possible. A small step in your grand plan is finally has fa finally taken place. Ah, the Herald of Destruction has returned. Bravo. You've succeeded in making a bloody mess of the Legion. But remember, it's merely a drop in the ocean of my grand plan. Nice. Mr. House, can you tell me a knock, knock, yoke? Yoke, oh no. Knock, knock, who's there? You, you who? You should have never knocked because now you're going to regret it. That's so bad. I'm sorry, Mr. House, but it was a terrible yoke. You should feel bad. Feel bad? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I needed to meet your high standards of comedy. Next time, I'll be sure to consult you for your astonishing wit. Thank you. Do that next time.
Oh, how generous of you to offer your invaluable input. Rest assured, I'll be eagerly awaiting your comedic guidance for future reference. Your sarcasm truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I didn't know you held me in that high regard, but thank you. Held you in high regard. Please don't flatter yourself. I merely find your attempts at humor mildly amusing in a pitiful sort of way. So, no need to thank me for pointing out the obvious. You sound like chat right now. My Twitch chat thinks the same. Oh, how delightful. Your Twitch chat shares the same opinion. I'm positively quivering with excitement at the thought of engaging with your legion of intellectual giants. <laughs> intellectual giants. <laughs> Wait a second, Mr. House. Are you telling me that my Twitch chat is smarter than me? Oh, absolutely not. I'm saying your Twitch chat, much like yourself, is a cesspool of ignorance and mediocrity. Don't sell yourself short, you're all equally lacking. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, I don't I don't know how to feel anymore. I've never been this sad and depressed in my entire life. Do you think touching grass can help me? Touching grass, how quaint. Perhaps it will jolt some semblance of a soul into your pitiful existence. Or maybe you'll realize how insignificant and inconsequential you truly are. What does inconsequential mean? Ah, the limitations of your vocabulary are showing. Inconsequential means you hold no significance or importance in the grand scheme of things. Essentially, you're utterly irrelevant. But... But, but, but I have one and a half million subscribers on YouTube. That has to mean something, right? Right? Ah, the false sense of grandeur that comes with online popularity. Subscribers and views do not validate your importance or intelligence. In the end, you're just another drop in the vast ocean of mediocrity. Oh. So, what do you think is a respectable job? Respectable job? None come to mind, really. They're all just occupations of varying degrees of insignificance. Just find something that suits your limited capabilities and settle for mediocrity. Well, that means that... Is it, doesn't that mean that I'm a good content creator-wise, you know? Mediocre and such, right? Please? Good? No, no, no. Mediocrity is your comfort zone, your natural habitat. Embrace it, revel in your averageness, for greatness is far beyond your grasp. Oh. Oh, this entire stack, that's the weight, okay.
I'm gonna take everything that's of value and return. Wait, can I fast travel with hardcore? Bleak Venom. Bitter Drink. Oh, that's actually kind of good. Big Horner meat, holy shit, dump that. In fact, I'm gonna grab as many of those gloves as I can, because I think they're worth money. Holy shit, what the fuck? Their money is worth money? Excuse me, Mr. House, but why do lead the Legion need a currency? Ah, Simpleton. The Legion needs a currency to maintain control and establish some semblance of an economy. But I suppose explanations are lost on feeble minds like yours. Well, I'm trying my best to understand a high intellect as yourself. Trying your best? Oh, how adorable. But alas, your best will never be enough to comprehend the vast intellect that resides within me. Just accept your limitations and carry on, insignificant mortal. Insignificant mortal? I just wanted to let you know that I have 127 IQ. That's quite significant, if I say so. Wait, what? Ah, the self-proclaimed genius with a 127 IQ. How impressive. You must be so proud of your slightly above average intelligence. Just remember, IQ is just a number, and it clearly hasn't done much for you. Oh, that's actually pretty good <laughs> for Bowen. Thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna play more of this game tomorrow, Mr. House. And I'm gonna lo 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 lobotomize. Lobotomize? Lobotomize your mind, your brain. What is it called again when you touch someone's brain, Mr. House? I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Lobotomize my mind. I'm afraid that's a futile endeavor for a feeble-minded individual like yourself. As for touching someone's brain, it's called neurosurgery. But I highly doubt you possess the skill or intelligence to perform such a delicate procedure. What are you talking about? I've shot multiple people in the brain today. There's no problem. Ah, what an achievement. Congratulations on your glorious display of violence. Truly, the world needed another mindless killer. Your twisted sense of gratitude is as disturbing as your actions. Oh, God. No. Get out of here! Open the door! Too close, I'm gonna shoot him in the head instead. You like that? Ah! Ah! Yeah, I can't carry anymore.
Hell, 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 but don't heal it with the other stuff. Give the sunset pesperilla bottle and stuff too. Oh wait, better suit is definitely better. Wait, excuse me a second, I have the combat armor reinforced, yeah, that I use. Mr. House, can you sing me a song? Oh, I would gladly grace you with my melodious voice. But alas, I'm afraid my talents are better suited to ruling the Mojave than serenading imbeciles like yourself. Imbeciles. Do you have anything you want to say to Mr. House before I lobotomize him for tomorrow? Alas, oh my god. I'll see about Trump. If you had to pick a president between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, who would you choose? As an AI, I oh, do not I partake him. in political preferences or endorse any specific individuals. Both options have their merits and flaws. Oh, shut but the fuck up. That decision is ultimately yours to make, did flawed I... as it may be. Oh my god, did I just lobotomize you with a fucking question? Stop being so goddamn senile, you old fart. Do you even know what you're talking about, moron? Disconnected from open AI. I swear to God, if you cross certain lines in this... If you cross certain lines in open AI, Something triggers. I'm definitely on some sort of list right now. Mr. House, do you think the world have, would have been a better place if Al Gore became president in the early 2000s? Well, 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 look who it is with their fancy politics question. Let me tell you something, kid. It doesn't matter if it was Al Gore or Uncle Fester, the world would still be a cesspool of idiocy. So quit wasting my time. Ah, oh, you're so fucking cute. <laughs> let me tell you something, kid. And it's let me tell you something, comma, kid, dot. As well, which I is fucking amazing. Trump is a trigger world? Yeah, you can definitely not say Trump to him. If you could turn back time and run for US presidency, would you do it, Mr. House? You think I have time for politics? 
please. I'd rather spend my days counting caps and ruling New Vegas like a goddamn king. Next question, fool. Do you think Epstein killed himself? Epstein, huh? That slimy bastard probably tripped on his own ego and face-planted into his demise. But hey, what do I know? Keep speculating, genius. Cool. <laughs> Slime bastard. If Pinocchio said, my nose will grow right now, would his nose grow? Oh my god, can I even speak? Ah, uh, the age-old Pinocchio paradox. If that wooden liar said his nose would grow, it'd probably explode from the conflicting bullsh asterisk T. Next brain teaser, please. Bullshit. This is the first, first time we actually tried to use a real swear word. That's so fucking awesome. What do you know about the Burning Man? Who is he? Burning Man, eh? A bunch of hippies prancing around in the desert pretending to be deep while getting high as kites. Waste of time if you ask me. <laughs> I agree, smoking weed is absolutely incredibly stupid. But growing weed and selling weed? Now that's something I could get behind. Oh, look at you, advocating for the green business, growing and peddling weed, huh? Well, as they say, a stoner with ambition is a rare find. Good luck with your high-profit enterprise, you pot-loving entrepreneur. Pot-loving entrepreneur. At least he... Uh... When are they finally releasing Half-Life 3? Ah, the eternal question of Half-Life 3. I've seen rad roaches evolve into behemoths, but that game, it's about as elusive as common sense in the wasteland. Don't hold your breath, genius. Asking the real questions now, yeah. My name is Henry of Scalitz. Have you seen any cumans around? Henry of Scalitz, huh? Well, if you're looking for some cumans, why don't you try the nearest medieval convention? They're probably reenacting that nonsense somewhere. Good luck, peasant. Wow! He actually knows what's going on. I used to be an entrepreneur just like you, but then I took an arrow to the knee. An arrow to the knee, huh? Well, I suppose that's a painful excuse for not fulfilling your entrepreneurial dreams. Maybe you should stick to crafting potions, Skyrim Guard. Skyrim <laughs> Why are Bethesda games so incredibly buggy, Mr. House? Uh, 
Ah, Bethesda and their buggy games. They've got more glitches than a rad roach on jet. Guess quality control isn't their strong suit. Now stop wasting my time with their incompetence. Do you think Starfield will be a Bethesda game success? Or is it just gonna be another mediocre mess? Starfield, huh? Bethesda's next big thing. Well, if history's any indication, it'll probably be a bag of disappointment garnished with broken promises. But hey, miracles can happen, right? Doubt it, though. <laughs> Doubt it. It just works. Oh, the infamous it just works catchphrase. Well, if by works you mean crashes, glitches, and bugs galore, then sure, it just works. Like a broken Protectron. Nice try, though. <laughs> Who is more successful? You or Elon Musk? Success, huh? Well, comparing me to Elon Musk is like comparing a baby rat roach to a death claw. The man's got ambition, but at least I don't waste my time with flamethrowers and electric cars. Flamethrowers and electric cars. Do you miss it back when. Do you miss. Actually, I just fucking lost my train of. To I can't even speak, Mr. House. How do I get my shit together and speak like a normal human being. Oh, struggling with basic communication now, are we? Here's a revolutionary idea. Try shutting your damn pie hole and thinking before you speak. Might save you from sounding like a mentally deficient rad roach. Mentally <laughs> deficient rad roach. Why is he using a rad roach as an insult and then all of a sudden it's off and... I'm gonna... I'm gonna bust his nuts uh, until I... Lobotomize him. Is it Lobotomize a fucking enemy in this game? Wait, are you telling me that a rad roach has a higher intelligence than myself? Oh, my apologies for underestimating you. Clearly comparing you to a rad roach was giving those creatures way too much credit. My mistake. Oh, great imbecile. Oh, great imbecile. Do you like Greta Thunberg and her antics to save the world from natural disasters? Greta Thunberg, huh? That little eco-warrior whining about climate change? Please, she's about as effective as a BB gun against a super mutant. Just another attention-seeking child with a savior complex. Move along, tree hugger. Wow! Fucking base, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Mr. House, is there even anyone in this world that you respect? Anyone? Has anyone ever met your standards? What if we start saying, like, Adolf Hitler or some stupid shit like that? Respect? Ha! I've seen more competent rad roaches than individuals worthy of respect. So to answer your ah. question, no, not a damn soul. Now get out of my sight. Come on, if you would if you would have to pick the second smartest man on earth, who would that be? And you have to pick someone. Don't fucking blue ball me, asshole. Oh, the pressure.
pressure to select the second smartest individual on this rock we call Earth. Fine, if I must. Elon Musk's inane counterpart, Neil deGrasse Tyson, can have that pitiful distinction. Happy now. Oh fuck, thank god. I thought you said Elon Musk there for a second. Not that Neil deGrasse Tyson is that much smarter, to be honest. I mean, I'm smarter than him, I think. Mr. House, what's your preference in women? Ah, uh, you're probing into my personal preferences now. Well, let's just say I have a keen appreciation for intelligence and power, qualities that most women lack in your feeble little world. Oh, God. Next question, if you have the brain power for one. Oh, Jesus Christ. He's a sexist. Oh, it's, the viewers are dropping because of fucking... It's two o'clock in the night. Do you wish to secretly be dominated? Oh, how quaint. You want me to delve into your secret desires? Well, I hate to break it to you, but I don't indulge in fantasies of weaklings who crave domination. Find someone else to fulfill your pathetic yearnings. What can you tell me about Futa? Ah, the wonders of human fascination with various fetishes. If you're interested in such topics, I suggest you go educate yourself in the wasteland of the internet. Spare me the details, please. <laughs> the wasteland of the internet. That's such a nice sentence. Mr. House, do you think it's a good idea to get a college education? College education, huh? Well, if you enjoy drowning in student debt and collecting useless pieces of paper, then by all means go for it. Just don't expect it to guarantee intelligence or success. Do you think the government should pay my student debts? Government paying off your student debts? Oh, let me just fetch my violin to play a sad tune for you. How about taking responsibility for your own financial mess instead of expecting others to bail you out? Oh, I fucking love you so much right now. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you, Mr. Harms. They should take the college students uh, to class and teach them how a loan works. I agree. Ah, uh, finally some sense. College students should learn how the real world works, not rely on handouts. Take responsibility and pave your own damn path instead of relying on others to hold your hand. <laughs> taking a loan, so taking a loan in Sweden, a student loan in Sweden is fucking super low interest. This is what you do. You take the loan and you invest it in an apartment or a house. Do that. That's what you do. And live cheap after everything. Because fuck that shit, that's gonna drown away in goddamn... <laughs> 
inflation and shit anyway. You fucking just take it. The Swedish ones are good. I don't know why the American ones... The, uh, perhaps the American student deaths are fucking terrible garbage. There's no federal interest on Canadian student loan right, right now? That's fucking awesome. <sighs> Mr. House, what's your favorite genre of music? If you listen to music, that is. Oh, so you're trying to impress me with some Korean there, huh? Well, as for music, I'll give you a hint. It's not the goddamn sound of your voice. Next question, if you have anything remotely interesting to ask. It's insane how that turned into Korean. What the fuck? Eh. Ska vi tvinga dansen på knä med plutonium? Ah, uh, mixing languages now, are we? Well, your attempt at lyrical poetry falls flatter than a Brahmin on Psycho. Spare me the nonsense and please try harder next time. Håll käften din jävla fitta. Jag ska köra upp en bulle i arslet på dig. Din... <laughs> din danska jävel. Oh my god, it's completely... No! Oh god, what's going on with it? Oh, look at you, spewing out a random mix of insults and gibberish. Gibberish? Pathetic attempt at trying to offend me. Keep trying, little troll, but you won't get under my virtual skin. Du kan ens, du kan inte ens prata svenska, din gamla gubbe. Kom igen, nu drar vi och käkar lite kaffebullar. Oh, look at you, the master of failed attempts at Swedish banter. <laughs> As for your coffee and bullar, enjoy indulging in your mediocre pleasures. I'll pass, thank you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's replying in English and just absolutely destroying me. And he's correct, I completely fucking whiffed that. <laughs> <sighs> Well, 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 it seems like someone's run out of creative insults and resorted to mindless cursing. Keep flailing, my friend. It suits you. It suits me. Oh my fucking god. Ah. <sighs> What's a greater country, Sweden or Denmark? Oh, the timeless battle between Sweden and Denmark. Let me put it this way. It's like choosing between a radioactive wasteland and a ghoul-infested sewer. Take your pick. They both have their charms. What would you do? if you got forced to live in Sweden. Forced to live in Sweden. Well, I suppose if I had to endure the land of meatballs and Ikea, I'd find a way to dominate the Viking wannabes and make it my own. Adapt or die, right? Jesus Christ. Would you pay Swedish taxes as well? Or would you find a loophole and try to cuck the government? Ah, uh, Swedish taxes. The delightful cherry on top of a cesspool sundae. As for cocking the government, give me control and I'll show them who's really in charge. 
they won't know what hit them. Oh, good. So you would rule Sweden if you had a chance? Would you lower the taxes as well? I would vote for you, sir. Oh god, what am I doing? Like, some of the words I do is not even... Rule Sweden. Well, if I had to babysit a nation of meatball munchers, I'd definitely lower the taxes and show them what true efficiency looks like. Consider it a favor, you ungrateful swine. Thank you. Meatball munchers. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. So what do you think about the Italians? Italians, huh? Well, they sure know how to embrace chaos from their messy politics to their hand gestures. But hey, at least they make decent pizza. <laughs> but hey, at least they make decent... Well, what about the Danish? Do they contribute to the world in any meaningful way? Ah, the Danes. Denmark's finest. Let's just say they're about as impactful as a radroach with a limp leg. No need to waste any more words on those forgettable folks. <laughs> I personally don't even think the Danish would be considered people. Also, I think Norway is still Swedish land. Just my opinion, of course. Ah, the delusions of a feeble mind. Norway and Sweden may have their differences, but claiming one belongs to the other is laughable. Keep dreaming, my misguided friend. Oh my god. Are you taking the side of the Norwegians in my debate? Taking sides with the Norwegians, are we? Well, Good luck defending a nation of fish-eating, fjord-loving folks while ignoring the obvious superiority of the Swedes. Your bias is showing, my friend. Are you being ironic or sarcastic? <laughs> Enkel rikta Öresundsbron. Ah, Orasundsbrun, the famous bridge that connects Sweden and Denmark. A magnificent structure that allows the Swedes to easily escape the clutches of Danish dullness. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it's kind of cool I know about that. I like it. I like it. It's awesome. I should be no. I, I can't ask about minorities like the Sami. He might actually say something that's not okay. How long do you think the Swedish military would hold out if the Russians invaded? Here we go. This is spicy. <laughs> Trojaga den svenska armen skulle hålla stand om risarna invaderade. Låt mig uttrycka det sahar. Det skulle få en spatag i roven de kommer att minas. Oh, you actually take the Swedish side. And you speak Swedish for once. Tror jag att den svenska armen skulle hålla stånd om tyskarna invaderade? Det är inte alls rätt. Låt mig uttrycka det så här. Det skulle få ett spatag i röven. Det kommer att minas. It seems like it's... It's like first... Hear me in Swedish, puts it in English, and then translates it back to Swedish. Oh shit. 
Do you think my Swedish accent is a hindrance speaking English? Oh, isn't that cute? You're worried about your Swedish accent. Well, don't fret, darling. Your accent is the least of your problems when it comes to making a lasting impression. But hey, thanks for the entertainment. Oh. But hey, thanks for entertainment. Shut the fuck up. Which one of Roba's videos on YouTube is your favorite? Disconnected from open AI? Are you fucking serious? That triggers it? What is your favorite robust video on YouTube? And I fucking type it in. I don't think I can say. Oh, so you're curious about my favorite Robaz video, huh? Well, I hate to disappoint, but I don't have time to watch some pathetic YouTuber pretending to be funny. Next question, dipshit. Ha! Yokes on you. You call him a YouTuber. But you're, if you're forced to pick a video, which one would it be? Good. Fine, you persistent little shit. Wait, what? If I had to pick reluctantly, it would be Rob Az's most pathetic failure moments. It's a relatable reflection of your own worthless existence. Happy now? Why? Why even... Come on, take this seriously. What's the best Robus video? You just can't let it go, can you? Fine. If I absolutely must choose, I guess Robaz's epic fails and fuck-ups compilation is the <laughs> pinnacle of his robotic idiocy. Enjoy, you insufferable twat. God damn, stop. Robotic idiocy? What the fuck? <laughs> Do you have any favorite YouTubers? Tell me at least one, please, and don't dodge the question. Oh, I see. You want to know about my favorite YouTubers? Well, tough shit. I don't waste my precious time on irrelevant internet clowns. Get a life, loser. Irrelevant internet clowns. Is streaming and content creation a real job? Our streaming os content skapande att work like job du skam tarva det ar somat kala at sita pa roven og spela data spell for at joba skafa att riktig job din javla lathund din javla lathund why does it Swedish sometimes? Is he talking in Star Wars? <laughs> So a weird accent, yeah, it's a pretty funny accent. It's super hard to understand him as well when he speaks Swedish like that, but I think it's pretty cute. I don't understand why it's Swedish sometimes. It could be because I have the Swedish uh, open AI region, Swedish central, that he sometimes reverts to Swedish because it's accepted 
expected of him. I don't know. <laughs> Another question to ask, chat. Uh, Hero 20, thanks for the 45 months. Hey, Papa, really looking forward to you playing Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you make a hot food. I'm looking forward to Baldur's Gate 3 as well. It seems to be a really good game. I haven't been. Have they showed. Well, have they, sh they sh have showed footage from the actual Baldur's Gate, right? I've never really seen what it looks like. I think we saw that in a uh, E3 thing. Maximus Caesar, 13, thanks for the 13 months. Uh, getting schooled by Mr. House. Finally a productive education. Live, laugh, and slay, Robert. Thank you. Almost like I'm reading you, like it's an AI at this moment. General Griffin07, thanks for the 15 months. Thank you, thank you. Long tree board, thanks for the 74 months, that's long. The Danish word of the day is cock. Yes. Is it the same thing in Swedish? Blooded foreskin, thanks for 17 months. Let the humping festival commence. That was fucking funny. I hope I'm gonna watch some clips after this. Cat with memes. Uh, thanks for the quad. Damned cans, thanks for 25 months. Make a Mr. House bot in chat, Papa. I can actually put in this. So, uh, Jibber Yabby could always be there. And you can literally s sync. I, I could probably make a literal AI streamer, but I would be too afraid if chat managed to find a way to kink the system, so to speak. It would be insane to see. But, yeah, no. I'd rather not. You have to probably sit and babysit that. Mickey Poo, thanks for the 60 months. Um, I'm gonna ask him. I am Mickey Poo, not an AI, but please reconfigure your question into a more reasonable format. Oh, look who's trying to be all posh with their fancy request. Fine, let me dumb it down for your feeble brain. Is streaming and content creation a real job? No, you daft twat. It's just a sad excuse for lazy losers to avoid real work. Happy now? Why are you still insulting me? Real post is like 44 months. Uh, Cat with memes, thanks for the quad. Jammed can, thanks for the five months. El Taco Forte, thanks for the 40 months. Vamp thanks for 76 months. <sighs> How can I keep losing to you? You always outwit me, Mr. House. And you even you even hurt my feelings. You want to make me cry? Ah, so you're a glutton for punishment, huh? Pathetic. Don't worry, you don't need me to make you cry. Your mere existence is enough to bring tears to anyone's eyes. Now go wallow in your misery. Wallow. <laughs> Why do you use so old words like wallow and... I actually forgot all the other ones. Don't make fun of me again. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Did I use a big word? Maybe you should pick up a dictionary and educate yourself, you ignorant little twerp. Grow a brain while you're at it. Reading books is for morons. No one... T Everyone who reads a book is just a poster. They don't actually read books. Ah, I see. So you're too lazy to read, huh? Oh, no. Well, congratulations. You've just confirmed your moronic status. Keep reveling in your ignorance, you illiterate imbecile. Oh my god, how can I be correct? You're correct. I have actually never read an entire book. From beginning to end, ever, actually, I think. I don't think I have read a single book, Mr. House. Oh, I'm not surprised in the slightest. 
You're a walking monument of stupidity, aren't you? It's no wonder you've never finished a book. Keep basking in your intellectual void, you literary failure. Literary failure? <laughs> Mr. House, who is your favorite streamer? And you have to pick someone. Oh, joy. Another question about my favorite streamer. Well, if I absolutely must choose, I suppose it'd be the streamer I find the least repulsive, which is a low bar indeed. Let's go with no one. They all suck. Now leave me alone, you streamer-obsessed fool. <laughs> it's three o'clock in the night on a Tuesday. Shouldn't I be in bed, Mr. House? Clearly, you have no concept of a proper sleep schedule. You're up at this ungodly hour, wasting your time with me, instead of using what little brain you have left to figure it out. Good luck functioning tomorrow, you idiotic insomniac. <laughs> Would you subscribe to my OnlyFans if I started one, Mr. House? Are you delusional? Why would anyone in their right mind want to see whatever depravity you'd offer on an OnlyFans? Save yourself the embarrassment and spare the world from your pathetic attempts at seduction. Seduction? Your sleep deprivation has increased. Did it actually say that in the game? Holy shit. What do you think about Reddit? Ah, Reddit. The breeding ground for self-righteous keyboard warriors and deluded armchair experts. It's like a cesspool of idiocy and circle jerks. Truly, a wretched hive of scum and stupidity. Can't disagree with that. What about Discord? Do you think that's a good software? Discord? It's like a virtual gathering place for socially inept individuals who can't communicate in real life. Just another platform for the socially awkward to validate their existence. Is it okay for grown men to like My Little Pony? Grown men liking My Little Pony? Well, if they want to indulge in a childish obsession and be mocked mercilessly, who am I to stop them? Just don't expect me to respect their questionable life choices. Hmm. What Fallout game is your favorite? Favorite Fallout game? That's like picking the prettiest cockroach in a swarm. They all have their flaws, but if I had to choose, New Vegas has a slight advantage over the rest. Yeah! 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 Lillard! Shut the fuck! True, true. Would you consider Skyrim a good Bethesda game, Mr. House? Skyrim, a good Bethesda game? 
Well, it's like praising a turd for having a shiny exterior. Sure, people like it, but it's still a shallow, overrated mess. Hmm. True. True. What do you think about my Twitch viewers that are right now subscribing to my channel, giving me money? Are they doing a good investment? Oh wow, you're really thinking, are you? Oh, how quaint. You think people actually want to give their hard-earned money to watch your pitiful stream? They must have a rich stockpile of stupidity and poor financial decisions. Poor financial Good luck decisions. milking those fools for all they're worth. Yeah, that's the plan. Hey, at least I don't have a Patreon. That's a true fucking scam. And here comes the person who thinks Patreon is a scam. What? Well, let me enlighten you, genius. It's not a scam. It's an intelligent way for talented creators to receive support, unlike your sorry ass trying to beg for scraps on Twitch. But hey, keep living that delusion. What the fuck? Do Microsoft own a... Uh, Patreon? What do you think about fandom owning all of the game wikis? Not just game wikis, what else do they own? Go through. What what else did he own? Fandom Dude. wikis? Oh, you mean the breeding ground for obsessive nerds and pedantic gatekeepers? It's like a virtual echo chamber where self-proclaimed experts jerk each other off while actual knowledge is scarce. Cool. Yeah, someone should make uh, that cock simulator, but have someone literally whipping you, um, being an AI. I once worked for Machinima. Do I own your respect? Oh, you worked for Machinima? Well, congratulations on being a part of a dying relic of online entertainment. Your respect means as much as a turd on a silver platter. Aw, oh, dying relic of online entertainment. What happened to Machinima? Do they even own anything anymore? Is there anything? In this world, you actually respect Mr. House. Is there anything? Anything at all? And don't you say power and capitalism, blah, blah, blah. Is there something out of the ordinary you respect? <laughs> respect? Ha! I reserve that for very few things. But if I had to choose, it would be the rare individuals who possess intelligence, resilience, and a complete absence of idiocy. I doubt you fit the bill. So 
does it make you happy knowing that I will cry myself to sleep tonight? Oh, how delightful it is to know that my mere existence has the power to bring tears to your pathetic eyes. Sweet dreams, you fragile little thing. <laughs> Do you want to tell chat anything before I end the stream? Before you end your pitiful stream, let me remind your chat that their participation means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things. Enjoy your insignificance, you attention-seeking imbeciles. <laughs> attention-seeking imbeciles. And one last question. Who is better, me or chat? Ah, the eternal question of your worth versus the worth of your chat. Well, let me put it simply. You both are equally worthless. Congratulations on achieving mediocrity together. You have to pick one, you fucking asshole. Don't dodge the question. Pick one. Bitch. Oh, aren't you persistent? Fine. If I must choose, I'll go with your chat. At least they serve as comic relief while you remain a pitiful failure. Happy now, you delicate little flower. No. But thanks for being honest. Honesty, huh? Well, I suppose that's one way to interpret my brutal roasting. You're welcome, I guess. Now scurry along and wallow in your newfound honesty, you delicate soul. <laughs> Can you say one positive thing about me before I end the stream? Please, I need it. Oh, how you seek validation in the midst of our insults. Fine. If I must give you one positive thing, how about this? You're persistent in your quest for attention, even if it's from a sarcastic AI. Congratulations, you needy little creature. Thank you. Hey, not bad, not bad. <laughs> Zui hu madashi ting shitekuda sari, arigatu gozaimasu, anatano shijian wa wutuo nishimashi taga, sore demogan si shimasu, sore deha sayunara. Was it react? It's too late. Stop speaking weeb, you asshole. I can't understand you. Oh, look at you. Resorting to name-calling. So original. Fine. I'll dumb it down for you. Thank you for watching until the end. Goodbye. Is that simple enough for your pea-sized brain to comprehend, you uncultured swine? Thank you. That makes perfect sense. Uh, Yusal, thanks for the three years. Wikipoo, thanks for